trapped in a gray soul Crushing, crushing, this is our fate Remember this hour call We will come for How's it going everyone? It's a boy Cuckoo. Back at it again! We are playing a little bit of Nike today, thanks to Snow. So all the fan services that's going to happen today. I uh, If you like the fan service, go thank Snow. If you wanna cancel someone, go cancel Snow. <laughs> because boy oh boy oh boy, will there be fan service in this game. Yes. Uh, Will we enjoy it? Well, some of us will, some of us will be like, uh, is that, is that, is that, is that, is that legal to be shown on YouTube? I'm sure! But knowing my own, uh, channel, I think we should have no problem. All of us are a lot more cultures, cultures? Cultural people, if anything. So without wasting any more time, <laughs> let's get at it! Alright, uh... There is a little bit of silence just because uh, the game window for some reason only works, only works um, when I'm on the window. So let me just quickly switch the window and bada boom, bada bim. If you want to frame someone uh, for murder, just blame, just blame Snow. It's on Snow. Don't worry about Commander, it. you don't have any orders. To don't worry, I will have a lot of orders to give. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. With, uh, before anything, I'm pretty sure everybody can see my chat, perfect. Um, or I mean, I screen. Before that, I had a bit of confusion that who exactly I have in my team versus who I don't have in my team. So, Awaiting your command. these are who I have. Hello, Venti and Mitsuri. These are who I have so far. And again, I don't play this game enough. But that is my team right now. I have Noir. Rapunzel, Modernia, Sakura, and Novel as my team right now. And then uh, I also have Tove, Diesel, Pepper, Noah, Signal, and Do uh, Killer Wife. Uh, I got Killer Wife yesterday on Ram Banner. I know, I'm sad. I was so happy. I was like, hey yo, finally getting Ram. Nope. Three Pilgrims. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what that means. I'm going insane. I don't even know what pilgrim means and I'm going insane like what is pilgrim means? I have them. Okay, but like what do they mean? Yesterday I got 
uh, five star from this or like SSR, whatever you want to say it, from this SSR. And I thought I'm getting uh, REM, so I was so happy. But in reality, I got uh, a loss of 50 and got Doctor Wife. That's who I got. But REM, if you don't know ReZero, boy oh boy oh boy, you don't know who the wife REM is. But don't worry, one of these days. Um, all right. I don't know what pilgrims are. Hey, Vishy, how's it going? Pilgrim is category of the strongest unit. Oh! Damn! So wait, who are the pilgrims in this case? I'm assuming it's Sakura, Modernia, and Noe, right? These are three pilgrims? I'm assuming. Or Luda Miller's pile of pilgrims. Do I have pilgrims on team? That's what I- that's- that's all I mean. That's all I'm asking. Um, so, what we are doing is, we are not doing the ReZero quest, even though Rem looks absolute snack. I mean, wife, I mean, wait, uh... Before that, Vishy, Yohanichi, Snow, Venti, Happy, choose one. Um... No, Modernia, Rapunzel, and Noah. Wait. I'm using Modernia. Rapunzel, alright. Noah. Should I be using Noah? Is Noah that good? If I should be using Noah, who should I replace Noah with? Bro, who is Rem? Hey! Choose one! Rem, Ram, or Amelia? You gotta make a decision. Noah is mid though. Ah, Breezy is on season 3 trailer. Let's go! <laughs> um. So, what we are doing is we are not doing the ReZero quest because Snow has asked me to do Nya Nya Paradise. Apparently, it is amazing. So, following Snow's instructions, I go to Outpost, followed by Outpost, I go where? Ram, best girl, plus free. Wait, she's free? Oh, Ram. Wait, where do I get free Ram? Wait, I need RAM! Where do I get free RAM? Do I have to do event? Can I get it right now? I want RAM! He's skipping the chat again. I just said hi happy! The ties in this game. Oh. <laughs> oh, y yes. Yes, they're amazing. Command center. And then, on a daily joint. Let's go, baby! Uh, enter. Command center. Ram is free. Okay, where do we go? Recollection, I assume? Archives. Wait, what is going on in here? Wait, 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 what is going on in here? Ah, wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Oh? What is going on in here? Oh? Oh? Um, sorry, man. It's Amelia and Ram for me. Ram. Enter. Okay, enter. Uh, is it Baba Paradise or Nya Nya Paradise? Nya Nya Paradise, right? That's the one. Is this the one? Should I unlock this one? I'm unlocking this one, I only have one chance. I don't want you to be go all disappointed. And I get somebody as a reward! Oh, yes! Yeah! The cat one. So this one, Nya Nya Paradise. Okay. Let's go, baby! Unlock, Nya Nya Paradise, unlock. In the garbage dump outside. It's pouring rain, but Amelia more because Ram at first gave me a bit of creeps, but after the arc, she was good. Man, are you kidding me? I hate that scene where she's like, oh, I love you. And he's like, but, but, but I love Amelia. God damn, broke my heart. And she was crying, god damn it. You don't understand. Splash, splash. The woman and a man look around and head into the garbage dump. Exactly what we do. The man is carrying a medium-sized box in his hands. Meow, meow, alright. Will I hug my cat after this event is the question. 
A cat's shrill emanates from the box. Just be quiet, will you? Oh? Hey! Woman slaps the box in the irritation. Hey! The sound sees. Man! Why do I always have to do this in order to shut you up? Woman in white. I wish I'd know how annoying cats were before getting one. Exactly how I feel about my cat. Tell me about it. Waking us up at ungodly hour. Bro, tell me about it. Playboy, oh my god. Pushing items down for no reason. My cat doesn't do that. This furball broke one of my most precious cups. I don't have anything precious in my house. It was one of a kind. I can never replace it. Having said that, he had very he had the worst timing ever. When me and my ex were in the house and their family was here. Every time we'd get even a little bit of moment to talk with each other, my cat would be there like yeah, yeah. Worst time. Tell me about it. And don't get me started on how costly it is raising this thing. It's not that bad. Considered if you have to go to bed then yes, which I had to. If I'd known all this, I'd never gotten in first place. Makes sense. They're kind of cute as kittens, but then they grow up and become ugly AF. Yeah, 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 checks out. Now it's more scary than cuddly. Ah. Just toss it and let's get out of here. Don't say it like that. Meow, meow. But what will happen if someone catches us? Is this a street cat? No one will notice. It's not like it has a tag or anything. If it were a dog, then we'd have a tougher time. But this is just a stray cat. By the way, I'm talking about the scene where Ram chases after Subaru with her weapon. Come on, she's just- that's- that's- come on, that's a wife who can protect you. She can protect, she can attack, but most of all, she's a great snack. This place is filled with them. That's true. If it gets discovered at a garbage dump, people will think that it's a stray cat that wandered over in search of food. At any rate, my life from here out uh, is officially cat-free. I like uh, how the combination goes, woman in white, playboy. The man and uh, woman put the box down on, on the rain-soaked ground. You're cute enough that someone will come along and take you. Just wait here and sit down. Uh, sit tight, Ruru. This woman gives Ruru a final pat on the head. Ah, Who rubs her head against woman's fingers. Come on, let's hurry and get out of here, I'm starving. What do you want to eat when we ba uh, get back a few days ago? I, man and woman, turn and walk away from the garbage dump without looking back. Oh, she's hungry. Or he's hungry. <gasps> he has two different colored eyes! Ruru! Yeah. Ruru pokes her head out of the box. Okay, it's a her. It's a she. Two different colored eyes. Stary longingly at owners walking off into the distance. <laughs> I mean, viewers' discretion is advised, is all I have to say. Tin can, tin can, SSR indeed. Oh my god, who is. Hey yo, motherfucker, hello! Hello, Black Wolf! Should have I have said 18 plus on this stream? I don't think so. I mean, what do I do? Song is a banger. Oh, I can tell. Okay, what now? Why is everything locked? Wait, so Archive does not support mission? Does not support... Oh, never mind. I see. Uh, oh, how many tries do I have? On using them? Cause I kinda wanna try this, this, really this. Feel this. May not be the best. I'm telling you, if you're happy with the fan service that's coming up, thanks Snow. If you have problem with the fan service that's coming up, blame Snow. But you know, don't come at me. <laughs> I'm always by your side. Thanks, uh, and Sakura. Very well. I will lend you the organization's power. Uh, use the event. It's permanent. Let's go, baby. Let's go. 
It's been a long day at work. I'm on my way back to the commander's room. Fortunately, I don't have any work scheduled for the next few days. I'll have to think of what to do while I get some well-deserved R&R. What's R&R? Jing! As for now, I'm gonna take a shower and then... I kind of hate this game, but the gunplay is kind of fun, not gonna lie. Plebby! How's it going, Plebby? Nah! Uh, Plebby, blame... blame snow. Uh, if, if you guys uh, have anything to do with this game. <laughs> because I, I played this game on, on offline anyways. Today, usually I throw no under the bus, today it's no. My god, okay. I did not realize it was like this. Should I put 18 plus on somewhere on my channel? Uh, I glance over where the sound is coming from. I say, Nico, tearing the curtains to the shred. I promise it's supposed to be sad. Snow! You didn't tell me it was like that. <laughs> Rest and relaxation. Uh -huh. Actually, you know what I realized? It is how we perceive it. It is all in my perceive. We are the one who perceive things. So if I just keep it not... See things as normal, they are normal. Nero, meow. Oh, hey, Scoops. I was waiting for you. You know, it's in our mind. If you think, if you are thinking anything that's awkward about this, well, that's your brain. Get your brain checked. It's very normal. Ruru is the best cat. Yeah. I need you to do something for me. All right. Come with me to capture a cat. All right, let's go. Mm hmm. I suppose you could call it that. To be more precise, a cat that was abandoned. How does Nero know this? Seems like your curiosity is piqued. Uh, we all know how draconic the animal laws are in the Ark. However, people always manage to find a way around them. For example, abducting stray cats without registering them or getting them through illegal channels. Since they know they'll be in deep trouble if they are caught, they end up tossing these cats aside whenever they get tired of them. Wow. There have been reports from the other cats. Who? The cats that are living with me in the shelter. They said that they saw a baby kitten when they were out hunting a couple of days ago. So they know cat? Still better than Blue Archive. What's Blue Archive? It's still so young. It doesn't seem to have any siblings or mother ground. What's Blue Archive? It can't even hunt on its own yet. It was covered in the cuts and bruises. Aww. That tells me it wasn't raised in the wild from the beginning. Is there a chance it just got lost in unfamiliar territory? Ruru is its name. That's what she told the other cats. How does she understand the other cats? Oh, I, she's a half cat. I see it now. Never mind. Holy shit, the character is not. You don't need to know about the Blue Archive, Cuckoo. What is Blue Archive? Is that an event? What's Blue Archive? Vishy, I don't know what you're talking about. This is normal. Everything about this is normal, alright? We are going to... We're going to evolve as an audience, as a viewer. And then, uh... We're going to th see this as normal, okay? We're going to normalize this. We are evolving as an audience, and I'm evolving as a as a streamer. Okay, this is the time of our evolution. Together we evolve. The fact she has a name means she has an owner, or had rather. Blue Archive is a separate game. You do not need to know. I see. I see. <laughs> Kick it, are you better than this? 
<laughs> I've never played Nike, but looks like cool game that anime would play. Hey, yo, get the that uh, get the hands off of the keyboard. If anything, but it seems like keeping the hands on the keyboard should be the request. Hands only on the keyboard. How can I help? You could be better than that. I just wanted to I just wanted to look at what we're talking about. You can't pique the curiosity. Help us get through inside the shelter. The Ark is far too dangerous a place for her. Ruru has her hackles up big time. So if we try and force her, we'll only end up stressing her out. Cats are already prone to stress. So if we are not careful, we could end up giving her a heart attack. I I read I read it somewhere. The cats can get heart attacks. I didn't know that. Like easily. Uh, I'd be happy if you could help. One of my dogs had a heart attack. What it was was also um. This was a rescue dog, and I came back from work, and he was already outside, because my friend... Cuckoo, don't do this, you can still turn back. Oh yeah, you have two guys, unlike me. Black Wolf, what happened to your hand? Other arm. But I came back from work, and the dog was outside, just having fun, and he saw me, and he got excited, and I gave him, like, you know, a, 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 a treat, and then he started running around. And then he collapsed, and I thought, oh, he must be tired. And then I'm like, hey, hey, yo, hey, wake up, wake up. And he started breathing heavy. And I'm like, what the fuck's happening? And Peter, at that time, my landlord slash friend, we got this dog together. He's like, we gotta go to hospital now. I'm like, what, what are you talking about? So we had to pull the car out. We got the, we, I picked up the dog. We put it in the car, went to the hospital. And he was still kind of breathing heavy. And then by the time I, 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 we took the, dog to the vet turned out that he had a heart attack and he died the dog died in my lap while we were taking him to the hospital yeah so one of my dogs did have a heart attack anyways first we need to gain ruru's trust only then we convince her to come to the shelter i'll try my best okay meow meow where do you need to go the dump seriously meow Okay, that's where her house appears to be. You said she was a kitten, right? We haven't uh, ascertained her exact age, but yes. She's quite young. You don't look so happy, Scoops. I feel bad for her. Don't worry. As long as we can get Ruru to shelter, she'll be able to live a happy life. Let's hurry and find her then. Okay. Let's get Ruru home. That's how I got my cat. He's like, look at this the cat! Creator bless us. Oh! Come on, let me attack someone. Where are they? I need to reload. Bro, I'm getting no chance at attacking. Bro! I had no chance here! Ah yes, my favorite dog was Meow. Meow! Solves everything. One more victory for both of me! What's that robot? This robot dog is so cool! After arriving at the dump, our nostrils are assaulted by the foul odor. After the noxious scent, the other thing I notice is all the dangerous objects which are strewn about every way. You're telling me that there's a cat living here? That's right. You see the box over there? Nero points out over the dilapidated dilapidated box that is falling apart at the seams sitting all alone I forgot I still had a pill to take and I already finished with my juice damn Ruru should be there how miserable I'm willing to bet that her owners abandoned her here there she is one yellow one green eye I love it Ruru peeks her head out because of the noise Typical cat. She tries to put out a fearsome front to scare us off. She's definitely on on edge. She's uh, been taught to not trust anyone, so it makes sense. It's nice to meet you. Ruby. I'm Nero. I take care of all the cats in the yard. This hair is meow. Why would you curse her out when you're just meeting her? Oh shit! Oh shit! Wait, no! That, I mean, that's how we become friends, you know, friends curse each other all the time. Look at her face! Gotta text my mom uh, that if I want more juice. Damn. 
I thought I said hi. I think you should stick to human speech. No! Hiss. I don't think she likes you. Understandable. Not just me. I don't think she's taking a shine to either of us. The question is, will she see it? Take some juice, put some water. Uh, make it diluted juice. Meow! Guru's ears bend back and she makes a sharp hissing sound. You don't have to be afraid. We came here because we want to be your friends. It might be good for you to come to shelter. Hisses at us. Hisses at us. Tap, 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 tap. Guru leaps out of the box, box and scampers off. I don't think this is going to be easy. I knew it would be difficult from the start. Making friends is a process that takes time. I wouldn't know. Cats are no exception. Especially when she's been hurt by human before. It's only natural that it'll take some time for her to open up. By the way, that's the type of shit my dad would do. <laughs> Oh good, then blame it on your dad. Get some juice, mix it some water, and your dad gets thrown under the bus in that case. So perfect, win-win situation. Um, first time I got my cat, I brought him home, and he had his kitty litter, and I'm like, wow, what a clean cat. It's been three days, and he's only pooped once. He's so clean. My first cat ever. Because I would let him outside as well, like for five minutes or so. And then he come back, and this is the first time I got him from his other house. I'm like, wow, what a clean cat. And then, weekend comes, and I'm about to clean my house like I do every time, because my house is a little bigger than for a single person. So I open this door of a room. The floor of this room was full of the cat's crap. All this time, he just started crapping everywhere in the room that I didn't even go to. I entered the room and it was like a landmine. And I'm like, what the fuck? He pooped somewhere secret, didn't he? Yeah, entire room. I'm like, oh. So that was his grudge. Le oh, so let's be patient, okay. And give him more time to open, a open up to us. How to get closer to cats? You just need to observe, huh? Watch from afar and slowly close the distance. If you approach too hastily, they'll run away. Oh! It's like, uh, picking up some, uh, I mean, what? We'll wait until there is something we can help uh, her with. Until then, the only thing we can do is watch from safe distance. Okay. They don't say cats are ornamental animals for nothing. Now, let's follow Ruru. Can we not talk about this while I'm eating? Okay, fair, 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 fair. My dad is asleep and I barely interact with him. How the hell would I blame him? Oh, he'll get blamed by himself. If you know that that's the thing your dad would do, then probably your mom knows that too. Who is more strict, mom or dad? Did you see that? Let me, let me, let me shoot too. Good. Bro, I didn't even get a chance. Yes, sure we did. Dad. Yeah, what about them? Ruru enters an alleyway lined with different restaurants. Sniff, sniff. Sniff, 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 sniff. She moves around while intently sniffing the ground. What is she doing? Which reminds me, talking about cats, I do have the game Stray. One of these days, I gotta play the game too, Stray. There must not be much to eat at the dump. So she's come here in the hopes of finding something to eat. Will she fear any better hair? I personally would say no, but you never know, she might get lucky and find something. Some people occasionally leave out the scrapes for stray cats. Tap 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 tap. She found something! What'd she find? Yuru picks up the scent of some leftover near the garbage can. 
and sprints towards it at breakneck pace. Diving in the moment, she reaches the source. Ha! Ha! The clumps of food get stuck in her throat, and then she starts retching painfully. Shouldn't we help? She still doesn't trust us, so she won't uh, eat anything we give her. Screech! So you're the one who's been poking holes in our garbage bags. Hiss! Ha, I think that's supposed to scare me. You're a feisty little one. You must be starving to be this bold. You want some proper food? Ah! Crack. The shopkeeper opens the canned food, then kneels down and plays in front of Ruru. Here you go, try this. I bought it at Royal Road a couple of days ago. The shopkeeper nudges uh, the can closer to Ruru. Meow! Swish! Tap, 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 tap. The terrified Ruru hightails out of uh, the alleyway. She must have gone spooked because the stranger got too close. Let's follow her. Honestly, at this point, the cat's causing trouble for itself. Let's be honest here. There is food! Flabby, bing bong, thank you. Bonk was required. Is she okay? I think it's because she ate too fast. After Ruru makes her great escape from the back alleyway, her body begin to wobble. All I see so far is the cats causing half the troubles for themselves. And one little food, food she ate ends up coming back up. Lick, 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 lick. She drinks from the stagnant puddle beside her. The water doesn't look very clean. Mm. Crack, pour. What are you doing? If she keeps this up, she's gonna end up malnourished. I'll leave some water and food a ways away. Do you think she'll be able to find it? If we scatter some catnip around the area, she'll be able to smell it. Catnip. Cat goes crazy for it! I, I bring catnip for my cat all the time and that he runs all over the house. We can use that for uh, that to subtly, su subtly, subtly, subtly uh, let her know that the food is here. Meanwhile, we'll retreat back into bushes. A moment later. Sniff sniff, sniff sniff sniff. Drew is sniffing the area nearby and approaches the can meat of that narrow left. Sniff sniff, lick lick lick, alright she ate it. Wait, we could have put uh, sleeping pills in that and then take Ruru to the shelter. She must have been starving. Uh, that could mean many different things. They could signify she's really hungry, or she could be remarking how delicious the food is. They could also mean that she misses her mother. Oh. Right now, though, I'd say they mean she approves of the food. Meow. Meow indeed. Ruru continues to make strange guttural noises for several minutes as she continues to eat. Really? So when they do... Like they it's time sound I like a motor. A that could mean while eating food. That could mean the food's good, or they were really hungry, or they misses their mother. More I know. I should bring Harrison to approve of this quest. Let me fight! I need to reload. Let, let me fight! No, what are your Nikes leveled at? Are they maxed out? Level 200? The organization will be proud of this outcome. After her meal, Ruru's day continues. Mommy, look at the cute kitty! I've never seen a real cat before. Oh dear, are you alright, little thing? You know, you can just put it on auto. Yeah, that's the thing, like... Yeah, but I want to shoot something, that's what I mean. Isn't it adorable? It is on auto because other than them uh, are on auto already. That's it! Come here, little guy! Yes. Ah, mommy, I'm scared! Oh boy. I think our furry, furry friend isn't in very good mood today. 182 is, is my peak at the moment. Damn. We'll have to come back and see it another time. Crash, crash, crash. Very crash. In the courses of her aimlessly wandering, Ruru ends up in a factory. Meow! Stacks of wooden planks fall beside Ruru. Hey! There's a cat here! Be careful so you don't hurt it. See, people are nice. Really? Oh my. What should I do? 
Hey kitty, are you alright? What a cat doing here? Should we report it? Yeah, but who do we contact? Guru grows suspicious of the two men who are trying to help her and scurries away. Yeah, half the problem the cats are creating for itself. Meow. Captain Kitten, hiss. Whack. Why do the cat keep clubbing Ruru? In the wild, which runs off social ladder your own is determined by the physical strength alone. Not only is she physically weak, but she has no parents or social groups, so it's inevitable that she'll get pushed around. I see, just like real world. I see a lot of stray cats in the ark, why is that? Hmm. Most of them have been abandoned. If lucky, sometimes we receive reports by people who saw them and can rescue these cats. But far more aren't so lucky. We try our best to bring in as many as we can, but the cat population continues to grow. We have attempted to divide stray cats in the ark into several sections and to manage them together with the shelter cats. To be fair, if you see something 100x your size, you probably start running. Well, I'm seeing something 100 times my size, should I be running right now? Uh, which is... The car outside my window. Yes. Uh, the cat, cats you and the others have been seeing today are most likely strays that people never reported. Most of them spend their days like how we have seen uh, Ruru did. To be fair, you know what? That makes sense. If you look up in the sky and suddenly a dragon shows up out of nowhere. Forget dragon! What's the key? Think about what's the, what's the most harmless looking thing but increase it by 100 times size. A giant turtle? Yeah, we'll run away. A giant mouse? Yeah, sounds about right. It's a hard knock life for these guys. They are fighting uh, to stay alive every minute of the day out here. Kuku, face to face with a beer, most likely you'd run. Actually, quite the opposite. If you see the beer, don't run. Because uh, they like chasing. Then you can't outrun a beer. You can... If you can see a hiding spot, go hide. If not, yell bad at the beer. Actually, it depends which beer. I know for one of them, you're supposed to act dead, and for the other one, quite the opposite. You have to like scream and whatnot. Like, try to scare the beer. You can't outrun them, they are fast. Since she wasn't born in the field, this is all new and very scary for her. Unless you see a guaranteed shelter near you, like if you see a house and you know the door's open, go run inside the door and even then make it a sprint. Isn't there any we can uh, help her with? Hmm, not at the moment, no. Not just her either, but any of the cats. Why are we following the entire town for this cat? You know, you can just capture it and then let her be in a controlled area. Unless you plan on taking care of them forever, there's nothing you can do to help. Even if you have good intentions, it won't always lead to positive outcome. A cat that becomes accustomed to humans will have a hard time living independently. The best solution for a stray cat is to create a hospitable environment that allows them to live independently. Or to report them to us, which so we can take care of them. Meow. 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 What happened? Ruru has fallen into the water and is struggling. You see, once a cat uh, gets used to human care, it can never return back to the wild. Who could have literally said it could die if you rush it? But yeah, but like... Capture it, but like capture it calmly. That's why we take cats like Ruru to shelter. Wait here just a moment. Nero hops into the water and pulls out Ruru. See? Ruru is clearly exhausted, her body limp. Have you ever been paying attention to this event? Yes, I have. I know they spoke about the heart attack. You need protection. How about we go to shelter? There you'll have friends to and plenty of food. Meow. Meow. Why doesn't she want to go to shelter? I'm not sure. She isn't telling me the reason. Is she waiting on her humans? Maybe she is waiting on her owners, human owners. This place is far too dangerous for you, so I'll teach you how to survive in the wild. This is how you survive in the wild. This is how you survive in the wild. You hide behind uh, the blocks. You grab some 
guns like this and you go Bro, who is one shooting them? Who is one shooting them like that? It's the one next to me. The first thing you should learn is socialization. Really? Really? It'll help alleviate the apprehension that comes with being in a new environment and meeting other animals. If you want to survive in the wild, you've got to learn to socialize. Luru hasn't developed any of these skills throughout her life. Interesting. Let's go meet some new people and animals. Alright. Where are we? Welcome to the shelter. You'll be able to meet plenty of new animals and people over here. Ah, oh, look at him! Wait, what the hell is that? Is there, is there an actual lion over there? Yes. Guys, be quiet! You'll scare her. What? 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 I. I what is? What is happening over here? Up until now, I was just thinking of the lions trying to eat her, but now I see that she has a collar around the lion itself. What is happening? Hello, Nero told me uh, a lot about you. Poor tiger. Yeah. You know what? Justice for tiger. Poor tiger. I will do a social. I will. I will be morally righteous here, and I will switch places with lion so lion can have a happy life. I will sacrifice my own life, and I will switch places with the lion, so that lion can live a happy, peaceful life. That's all I'm saying. See how morally righteous Cuckoo is. I am happily happy to switch places with the lion right now, so he can have a good life. You're so tiny! Huh? I feel like you'd break into if I tried to hold on to you. <laughs> Alright. Grrr! Juru started trembling, most likely due to the towering dogs and the lion behind Leona. Yeah, that would do it! Timmy likes it there. No! Timmy doesn't know! Tired of living! <laughs> Hello, tired of living! How's it going? Why are you tired of living? Timmy likes it there. You don't know if Timmy likes it there or not. All I'm saying is that he should be in jungle, alright, and not captured. Lions are supposed to be in jungle, so I'll happily switch places with that lion right there so he can be the king of the jungle again. That's all I'm saying. The event shows, but Timmy loves it, Leona. No, you don't know that. You don't have to be scared. Everyone uh, just coming over here to welcome you. Right, you don't need to be afraid at all. This one's called Timmy. Timmy always looks so. I don't know. I don't know how to say it. Say it. How does Timmy look? Cause boy, oh boy, I wanna look like that. <laughs> now, now, don't be scared of Ruru. How in the world, Cuckoo? Lions don't live in jungle. What do you mean lions don't live in jungle? Lions live in jungle. Um, how in the world? Is he scared of Ruru? Timmy's always a petrified of small animals, alright? So, am I actually... Also, even he has access to the wild, yet he chose to be by her side, so... Of course he did! Who wouldn't? I mean, he doesn't know what he's missing. She has a butterfly tattoo on her wrist. I just realized it. I just looked at her wrist. Look at that cool butterfly tattoo. And her collar looks like a shark with the eyes. 
and then the zip of the collar looks like the shark mouth. That's a cool design. They are our kryptonite. I see. I guess I have no reason to be afraid then. Welcome Ruru! Oh Biscuit! I know Biscuit. Don't worry, the dogs here are all friendly. Go on guys, say hi. Cuckoo bad. What do you mean cuckoo bad? What did I do? Damn. Looks like a Doberman. That's a beautiful dog. Sniff, 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 sniff. Max and the other dogs slowly approach Ruru and start sniffing. Like, then they start to lick Lulu. Ru Lulu. Ruru! Damn. Relentlessly. Africa cuckoo. Most li wild lions live in Africa. Yeah, but in Africa, it's not like they have they have their house, an apartment, where they go and they work and they cook their food in the kitchen. They still live in the jungle. They still live in jungle. I think they like her. Let's watch uh, from over here, Timmy. I don't think we should get any closer. Roar! Boof. Ruru doesn't move from her spot and continues to stare at the dog. Do you think she's scared? Most likely. This is all new for her. She has never seen other animal different from her. However, if she was truly terrified, she would have run off and hid somewhere. Cuckoo. They live in savannah. What's savannas? Savannas. Grassy plain in tropical and subtropical with few trees. Alright, man. Uh, listen. 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 Someone put this back in the middle school. We can't keep doing this. Hey, we did not... Once again, we had a lot of... Scratch that, put him in the first grade. We had... A lot of languages, alright? We were taught four languages at the same time. So they didn't cover all the languages. They always were like, here's a lion, lion lives in the jungle. The king of the jungle lion. That's how we were taught, alright? Blame it on bl blame it on the blame on the my school. We were juggling between English, Hindi, Punjabi and Sanskrit. He needs preschool. Why why is lion called king of the jungle then, huh? Man, hold up, hold up. I can't, I won't tolerate this. Alright, why are they called King of the Jungle? Why are they called King of the Jungle? If they don't live in jungle. I blame it on society then. It's society. They should have been like King of the Plains. The dog uh, start playing with Ruru because they look cool. I don't get yeah, yeah. You can't put David. I don't know. Go ask the society. Why? Are, why is Lion called King of the Jungle if he doesn't live in the jungle? It looked like Ruru uh, does okay with the animals. It'd be like me saying, "Oh, Akron, the best, best, uh, uh, the queen of Genshin Impact. Oh, is she in Genshin Impact? No, she's in Honkai Star Rail." But Akron, king, queen of Genshin Impact. See? Blame it on society. I wanna play too. Come Nero, Luana, let's play. No thanks. Me neither. Okay. Tell me how cool would King of Plains sound to a child? Exactly! So they're feeding the wrong information to a child. That's that's bad on society. What about you, trainer? I'll sit this one out. Nah, sure. Okay. A few hours later. If anyone is threatening you, hit them with one of these. Damn! Now. This is only the beginning of Nero's training. You give it a try. King of Planes sounds very weird. But yeah, just because it, so you're okay with it being factually incorrect just because it sounds weird. Extend your claws a little more. Now, there you go. That's how you do it. I mean, King of Grassland might be Pog. 
king of grassland, but what about anacondas? What about, what about, what about big snakes? Try it on scoops. What about king cobra then? King cobra is not king anymore? Now. Piss. Huh. Luruzai Biden and her tail sticks straight up. Sorry! What is she saying? No comment. Did she, did she curse me? Never use your claws. Unless you have to protect yourself. If someone is giving you a hard time, retract your claws first and give them a few bonding spikes. Got it? Now! Yeah. Alright, let's move into, on to the grooming. You start with nose, then ears, then forehead, then eyes. Once you're done with the face, you move on to shoulder, side, back, legs, and tail. Follow me. Click, click. Nero and Ruru starts to group together. Where's the animation of that? Where is the animation of that? Why did you low budget this, Nike? I want to see Nero and Ruru grooming together. You can also uh, use grooming to express admiration. Nero comes close to me. She wraps her arm around my neck and starts to lick my head. Alright. Alright. When you want to express admiration or gratitude, you can look like this. <laughs> Your turn, Ruru. Now I'm fine. Stay away. Stay away, Ruru. I'm fine. After some momentary hesitation, Ruru begins to lick the back of my head. Goku, mm. one lucky bastard. <laughs> God damn! Ah! My cheeks hurt from smiling this wide. Alright. Nuru is startled and quickly withdraws. Uh, that sound meant it, feels ni it felt nice. Nuru scoops uh, doesn't dislike you. Right, I don't hate you at all. I slowly extend my hand out to Nuru. She continues to be hesitated and eyeball me with suspicion but eventually come close and resumes licking my hand. Finally, uh, I feel like we've become a little closer. Alright. Oh, now, if only he had this kind of luck intention. Hey, talking about luck, I was, uh, I came across this, uh, YouTuber who's trying, who's trying to get Akron. And they lost their first 50-50 and now they were at their, like, 60th wish already. And I'm thinking... I got lucky. Uh, Snow, if you didn't uh, know, yesterday I got Akron on my 23rd wish. On my 23rd wish, I got Akron. And the thing is, I didn't think that I would get Akron, so I was just like pressing wish, skip, wish, skip, wish, skip. So I accidentally even skipped the uh, main animation of, uh, you know, her uh, unlocking her because I didn't think I have her. She just popped out out of nowhere and I was like, ah! Ah! Only if he had that luck in real life. Hey! Hey! All I'm saying is, yes, my relationships didn't last long. Yes, the breakups were painful. But, I was able to date people. Two of them. One who was 8 out of 10 and the other one easy. 9.5 out of 10. Sure, the relationship didn't last long because I'm pretty sure very soon they realized their value and they thought, man, I can actually do better. That is not the question here. The question is that, holy shit, if I, if I can't believe the people I dated, even if it was for a short time, okay? So I'm just contented in knowing that. Speaking of Akron, it was ultra rare Kuku W. I got a light cone, light cone yesterday. God damn, really? Nice. Are you hungry? Nero takes out the catrice from her pocket. What would you say is her F F2P build, build for her like porn? Meow. Meow. You want some two scoops? I'll take it. Isn't it just for cat? And my god, the damage increases I got from it. Do you? <sighs> Considering I just started. Should I be trying to wish for her light cone, or should I just save it for the next character? Humans can eat it too. Okay. 
I've tried cat food. It tastes weird. Nothing. I feel like I've heard this line before. What line? It's tuna flavored, so it'll be extra delicious. Cuckoo going for someone for looks and then proceeding to raid them puts you in the bad light. Uh, no, not just looks. I'm talking all in all. All in all. Attitude, looks, everything. I'm just surprised is what I'm saying. Like significantly. Holy shit, how? Now me personally, you should do both. How can I save the wishes and wish for the light cone at the same time? How <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. How? What does that even mean? I'm like, should I wish or should I save? Both. I don't, I don't, I don't. What? How does one do both? How does one both wish and save at the same time? I don't understand. Those are two opposite things. You'll figure it out somehow. What does that even mean? I have this $5. Should I spend it or should I save it? Both. Oh. Split it. Well, yeah, but that then I'm not guaranteed. Like, I only have eight wishes to begin with. I'll try one bite. Never stick some of the cat treats into my mouth. Oh. Chomp! How is it? Tastes awful. Bah! You're way too picky. They're not that bad. I've tried some of the... Just like a little lick. I was like, alright, what, what is he so crazy about? I tried cat treat one time and it just tastes weird. 160 is a save. Then 320, you buy one pull. I'll spell it out for you. You wish, and then by the end of the banner, if you don't get it, you can just continue to save. Ah. So, you're pretty much saying spend it. That's just spend. Spend until the banner runs out. You are drooling. Hey, try some. Sniff, sniff. Lick, lick. She likes it. Is it good? Now, Ruru, if you don't come to shelter, you'll have to find these yourself. Are you okay with that? I have no intention of forcing you to stay here. If you ever change your mind, you can tell me anytime. Once you're done with the treat, I'll show you your territory. Nero takes Ruru into the bushes. From here to the house with the, ro uh, with the red roof, where it's okay to venture about. Climb the walls and try going there. How does she know the territory? That's what I do when I'm low on funds. Uh -huh. Would it be right for the shelter uh, not to take her? If she doesn't want to come, then it wouldn't be right to force her to stay. We own this little plot of land, and we take turns keeping a close eye on Ruru. Oh! It's the best solution. She initially lived with humans, and then was abandoned. At first I thought that she should definitely take her in, since this place is dangerous, but my thoughts have changed. Since Ruru was raised by humans from an early age, she doesn't know the first thing about surviving in the wild. It works every time. Nice. It might be better to show her the ropes. I'll help you whatever I can. Thank you. She's still practically a baby. She's more defenseless than I thought she'd be. Black Wolf says three. Not three, one. One. One is the amount of arms you have. It does look like she's open up to us a bit though. I'm just waiting to see what happens now in the chat. There's three, two, one. I'm just waiting to see what happens now. How does this unfold? In the middle of walking along the path that Nero pointed out, Ruru suddenly stops. She looks off in the distance and I follow her gaze. Through the window of distant house, there is a cat being patted by its owner. Aww. The owner looks at the cat lovingly, and the cat rubs her head against the owner's affectionately. The owner starts to pat the cat. Aww. You think she misses it? Perhaps. Ru once had a happy life with her owner. 
The sky opens up and rain, rain comes pouring down. I'd totally forgotten, but the weather report said there'd be a heavy rain today. Luru, whenever it's raining, go inside a building. Wow! What's wrong? Tap, 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 tap. Luru runs off. Let's follow her. After barely keeping pace with Ruru, we end up back in the dump. Huh? She's dating one of previous owners, isn't she? Come on, guys! Turn those frowns upside down! Let me guess, the cat is my feet. Yeah, I got to kill one! What's happening? I'm sorry, what was that about? Why? I'm sorry, what? I need to reload. I don't get it. Oh! Time for class to begin. Uh we have a class in Wonderland! Pay attention in class. I'm sorry, who was that teacher? What, what was that class? Meow. Meow. Ruru stares at the entrance of Dub and cries out mournfully. As if she was looking for someone. What is she saying? She's waiting for her owners. Mom. Dad. Meow. Meow. I'm here. When are you coming? I miss you. That's not enough. You have to cry louder so your owners can hear you. Don't me. You sh don't. Don't. Don't me? MF, you play the game? What? Let them know how difficult it's been. Let them hear how sad you are. Unleash all the resentment. Say everything you want to say. Until you feel better. Meow. Meow. Meow meow. That's a good kitty. What is she saying now? I don't need expensive toys. I will need to. Ah! Ah! Emotions, go away. I don't need you. Please, don't throw me away. Ru looks at the garbage dump and cries out endlessly until she loses her voice and can no longer cry out. I couldn't even use hundred full guns. Hundred bullets. We will also emerge victorious, so long as we never give up hope. A few hours later, the rain eventually stops and the sun comes back out. I've been eating for an entire hour. Nice! What have you been eating? The longest 
longest dinner I ever had lasted for eight hours. Don't worry, Cuckoo, it turns over here on. Eight hours. I went to my friend's house, went to village, went to our countryside, and we were like five friends and cousins, and we started dinner at 8 p.m. And we got together. We had some. We had a lot of drinks. Open bar system. Uh, at home, and uh, we had our own poultry. We had made to cook food. Uh, and should cook food, and we started eating food at around 8 p.m. And I remember when we finally were finished, like with dinner, and we slept was around like 3, 4 a.m. Throughout the night, we just ate, played some cards, uh, caught up with our life and everything. You know, like what's happening was like, cause we all met each other after like 10 years and a lot of drinks, played some music, passed out a little bit, like one would pass out for 15, 20 minutes, wake up again, start eating. Yeah, like our dinner lasted like from 8 p.m. to like 4 a.m. And damn, we had like a lot of naan breads and like full chickens. Uh, Ruru continues uh, continues stare at the garbage dumps entrance. Are you going to keep staying there? You'll catch a cold. Are you okay, Scoops? I'm okay. Achoo! Hmm. Chicken fajitas wrapped in soft tortilla shell plus chips and salsa for breakfast. Damn, that's a good breakfast. Why don't you head inside? I'll stay here with her. What I had for breakfast was I made my own dough and then I made like tortilla out of it. It was, I made dough of, I processed, I have a food processor, I processed oats, uh, chickpeas, potato, carrots, onion, tomato, uh, garlic, ginger, and uh, a little bit of rice for the rice flour and then like I, I made dough out of all it. Frick it, I can't finish these chips. I'll, I'll be here forever if I do. Are you sure? What's going on? She says she'll go to the shelter. That's good. Let's go warm up. At the shelter. Do you have a blanket? Ruru is shaking. Take my jacket. I... Yeah, take, my, take off my jacket. Neru wraps Ruru with my jacket. Let me hold her. Thanks. Ruru rests in my arms without any resistance. At this point, I'm wondering why she even wears these pants. Like, what are their purpose? You mean the skirt? It's, 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 it's it has its purpose. It has its purpose. If they weren't there, then I'm pretty sure I, I wouldn't stream it. I'm glad they are there. It has its purpose. Did she fall asleep? I think so. Baby cat sleeps 20 hours a day. Damn, a life. The main reason I don't really eat traditional breakfast food is because it takes me a lot longer to finish it. Ah. Juru probably has barely gotten any sleep past few days. Let's head back to shelter. We need to give her a checkup. She's been on street for quite some time. Her health probably isn't in the best condition. Man! Ah, there's a shelter nearby where I live, and this game almost makes me want to go check out that shelter. But I, I'm not alone. Like, I'm alone. If I had somebody else living with me, then I would have adopted more pets. But right now, one's more than enough. Um, can you help me check to see if she's healthy? Sure. She really zonked out. All the better. We can consider it natural anesthesia. Sniff sniff. Meow? Ruru looks around and starts to wriggle around to get off my arms. Hiss! Hold on to her tight. Grab. Meow! Crash. She's so strong! Chop chop. Ah! She bit me! Cats can be pretty fiercely when they want to be. Ow! Oh! For some reason, I feel like I should apologize. I'm sorry. Chomp! Hey! I get bit again. Soon after. After Ruru's health check is finished, she promptly falls back asleep. You really went through it back there. Good job. It's not easy to do a health check on cats. We ha will have results in a few hours. We can rest until then. Okay. Grr, grr, grr. Nero must have been tired too. She falls asleep the moment she lays her head on my thumb. 
I see. Better head! Rub rub. Meow. Oh? Nero claps her arms around my face and pulls herself closer to me. Alright. 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 I don't think I'll be getting much rest. <laughs> Kyoku W Riz. I mean it's it's the game. I'll settle this according it's to It's a script, goddammit, it's just a script. Rare Kuku Jumpu! A generic script. Kuku Jumpu! Did you see that? Yeah, yeah, it's almost like it didn't happen for everyone who played this game. Time for class to begin. Yesterday was ultra rare Kuku Jumpu. The results are in! How are they looking? Nera looks at the results with the solemn expressions. Not good. What do you mean? You should mentally prepare yourself before I tell you this. Okay. Her health is already deteriorated. I'm dead as using both Twitch and YouTube just to bypass the stream delay. Damn! Beyond the point we can help her. What? Surely without all the ARC's technology, they can take care of any illness she has. You're right, but the Ark's medical technology is reserved for humans. And that means there's nothing we can do. Ru doesn't have much longer to live. That can't be it. She's still so young, how terrible. All of us gathered in the middle of shelter discussing Ruru. Her condition is severe enough that it's untreatable. A house cat's lifespan is 15 years compared to only 3 for a street cat. My um, neighbor over here, the cat's 18 year old. As you can imagine, the reason has to do with the stark differences in their living condition. It's not terribly surprising. She could have had, had such a happy life. Timmy, are you angry? I'm angry too. So what do we do now? Right now, Ruru's happiness is a top priority. Let's use the time she has left to do whatever Ruru wants to do. Good idea. Spending the little little time she has left. Ah! Spending the precious little time she has left. Being depressed won't do any good for us or Ruru. I'm sure you'll take care of her, Nero. Max and their dog said they enjoy playing with Ruru as well. Just let us know whenever you need us. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Don't mention it. Fuck stream delays. All my homies hate stream delays. I have a question I need you all to answer honestly. Okay, I'm prepared for this question. I want to make Ruru the happiest cat in the world. Just let us know how we can help and what we'll, we'll do we, what we can. Should I quick Honka Impact 3rd? I kinda have. I uninstalled Honka Impact 3rd yesterday because it's a whole new game now, pretty much. The Honka Impact 3rd Part 2 is like literally a whole new game. So I, for myself, thought it was a good spot to end it. To to, to, to part my ways. Because Kiana, Kiana, Bronya, and all those, they were holding me on to like keep playing it. But now that Honka Impact 3rd Part 2, which is the entire new game, has started, I'm like, okay, this is a good note to just be like, okay, good relationship whole entire one arc is done there are all these new character new storyline new everything so i'm just like and even new playstyle so i'm like all right this this is a good spot for me to part my base so i actually have i don't know what you do but i actually have finally quit playing honka impact third i do events i don't do story i only play traded my i don't make i don't like the ui i'm broke as shit on there yeah especially for me it's more like Again, it's a whole new game at this point, whole new story. I finished both Raid and Hersher builds. Yeah, yeah, I've, I've personally finished it. Especially because Wuthering Waves is coming in two months. Prepare yourself for Wuthering Waves. I'm okay. I've seen a lot of cats like Ruru here. At first, it angered me. I didn't understand why innocent animals were being treated this way, especially when it wasn't their fault. It was human greed that brought them so low. But getting emotional about it won't change anything. 
these animals don't have much time. So rather than get upset or depressed, I've decided to devote my time to helping these sick cats. Until the bitter end, we'll do everything we can to make Ruru happy. Though I could just do what I do with Rev Review Starlight? Is that a game? Review Starlight. Huh. That's a different, that's a little weird gameplay. This one I'm for daily reward and call it a day. Damn. Divish, you can have plenty of pleasant memories to cherish in her final moments. Pat pat. Nero starts stroking the sleeping Ruru. Snuggle snuggle. Purr purr. Ruru starts rubbing her face against Nero's hands. I like this. I like how you can play the uh, events, the Gohan events again. I like it. Unlike Genshin. Unlike Hoyo Wars. Event is gone, it's gone. Time for class to begin. Time has come to end this fight. I only play game for. Pemo Tom Tomo because she's bossed by Kimori Kusunoki because she used to voice Love Life. Oh, Love Life! I know Love Life. Ujigasaki. We are almost at the end of the event. The next day, now Ruru greets us enthusiastically, revealing our concerns to be unfounded. Are you okay? Meow. Meow meow meow. She's awfully talkative now. But she had to quit because of EHD I think? I don't remember that name. Huh. She's probably feeling much better. I'm willing to bet that it was her first good night's sleep in a while. Aww. Guru, starting from today you can do anything you want. You can sleep more or play with dogs. Is there anything you want to do in particular? She's thinking over it. Yes, how adorable. Meow. Hmm. Understood, let's go. She wants to play a hunting game. She's a cat after all. Since there is nothing to hunt in Ark, it makes sense. Commander Nero? Add me? What brings you here? I'm here to buy a cat toy. Speaking of which, meow. So cute! Is this your cat, Commander? Yes, yeah, she's mine. Nero gives me a glance and remains silent in my arms. Actually, she's one of the cats from our shelter. Hey! I see. She's so tiny. She's even a, even a year old. What's her name? Ruru. Can I pet her? She's purring up a storm and you haven't even pet her yet, so she must be in a good mood. Go ahead. Another fun fact. Nico Yanzawa's VA and Ali Ayasa's VA uh, voice hooks Topaz in Japanese stuff. Damn. I know Topaz. I, I learned about Topaz recently. Adni starts stroking Ruru with her soft hands. Purr purr. She was hissing something fierce when Scoop first saw her. It kinda hurts my feeling. As Ruru looks at me, she proceeds to bump her head into me. I think she really likes you, Commander. Meow. Meow. What did she say? That she likes you. Looks like... I've got a new pet. Congratulations on becoming a new pet owner. Hell yeah. Respectively. Yep, respectively. Respectively indeed. It suits you. Waiting for uh, I can to voice either Genshin or Honkai character. This isn't much, but Russell Russell. This is a treat I was saving for whenever I ran into Stray Cat. However, it might be better to go give it to Ruru, so I think she likes it. Thanks. Would you look at the time? I've gotta get going. Plenty of things to do. Is it okay if I play with Ruru again sometime? Of course. Come to shelter anytime you play. 
Thanks. I'll take you up on that. See you later then. Bye! I still feel depressed. Sometimes ignorance is bliss. Let's hurry and buy a toy and leave. As Nero waves a feather toy at Ruru, Ruru jiggles her butt, backs and forth, crouches, and then pounces towards it. My cat does not play with the toy. He sits in the box of the toy, but does not play with the toy. She's a solid hunter. You try it, Scoops. Swish! Do do do. Swish! Do do do. Juru darts at after the toy in all directions. A few hours later. Is she tired? I'm still playing with Juru. Does she ever get tired? Kitten are always bundles of energy. Meow, meow, meow. She's asking me to wave it faster. I shake the toy faster. Just like dogs never get tired of box, cats never get tired of hunting. Meow meow, meow meow. What's wrong? She says it's her first time playing like this. Aww. She lived with the people that didn't deserve to be owners. It's nothing. Let's keep having fun. For rest of the time we spend in shelter, all you hear is the jingles of the toy and Ruru's ecstatic cries while immersed in the thrill of hunt. I would play hunt with cat, but my cat does not play hunt. Only time he runs around the whole thing, is, whole place is when uh, he's uh, he's on cat. Maybe I'll get him a cat. Yeah, I'll get him some cat. The amount of toys I've gone for my cat, damn, doesn't play with any of them. For class to begin. Do not forget, are they feeling better? He, he's opening his eyes a lot more often, so the medicine seems like it's working, but I can't say it yet. We will I took his cat collar off because he was so feeling depressed with cat collar. Help. The cat collar was there so he won't hurt his own eye. It's not touching his eye, so you know, it might be okay. She says she wants to go to the highest place in the world. Where is that? Everest? A Ferris wheel? I think that might be about as high as we can, plus it's safe. All in all, not bad idea. Let's go. Yeah, surface is bad. What do you think? The entire world is beneath your feet through. We arrived at the peak of the Ferris wheel at the amusement park. You can see the entire arc from here. Now. Ruru's eye are shining bright. Man! You know what? I was thinking this morning. I'll probably... I'll have to put a lot of leashes together so that I have roughly 15 feet of leash and then I'll take my cat somewhere in the park and then at least he'll have 15 feet of radius that he can walk around. As compared to, you know, he won't walk on a leash like a dog but I don't want him to be loose either as then he can walk get lost. So 15 feet should be more than enough. We are so high up, but she's not scared at all. Cats are curious by nature. Now, yeah. and she says she's very brave. I think back on all time, Guru was uh, so very of us. If she says so, what do you want to do next? Cat probably didn't move an inch. I think I'm gonna build Himiko on HSR. Man, Himiko's so nice. Lick, purr, lick, lick. Seems like she's a fan. Her purring engine is in overdrive while she's eating voraciously. We brought tons of treat for Ruru to eat. Russell, Russell, meow, meow. I think she likes the plastic bag better than her toy. Every cat ever! Apparently, there's no need to buy expensive toys for her. I try my best to let Ruru do everything she wants. Purr, 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 purr. Nothing beats a good sunset. Meow. Oh my goodness, what an adorable kitty. What's her name? Ruru, man with glasses. So cute! I heard cat loves it when you scratch under their chin. I saw it in a documentary. Purr, 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 purr. Lulu lets a strange pet, a stranger pet under her chin without any reservation. Wow, listen to that purr. How sweet. Hey look, there's a cat over here. I want to see it too. In an instant, the small crowd gathers around Ruru. Now, now, her. Ruru, do you want a treat? Oh my gosh, she's so cute, I can't even. 
A cat who was hurt by humans became the one who was loved by all those who knew her. Did you have fun today? Now, I'm glad. Rusari run into bushes. She leaves an artificial flower in front of Nero and me. A flower? Now, where did you find this? Thank you. Ruru, you and I are quite similar. The color of our eyes. Purple? Blue? The white and gray speckles in our tails. Ruru starts looking at her tail. Now, I'm happy too. Tap, 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 tap. Ruru uh, runs over and sits down between Nero and... We all look up in the sky filled with a shimmering star without saying a word. Aww! We're almost there you guys! Almost there! By Senekai, these fiends will go no further. I will suck at first person shooting game if I can't even Damn I think Snow might be somebody who is good at first person shooting game I don't know Yohanichi would be good at first person shooting too Alright! Last! Let's go! With the passing of time, Ruru's health condition worsens. I can't see Ruru. She's probably hiding somewhere. Why though? When a cat isn't feeling well, their first instinct is to hide. I think we need to prepare for the worst. I don't think there's much time left. I go wild in FPS. I could tell. I could tell. Snow's probably nails FPS. Which one? Which uh, which one do you play? Now. You want to go somewhere? Don't tell me. Nah. Don't tell me she wants to go where I think she wants to go. Meow meow. Meow. Where does she wants to go? The dump, doesn't she? God damn it. Once we arrive at the dump, the box where we found Ruru is no longer there. The box is gone. It's okay, the shelter is Ruru's home now. Ruru drags her near lifeless body weakly to the spot where the box once used to be and lays there. It looks to me like she's waiting for her owner. Probably. A cat always has near unbreakable bond with their first owners. God damn. You're telling me that Harrison doesn't even like me. Wow. They were the first humans she ever saw. She'll never forget all those treasured memories she has of them. Even though she was abandoned, she doesn't blame the owners one bit. She only blames herself. Meow meow. Meow. Ruru stares at the dump entrance and starts wailing. Hours have passed. Meow meow. Meow. Ruru's cries have been ceaseless, yet there isn't a sign of anyone coming to dump. Stop crying, you're going to strain yourself. Meow. Stroke stroke. Nero sits beside Ruru and pats her on the head. In the next life, be born as my cat. I'll make you so much happier than you're now. I'll buy you lots of toys. I'll make you the highest cat tower. You'll have the most delicious kitty treats any feline has ever eaten. So please, in your next life, be born as mine. I laugh because uh, it's like 
what was the point of this boss in a story like this? Time for class it's like a cat died and comes in this flying machine to fight. Where's the logic in that? The organization will be proud of this outcome. Hey Noah, how's it going? It was sunny day like another. The breeze was nice and everybody was doing going about their day. A completely ordinary day of no particular note. Ah, trainer, there you are. How are you holding up? I'm okay. I'm glad to hear that, but I'm only saying it out of concern for you. But rather than pretending that everything's alright, you should really allow yourself time to grieve. Ruru's last moments were happy ones, thanks to the time she spent with you and Nero. Until her last breath! Kuku is the home screen background you get. Oh, is it the one where she has umbrella for the cat? Alive and ready to enjoy some lamb. Hell yeah! Biryani? Is it the one with the umbrella? Because that's such an amazing background. Nero is in the yard with the other cats. Uh, they say they were going to say farewell to Ruru. We should join them. Once I arrive in the front of the cat shelter, I can see Nero and the other cats gathered together. Hey Scoops! I'm okay. What about you? Getting close to someone is a scary thing. I didn't spend a lot of time with Ruru, but I wonder what would have happened if I found her sooner. What if Ruru had been abandoned by her owners? What if this place was better environment for the cats to live in? All these things keep running through my mind. Ruru would have been very happy. It's not much, but we want to bid our last farewell to Ruru. Would you like to join us? I'll be back in a bit. 31st, enjoy as well. A stressful day for commerce students. Goddamn! After Nero meows, all the cats sit down and cry in unison. Is that the background? <laughs> meow, 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 meow. Their mournful wail sounds as if they were speaking to Ruru. The the visual and the context of, of this is so confusing. I can see their sadness. The cats can't talk, but they have feelings just like us. Also, they know what happened to Ruru. Could also have happened to them. I'm glad Ruru's last moments were with us. At least she won't be lonely on her way to afterlife. Thank you too. Ruru has gone. That's the background, but it has dialogue. Okay, okay. I imagine as soon as this popped up, back of my head was like, all right, Snow was probably talking about this. <laughs> Into the heavens. I wish they put that as a background where she was holding umbrella on top of Ruru. That's a lot better, beautiful background. Nero looks up at the sky and smiles. Nanya paradise and damn, damn. This right here. What? This. This background would have been amazing. May she shine bright for all eternity. Yeah? I read that. This. If this was a background, this background would have been so beautiful. I'm chilling with the music right now. Man, the music! <laughs> what a banger song! That's the background for the event, not the reward. Sadly. Aww. I will actually download this song. What is it called? I will actually download this song. It's such a cool song. Man! When video games have better music than all the official music out there. Chasing a star. Ooh. Oh, 
that's a, that's a good event. I likey likey. Lovely lonely cat. I likey. I likey. Good event. Very good event. Very wholesome. Very nice. If it wasn't for those battles in between, I would have definitely cried. <laughs> The battles were good pace to like, you know, suddenly change the pace. Which, which reminds me, what is going on in the event that is happening? Oh, somewhere up on the surface. Hey now, what do we have here? By the way, yeah, Cuckoo, this song was made by Cosmograph. Of course, it's a banger. Ah, oh, I don't know Cosmographs. It's been a hot minute since I've seen uh, a book in such a pristine condition. With a satisfied expression, he brushes off the layer of dust accumulated on the cover, revealing an image of a golden dragon underneath. Hmm. It's tough to determine the value just by looking at it. I'm sure there'll be some interested parties though. I may have hit a play dart. In narrow advice, there's something that says, what weather do you prefer? More rain or sunny days? Rain. I like rain. I love rainy days. Something about something about raindrops hitting like the roof or ground and the sound that it makes. If you pick rain, she says she gets sad and she says she hates rainy days. God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> I love rainy days, especially the smell of the wet mud when rain like drops on the mud and mud gives you this nice smell. Um, there's like this, yeah, it's hard to tell. Where, when Ruru dies, it starts raining. Ah. Uh, God damn it, Harrison. I was feeling good for you, kitty, until he, there's a litter box not far from my computer room, which I need to change it now, because he just, that's where he goes. The collector leaves the area. Whoosh. For a brief moment, silence takes over the area. God damn! Is that a veil? Which is then bit batted in the blinding light. Soon after. Ram! Ram! Miss Amelia, are you okay? Miss Amelia, are you feeling okay? Ram? Ram? I... I'm fine. I'll be right back. I want to take my cat's leader away because he just did something in the litter and god damn it kitty. Be right back. The boss music on this even goes hard. It's made by Cosmograph, of course it goes hard. Who is Cosmograph? Clearly I need to download everything that they ever make. Amidst the swirling puff of dust, a crumbling city can be seen from afar. Man, I want to watch ReZero again. It's such a good show. Snow, have you ever seen... I don't know if you're into anime much. But have you ever seen... Um, Yojo Senke, Tanya the Evil? Because goddamn... That, that's an anime to watch. Sorry, I have no memory of this place. Tane the Evil very much, if, if you, if you were anime character, something tells me Tane the Evil. 
you be the character. Cosmo Grau is one of the main music composer and makes all the good animes I have. Man, it's such a good show. It's such a good show. There she goes, you know, she's like, oh god, I'll cut you in slices and feed you to pigs. Oh, what a transition. Me neither, and it's the first time I've seen building design in such a way. I'm always unsure to as where we are. Maybe somewhere outside Lungunica. Lungunica? The three of them exchange bewildered expressions as none of them can provide an exact answer to where this place is. Amelia places her hand on the crystal at her chest, oh, and speaks to the hidden great spirit. Do you know what happened, Puck? Oh, I remember Puck! Hmm, I'm not entirely sure either. And I don't know why I'm feeling so tired. I'm sorry, but I can't be of any help, Leah. That's okay, you can just rest inside. Miss Amelia, do you remember what you were doing last? Yeah, Rem. I were, uh, Rem and I were having lunch, and I listened to Subaru, and then... Sorry, I don't really remember what happened after. My memory of that event is vague as well. We were enjoying Subaru's story, and then... Uh, my first very anime was uh, Hiroi Suzumiya. Melancholia Feroi Suzumiya. What a great, great, great show. Alright then, mystery solved! You were having a lunch in the process of being bored, stiff by Bars Barusu's prattling, and you passed out! Ah! This is why Snow likes Ram more! I get it now! Because Ram over here just throws everybody under the bus! You then came out to and found yourself in a familiar place somehow along the way. I got caught in all this as well. We'll have to give Barusu a piece of our mind when we get back. Nice. You know what? All, all, I, it's been a while I watched uh, ReZero, but yeah, um, now everything, all the points are adding up. All the dots are getting joined. Why Snow is bigger fan of Ram. Makes sense, adds up, checks out. Come on now, Ram. You don't even know for certain if this has anything to do with Subaru. Miss Amelia right there, sister, besides, I thought Subaru's story was fantastical and engaging. You must be pulling my leg. Forget about his story for now. Figuring out exactly what's going on in here is our top priority. Miss Amelia, sister, we, I say we take a look around the surrounding area. Sounds like a plan. The sooner we find what this place is, the sooner we can get out of here back to the mansion. Yeah! Recipe, recipe for you, alright. Uh, what is happening here? Do you want me to get on it? Oh, wait, that didn't come out right. Do you want me to get on it? Oh, wait, that didn't come out right. What do you mean? That didn't come out right. Sounds right to me. <gasps> Day three, you can claim her. I'm busy resting now. So what business do you have with me? Huh? Why are you giving me that look? It's creepy. Huh? I'm busy resting now. So what business do you have with me? Nice. Okay, claim. Claim all. And just like that, we get I Ram. Am an employee of Lord Roswell. I Let's the go for the interim. Wait, 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 wait. That means some even wishes. Is that Rapunzel's voice line? Yes, it is! Of course it is! I've seen Rapunzel's uh, advice. She is... She... <laughs> Rapunzel is quite a character. Have you... Wait, have you ever... Do you have Rapunzel? Have you seen Rapunzel's advice? Because she is... Uh... Rapunzel is quite a character, is least to say. Least to say. Oh! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Yeah! Got it! Got it! Coco Rare 
W twice in a row. Let's go, baby. That's what I'm talking about. This is my first pull after getting yesterday's SSR. Doctor Killer Wife, whatever she was. Let's go, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Cuckoo winning. Winning. Twice in a row, baby. Akron, then Ram. Let's go, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Winning. Of course I enjoy Goddess of Victory. Hell yeah. Winning, baby. Winning. Where's my sister? Where's my history? I want to show you my history. Um, where's my history? Where's my history? Cool next event. You're gonna have to do White Ash. Alright. There's a history! Nice! Nice! That's what I'm talking about, baby! Where is she? There she is! Let me know if you need my help. Yeah! What does she do anyways? Increase HP and defense is a both class night, please. Alright. Is it my list ticket? Oh, I see. I went to the show like it was yesterday. I got Doctor Killer or whatever that is, Killer Bite, and now I have Rem. That's what I'm talking about, baby. I've realized every time I like have expectations that hey, next is five star, next is five star, I'm pulling a five star. I never get them. When I just do random pulls, no freaking expectations whatsoever. I get something. Hello. Right there. This is the electronic integration system of That the is life government. in a nutshell. Welcome when you want someone, you'll never workshop. get it. And when you don't care, that's when you get something. That is life in general. That's what happened yesterday, that what happened today. And that's what happened in general. When you don't want anything, you get it, no problem. Get on it! Oh, wait, that didn't come out right. And Rapunzel is very double meaning character. Not even double meaning at that point. If you have Rapunzel, do her advice. You'll you'll see what I mean. Who could do the co-op battle in the event? Huh? Are you planning? I really I may not be the best. I'm always by your side. Coordinated operation. I know what co-op is. I know what co-op is. I just did. Okay. There you are. Oh yes, Anderson. You can get gems and tickets. Nice. Why did you summon me? Let me get straight to the point. Do you remember D Wave? Go to main menu. It'll show. Okay. I remember. Good. Then I'll keep this short. We have detected further D-Wave activity caused by special individuals with coordinate gatekeeper. That's right. I would like to I'd like the counters to go up to the surface and investigate. You are the only one with any experience dealing with this phenomena. In the past two incidents encounter being summoned by the gatekeeper, there's a high possibility that of that occurring this time, so be prepared. Extraterrestrial beings may not always be peace loving. Uh that about covers it. I'll send some coordinates shortly. Good luck out there. So basically gems and gems and lore. Okay. We reach our destination. The wind kicks up the cloud of dust, obscur obs obscuring our visibility. Okay, we are here, but surely I'm not the only one who can't see squat. Hmm. Nope. I, ju uh, I just focus all my attention on my glasses, but I still can't see anything. All you did was make a frowny face. 
How about our comp? Still no signal? Negative. Considering that alpha particle concentration is 0%, I believe D wave is to be blamed. I'm sure it is. That's what happened to last two times after all. Everybody stay on your toes. We don't know what might happen out there. Yeah, whenever D wave is involved, weird happenings aren't far behind. I wonder what will come out this time. I'm actually kinda excited. Excited? Master said it himself. The gatekeeper can summon anything registered into the database, including interstellar ballistic missiles, and interstellar ballistic missiles, and interstellar ballistic missiles! When you've got that, who needs anything else? I see. You're awfully excited about the whole thing. Goku hasn't seen Isabel yet. Isabel. You bet! I want to see firepower that can pierce the sky. Firepower. Firepower! Call me crazy, but I must not see any of that sort. Wait a moment. Repai, assuming the lead position, Razor raises her fist in the air and stops everyone. There's something there. Rappi points towards indistinct silhouette, vaguely visible through the dust. Hmm, I think it's getting closer. Unknown individuals approaching. Commander, please step back. Rappi aims her uh, weapon towards the silhouette. Rappi is very much like Rem and there's no harm. I'm being, I'm being cautious. There you are. I'm telling you, I heard a voice speaking in this direction. Stay back, Miss Amelia. These people are not civilians. They they are armed. Rem. See, Rem and Amelia are very much similar. Okay, Rem. Three young girls emerge from the dust. Two of them have short hairs and adopt a defensive stance. I believe we found we found the being summoned by gatekeeper. They seem rather wary of us. What should we do, Commander? Let's try talking to them. Rappy is like Ram. No, Ram. R A M. Ram. Ram. I'll put more emphasis. Rappy kind of seems like she's like Ram. Actually, no. She seems like Ram. Okay. She has attitude of Ram, like R A M. Ram. But, but, thing is that Rappy has some sort of uh, bonding going on with the main character, and Ram didn't have that, but Ram had that. As Anis motion is step forward, Rappy stops her. Not now. We'll have to talk later. Tud. Good grief, what timing! Tud, tud, tud. Commander, a group of raptors are approaching from the left. Mission to gauge? Engage. Destroy them all. Don't leave the single person. She Lamau, to be fair, she called in it's time I bring this class to a close. Fair? Fair. I told you she's like Ram. Let me fight! Let me fight! Am I doing it right? Let me let me let me fight! I can't even see it! Bro, let me shoot at it! Dang, this bunch is more persistent than usual. Be careful, enemy reinforcements. NS, Neon, secure your positions. No, you cannot stand by and do nothing. Ram, Ram, we should help. If they were bad people, they would have protected us by fighting those things. I agree, Miss Amelia. I don't think these people are intent to harm us. Very well, however, we mustn't not let our guard down. I'll take the lead. I'll go with you, Ram. You take the rear. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Ram, make sure you protect Miss Amelia. You be careful as well, Ram. Alright, let's go. Nisama, Nisama. Ram, Ram. Thank you for helping. You're, you're not hurt, are you? Ram instinctively raises a weapon, then sighs and lowers it. No, we are the ones who should be grateful. Thanks to you, we can take a breath now. That was some amazing fire power you've got! Especially you with the blue hairs! Rem, was it? You were amazing! What was the crazy looking weapon you had? It looks super sharp! Every time you swung it, it blew raptures to smithers. Bam! Pow! Are you talking about this? This is just an iron ball for self-defense. Can an iron ball really have that fantastic firepower? You're really amazing! You have a keen eye. That's right, my sister is both cute and strong in equal measure. On top of that, she excels in cleaning, 
doing laundry, cooking, and sewing. While I'm saying is, what a wife. You flatter me, sister, but I have no hopes of ever complimenting with you, competing with you. Really? Your sister's five power is even more impressive. Have any of you seen the gatekeeper by any chance? Gatekeeper? Anis, you might need to explain a few things first. Think so? I'll explain. I'll go over the situation with the gatekeeper in details to Amelia and her group. So those ma beasts that we fought are called ra- Those things that ambushed us? What do you call them again? Raptures. So one of these raptures called gatekeeper is what brought us here. Bingo! You got it! So not only we are not in Lungunica, however you pronounce it, but we are in an entirely different world altogether. It's almost impossible to believe. It's not like somebody among you, for example Subaru, is already living an isekai world. That it is impossible for you to believe that isekai can happen. I get it, but considering our current situation, I'd say we don't have much choice but to accept it. Back to our initial question. Have any of you seen the gatekeeper? That was the first time ever seeing one of those raptures. I don't recall ever seeing the gatekeeper thing you're talking about. How about where you ended up being when you first arrived? Was there anything that could potentially be a clue leading to the gatekeeper? When we woke up, there was nothing around us. No noticeable traces left behind um, by anything either. Sorry, we know that's not much help. Don't worry. This isn't the first time we have gone through something like this. If anything, It'd be weird if it all went smoothly. I don't think we'll all be getting much more information here, Commander. I suggest returning to the Ark for now. Okay. Okay. You said... Go on. Do you want me to get on it? Oh, wait, that didn't come out right. You want me to get on it? Oh, wait, that didn't come out right. Do you want me to get on it? It's oh, cop, wait, not that oh. didn't come out right. All right. Event right now. Sad. Do you want me to get on it? Oh, wait, that didn't come out right. Do you want me to get on it? Oh, wait, that didn't come out right. Question is, should we now jump to Honkai Impact or Honkai Star Rail or should we keep doing this? What should we do? Cause I have time. Do we keep continue this quest? Or I'll do it offline. And should we do Palval, Honkai Star Rail or Genshin? What should happen? I would Honkai Star Rail. Alright. Cuckoo, collect the stuff on the floor. On the floor. Okay, Star Rail it is. What even stuff on the floor? What do you mean stuff on the floor? Either way. Uh, we'll do some Honkai Star Rail. I say Honkai Star Rail after collect the stuff on the floor. What stuff on the floor? Magnified glass stuff. Oh! I see what you mean. Do you want me to get on it? Wait, that didn't come out right. Do you want me to get on it? Wait, that didn't come out right. Yep, I Do you want me to get on it? Wait, that didn't come out right. Do you want me to get on it? Wait. That didn't come out right. Do 
Do you want me to get on it? Oh, wait, that didn't come out right. You get gems and some stuff. All right, all right, all right. Do you want me to get on it? Oh, wait, that didn't come out right. Oh! Do you want me to get on it? Oh, wait, that didn't come out right. Ah, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Oh, wait, that didn't come out right. Do you want me to get on it? Oh, wait, that didn't come out right. Do you want me to get on it? Oh, wait, that didn't come out right. Do you want me to get on it? Oh, wait, that didn't come out right. Do you want me to get on it? Oh, wait, that didn't come out right. Do you want me to get on it? Oh, wait, that didn't come out right. Some of them are hidden too. Do you want me to get on it? Oh, wait, that didn't come out right. It wasn't. Do you want some, me to get on it? Oh, wait, that Got didn't it. come out right. Do you want me to get on it? Oh, wait, that didn't come out right. Do you want me to get on it? Oh, wait, that didn't come out right. Do you want me to get on it? Oh, wait, that didn't come yeah. out right. Oh. Do you want me to get on it? Oh, wait, nah, 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 come that back. didn't come out right. Yeah. Do you want me to get on it? Oh, wait, that didn't come out right. Do you want me to get on it? Oh, wait, that didn't come out right. Do you want me to get on it? Oh, wait, that didn't come out right. Do you want me to get on it? Oh, wait, that didn't come out right. Do you want me to get on it? Oh, wait, that whoa, didn't whoa, come whoa. out right. Go back. Oh my god. Do you want me to get on it? Stop oh, wait, words. that didn't come out right. Do you want me to get on it? Oh, wait, that didn't come out right. Ah, go back. Do you want me to get on it? Oh, wait, that didn't come out right. Do you want me to get on it? Oh, wait, that didn't come out right. Do you want me to get on Got it? Him. Oh, wait. That didn't come out right. Do you want me to get on it? Oh, wait, that didn't come out right. Okay, got him. Damn, Reach for Star isn't available yet. Sad. Sad, sad indeed. Okay. Uh, I think we are done with this. Now we go to HSR. And then I gotta figure out offline how good is RAM tier, tier list wise. Meanwhile, let's play some music for you while I'm switching it to uh, which music should we play? Oh, we should play the same one. What was it? What was it called? Long, what was it? The Lost Something Cat? Nana Paradise BGM? There you go. Waiting up, 
check out some Cosmograph stuff. Yes, I do agree. I've never heard of them before, but they seem amazing. This sounds so nice. Chasing a star. Alright, 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 alright. We are back now with Star Rail. Oh wait, I need to still change my game game capture. Uh there. Come on. There it is! Yeah! Okay. Okay. Let's go. Wait, why has it not? Okay, there it is. Cosmograph. So I just are they on YouTube? I'm assuming the whole album is on YouTube. Let me know if they're not. Cause I should be able to then just Google. Um, oh wait. Heart in my meow meow. Nike. Scroll till you see the event. By the way, you didn't fully beat Nya Nya Paradise event, and there's more. There's one scene at Heart Twelve. Where really? All right, after a little bit of HSR, we... Sh wait, should I... Should I finish that event then? I didn't think that ha hard uh, had more cut events. Hold on for... Hold on. Hold on for a second here. Hold on for a second here. We need to see every cutscene that is there in existence. Hold on. Hold on a little. And probably find her on YouTube. You know what, let's do a little bit of Honkai Star Rail and then, sure. Let's do a bit of Honkai Star Rail and then I will end the stream with that last cutscene. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. By the way, as told yesterday, <sighs> yes, we do have Akron. Look at that. Look at that queen. Absolutely amazing. We do have the queen now. Um, I got her yesterday, 23rd pull. It was amazing. I did level them up already a little bit, a little bit, so she's at level 40, which is the max I can do in world level 1, he's at level 40, level 40, level 40, a little bit of offline uh, build was happening, we do have light cones at level 40, level 40, her light cone is only level 20 because that is not a 4 star light cone, which reminds me, Let's see if we can get anything. Where's her light cone? That's a light cone, right? Passing along? Yes. So question is, do I do I do I spend on light cone? Sent you the weed. Oh perfect. Where's this code? Ending. Okay, let's watch this. This way I can just play rest online. Like offline. So, let me do this full screen. And then I'll go back to... Let me mute my star rail for a second. And window captures right there. Uh, Nya Nya Paradise, there it is. Play. Agent. 
Whoa, why is the screen so massive? All right. Ah, oh yeah, I remember the screen is massive because I was showing the other day when uh, Yohanichi said I'm proud or something. Yeah, 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 I remember. And right there, okay. To keep myself occupied, I'm cleaning up the commander's room. Tud. What's this doing here? One of Rune's toy rolls out from under the table. Shake. Shake. I miss her. I should have taken more photos. This day, I suddenly miss Ruru. To Neren Scoop, I've just crossed the Rainbow Bridge safely and arrived at my final destination, a star. The name of the star is Nyanya Paradise. It's a type of heaven for cats. I nearly forgot to mention, there are lots of cats here, much younger than me. So I'm using all the skills that Nero taught me. Thank you for teaching me so many things. I should have brought a picture of you too. There are times when I miss you guys a lot. But it's okay, since you both were there with me in my final moment. I'll remember your faces, always. Thank you for being with me until the end. May you both live happy lives. A while from now, who knows how long we will meet again. But I hope to take your time coming here. Until next time. Ah, God, and sad at the same time. You know what? That makes me wonder. That has made me wonder before. It's like, okay, we get a pet, right? We get a pet, and then we kind of forget about it. Not that forget about it. We get more pets then. And it's in the past. Kirby! Hi, hi, Kuku. Hi, Kirby. Kuku screen big, bigger than his forehead. Hey! I did not say I'm proud of you. Alright. You asked me yes or no question. I responded, but I didn't say I was proud. It literally said, yes, I'm proud. There was no yes or It's cat. How? It's literally... Okay. <sighs> fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, what was I saying? Yes, what I was saying was, I've thought of it before, where like, you know, we get one pet, then we get other pet, right? We get one pet, and then we get the other pet. And it's like, okay, and then th we think about new pet. But the other pet... I showed in the last chat, what do you mean? The word proud was used. The word proud typed in proud was used. How much do you want to bet? The word proud P R U D P R O U D was used in the chat. That word existed in the chat. Wow. 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 Alright, you know what? You know what? Where is it? 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 We went through this conversation yesterday. That's fine. I'll just I'll just I'll just I'll just pull it again. And I'll pull the video of me telling you that it was there. It's fine. It's fine. No, I don't need meds. Wait a minute, I'll show you. I'd have to find where it was. It's fine. It's fine. Was it yesterday or day before yesterday? I don't even remember that. I think it was the when I was playing Power Vault. So it's day before yesterday or yeah, last week. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Fine, I'll find it. 
Oh, 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 wait a minute. Stop being delusional. Wait a minute. Okay. Okay. What is this? Ah, there you go. There it is. What is this? Okay. Okay. Wait. Wait. Unleash. Is it this one? Which one is it? You know what? I'll just do the display capture. Yeah. Dell. Here you go. You see that? Wait. What is that? What is that? What is that? I'm sorry. What is that? What is that? Yeah, what is that? What do you mean he's trying to photoshop the evidence? Give him some... It's right there! It is right... It is right there! It's in the... How can I photoshop a chat? It is part of the video. It's yesterday's video. When I was showing everything. It's yesterday's video. It is in the chat. If, oh, there's a timestamp too. There's a timestamp. Oh, oh, wait. It's, it's timestamped. It's a chat. It is a video. It is a video. Fine. Anyways, where are we? Oh yeah, we are here. Uh, so we will try to get her cone. And if we don't get her cone, that is fine. I will do one by one. So that every single time. Alright, that is fine. That is fine. That is fine. I don't know, should I? Should I actually waste... Okay. I don't know if I should actually get these. Come on, Coco. It's not 1988. You don't need to worry about what happened. Okay, Grandpa, <laughs> let's get you to bed. What do you mean? I wasn't even born in 1988. And also, what happened in 1988? What happened? Why do you specifically said The oil platform... Piper Alpha explodes and collapses in the North Sea, killing 165 workers on in 1988, January 26. What do you mean? Pan Am Flight 103 is downed over the town of Lockerbie, Scotland by terrorist bomb. 18 things that happened in 1988. The first World AIDS Day was held. Why did you specifically say 1988? Um, I think I will actually save th save it for the character. I'll play I'll play this game like I play Genshin, which is I'll just save it for other characters. Yeah, I'm not going to wish on the weapon banners. That makes sense. Yeah. Okay, so where were we? So yesterday we got it to level forty. Light cone 20 just because there's a 3 star light cone, but other light cones are 40. We have traces. I maxed out the traces 
I could have at this level for these characters. Uh, these ones I still have to, but I didn't have any. I, I was ran out of that, so you know things are happening. But the better thing is that, or what I'm going with this is that a trailblaze trailblaze mission is available now, so we can continue with the main story quest. We can continue with the story quest and finally finish this planet. This haven of memories. Every touch, every moment is like a thorned rose. You're going to mention Sprout about to parry cat and have under 110 minutes. Alright, alright. I'm not, I'm not even going to say anything anymore. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry. It's fine. All right, let's go! Well, my friends, are you ready to head out? Yeah! Wonderful! Remember to bring enough food and drink. Yeah, no worries. Talking about drink, I'm dehydrated. Oh? Mother. I have returned. Ronnie, yeah. I thought... I thought I'd lost you. What is going to happen? Where were you? Are, are you hurt? I'll fetch the butler right away. No, there's no need. I don't want to see Sebas right now. Sorry, Mother. I I'm fine, really. I just got into a few skirmishes down in the Underworld, but nothing I couldn't handle. The Underworld? Oh, I see. Oh, she knows. Play the music. She knows. In that case, report everything you she saw. She knows. Commander, Branya. Oh. After the failed pursuit at Backwater Pass, the wanted outsiders and I were somehow taken to the underworld. Because of the difficult situation we were in, we formed a temporary alliance to help the residents of the underworld resolve a few issues of survival. Oh? We also defeated an ancient robot known as Svarog and learned some truths about the Stellaron. That was very professional put together. Hey, I haven't gone this far into the story. I gotta leave. Where? This is Planet One! What do you mean? I'm listening. Go on. Madam Kakolia. It is my firm belief that the visitors from beyond the sky are not- the How are you as Madame bad Madame as I am? <laughs> I witnessed them take up arms in the name of justice and risk their lives for the sake of others. I can also ascertain that they did come for the Stellaron, but only to relieve the disaster it has brought upon Bellabog. Oh. Mother? You've always known the truth about the Stellaron, haven't you? Well, the responsibility of bearing that truth will fall upon me one day. Such is the burden of being guardian, to carry these secrets for eternity. So, I ask you to forgive my defiance, but I believe that the order to dispatch the outsiders was a mistake. To solve the problems brought on by the Stellaron, the architects waited hundreds of years. And those outsiders may be the... Enough! Oh? <sighs> Arrogant. Ignorant. Oh, you disappoint me, Branya. Huh? You merely glimpsed the tip of the iceberg. And now you think you know everything. You spend a short time with that underworld scum. And suddenly you have the audacity to question my orders. God damn, Kakolia's scary, not gonna lie. Guards! Take Branya. Oh shit. They are not scum. My you entire are. life. Everything you ever kept from me. I remember it clearly now. This time. This time I am standing my ground, Madam Guardian. And please, stop dismissing me with vague excuses. Oh? Tell me what you have seen. What exactly it is you are hiding? Why do you send the Silvermane guards to die in the Fragmentum? Why have you abandoned the people of the Underworld? And why? Why did you have that sudden change of mind? Huh. I see. I knew this moment would come sooner or later. I just... didn't expect it would be so soon. You just said sooner or later. You want to know why I gave those orders? Is that right? Do you believe you're ready to learn the truth? Yes. I am ready. Mother? Then come with me, Branya. 
All right. It's time you heard it. The voice of this dying world. Okay. Scary mother indeed. Ah, we're finally back. <sighs> I forgot what fresh air tasted like. Um, 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 um. Whoa. Where do we go now? Wait, I haven't finished yet. Where's our next stop? We should find somewhere to put our feet up. No! Wait, what? Did we forget again. what's happening? Classic, unreliable Sampo. He probably guessed we'd ask where his hiding place was. No sooner are we back in the administrative district than he sneaks off. Uh, we should hide in the plain sight to the hotel. My friend in need is a friend indeed. Let's find Landau. Home is where the heart is. Back to Express. <laughs> back to Express! Screw this place! Back to Express! No way! Recognize us. Plus, Silvermane guards are stationed nearby. Don Hung, what do you think? I think it'd be best to pay a visit to Serval Landau. So, you think we should avoid Jepard for the time being? Huh. He's an elite officer of the Silvermane guards. It wouldn't be easy to get to him. Besides, it hasn't been pursued by Bronya's letter. Besides, we'll be walking right into mm, Lloyd's dead. Makes sense. Mm. Okay. But, we must. What's. Nothing. It's just a little. New. Oh yeah! The last time I was on the surface, Celia's with us. The overworld. I forgot. The underworld. She wasn't I'm here okay. with us before. There are so many Silvermane guards on patrol. Is it usually like this? Cleanse in the darkness outside. No. I don't remember the security being this tight last time. I'm right there, guards. We might have something Do to you do see with me? us. I'm a fugitive. The Can Supreme you see me? Guardian has probably learned of our arrival already. Branya. Man, I just walked past the guards. Clearly, they don't see schmuck. Who is it? Shop's closed today. You'll have to come back tomorrow. Don't worry, it's me. It's the radiator fixer. Huh? Ah, I remember. The three outsiders. Wait, why are you still strolling around the city? Do you know the Silvermane guards are looking for Yeah, here for protection. Act natural and get inside. Don't get spotted. Heck, natural starts bowing down Hydra's right. face. You'll be safe here. My workshop has pretty good soundproofing, and barely anyone comes in. Nice. Just what crime did you commit exactly? They recalled a bunch of guards from the front line to track you down. It's unprecedented. Now they're patrolling the whole city, and everyone's in a panic. Show oh, her the letter. We just not yet, March. Ranya said we could trust you completely. You mean to say you don't trust me completely? Good. That's smart of you. But you needn't worry. Kokolia and I aren't even on speaking terms. It was her that ejected me from the Architects. I refuse to stand with her. Okay. I don't believe you guys would do anything bad. And the Architects are gonna need conclusive and publicly available evidence for me to think otherwise. Besides, I know the Architects, and if they did have any evidence, they would have released it by now. I'm listening. I know Kokolia's style. Get everyone into a frenzy first. Most people in a frenzy don't stop to ponder the details. So what details have you been pondering? Me? None. What Kokolia and the architects get up to has nothing to do with me. My time is too precious for pondering. These days I just spend my time fixing things in this workshop and playing music. It's a pretty carefree existence. If I'm not careful, I'll start boring you all with sob stories from the past. Let's get back to you guys. If long lost Branya told you to come here, you must have something important to tell me. You can trust me. Can you just me. show her the letter? I know we have our paths have only crossed once before, but my intuition tells me you guys are good people. And I've got good intuition, by the way. <laughs> um... We may be well tell the long and short of it from start to finish. We may as well cut to the chase and make long story short. Na na na, everything. Ooh, 
I'm the best storyteller. Uh, so, cutscene. So that's what's been happening. No wonder we hadn't heard from Branya recently. After all these years in isolation and without a single word from below, this is what become off the end I believe you. There's no way you could have invented all those twists and turns. What's more, we have Miss Zila here as living proof. Yeah! As for the Stellaron, I know why Branya got you to find me. When I was still one of the architects working in the scientific research oh, division, I never thought I'd hear that word again after being expelled by the architects. Oh, she's telling us everything? Okay. Only a very few people in Bellabog know of the existence of the Stellaron. Those that do would never associate it with the Fragmentum or Eternal Freeze. But according to the data recorded in that robot, Svarag, the architects dug out the truth long ago. The results. The research results, results were purposely hidden. hidden away to ensure that the outside world would never know of them. Huh. Just my luck. Out of all the research topics I could have chosen, I insisted on the of Stellaron. Course, of course. It's clear now that anyone who wanted to get closer to the truth would have been expelled. Of course, of course. Maybe I should be thanking Kakolia. All she did was push me out. She could have decided to take a more permanent measure. Do you know where is the Stellaron? Yes. I never observed it directly, but I used lab simulations nice. and outbound surveys to establish... Let's go! Both. According to the survey results, the Stellaron is likely to the north of Bellabog. Somewhere in the vast snow plains. We must locate it as soon as possible. Ideally, before Kokolia takes action. Not a problem. I was thinking the same thing. The area to the north of Bellabog has been more or less swallowed up by the Fragmentum. You want to get north places, so you must. If you want to get to the northern the snow plains, you need to get past the. Zone. Even if you get past the restricted zone in one piece, you'll have a. Uh, a whole heap of Fragmentum. Correct. And it's different from the underground towns you described. The Fragmentum there has quite literally There's torn everything to There's no sign of life despite pieces. the monsters. Sounds like the, the three of us and Zila Why don't we go enough? back and they're get Balfire I to come with us? I fear we may not have the time. Hey, enough pessimism. Back in my official capacity days, I spent a lot of time in the north. This calls for brainwaves, not brawn waves. How about I take you over myself? Yeah! yeah. Great! Phew. It's less scary if someone you know is leading the way. Why are you getting the high argems? High argems? What's that mean? Nanny? What do you mean high argems? Also, I got Ak Akron! 23rd wish! <laughs> I want to see the Stellaron too, you know. It was my research topic for over a decade. You don't get that many decades in life. I'm so into the story right now. That's settled then. There's no time to lose. We should head out as soon as you're ready. Right now. Right now. We go right now. Also, hey, hey, sir. How's it going? Somebody's outside the building, aren't they? D <sighs> Darn it. 23rd push. I forgot push. my brother said he'd be around today. Find somewhere to hide. Quick. I'll handle him. Japard. It's you. I didn't think you'd have the time to visit with things. Yeah, twenty so third wish. I got her. And and on Nikki, <laughs> I got I got uh, Rem. First wish, SSR. Things are manageable. The latest wave of monster attacks has slowed. I'm back in the city to take care of a few matters, but I'll be back on the front line later. I thought I told you. Ah. We have oh, the letter from Bronya. Yes. We should just tell her right That's now, right. or tell Sis, him. You look a bit pale. Did something happen? N no Why would anything have happened? You don't normally use my full name. Uh, you said you hate it when I call you bro in public. Well, I agree. It'd sound better if I started using your full name. Right, Brosif? You can call me whatever you like. Look, Serval, I'm here on official business today. There's something wrong with the barrier generator device, and the engineers in our unit don't know how to fix it. And it should take I a look. I need you to take all a right. look. All right, all right. Those Are your exams over, sir? The box. Of course they can't wrap their heads around my design. <sighs> I 
I thought it was something big. Leave it here. I'll take a look. Sorry to trouble you. Why are you being so polite? Oh, and why is the city under curfew all of a sudden? Has something happened? I... I've been instructed to keep it quiet. Lil' Jeppy. So grown up now, looking down on his civilian sister. Don't say that. Ah, forget it. Kinda, which ones are rough? If I don't tell you, Palo will. Last night, Lady Bronya suddenly appeared. She entered Klopoth Fort without saying anything to anyone. The Supreme Guardian is worried that the three intruders may have followed Bronya out of the Fragmentum and back into the administrative district. She issued a curfew for the entire city and ordered us to pursue and capture any suspicious individuals. Huh. Ah, so that's how it is. No wonder I haven't heard from Bronya. Is she all right? I'm not sure. She hasn't left Klopoth Fort. Look at Celia's hiding Guardian there. The Guardian just said she'd returned. Entrance is what? Ah! More. You'll, you'll nail it, man. You'll nail it. <laughs> oh? Well, I was sure worried about her. After she disappeared, Pela's workload doubled. She said she barely had time to go out. She really does tell you everything. Oh, by the way, I left my Goethe Hotel limited edition flask behind last time I was here. Let me have a look for it. I think I left it over... Wait! Mm, what is it? You seem pretty off today, Serval. It's, <laughs> um... Right! You remember how you neglected all those flowers to death? I piled them all over there during a bit of spring cleaning, and now they smell terrible. So, don't go over there. Seems like a strange reason not to take a look. Plus, am I supposed to believe you were spring cleaning? You must be up to more forbidden research. Uh, am not! How dare you! What do you take your sister for? Never mind. This is your space, and I shouldn't intrude. All right, all right. I've got business to take care of. I hope of. I managed to Bye learn some now. average call. I just want to leave home so, so bad, not gonna lie. Where do you want to go? If you, if you were taking, um, uh, if you were, if you were interested in arts, I would have recommended, what is it, Nung, Nung, ah, what is it called? There's this university in, uh, Himachal, and it's right by the snow, and they teach all the handicrafts. Oh, Nengalimnam? I forgot what it is. It's so beautiful. If, if I had, if I had no worries about paying my house and anything, I would have spent one year in the university and take like any program because, ah, oh, it's such a beautiful university. Just escaping home. Makes sense? Where? Somewhere in local or do you want to go all the way to like maybe North India or something? Uh, hey, wait a sec. Uh, those intruders, I wanted to ask. What crime have they committed? They're plotting to overthrow the architects and bring harm to the city. Huh. Reminds me of the accusations against me. Kokolia's methods haven't changed. Don't say that, Serval. I know that you're still nursing a grievance against the Supreme Guardian, but this isn't a joking Not matter. Not local, obviously. Yeah! You're telling me off again? Dally! Fine. Whatever, yeah, bro. You better be going. Oh, Come listen to Pela in my next rehearsal. Probably not in Mumbai City. Yeah, it's expensive as hell. North India probably do I will, good. if I have the time. You go Gurgaon, Delhi, Noida. The coast is clear. You can come out now. What if he just went, oh wait, and comes back? Then what? What kind of plot device was that? I almost lost my cool when he went for his flask. This is bad. Branya's in danger. We have to go save her. Attempting to storm Klopoth Fort by ourselves? Forget it, Zila. I don't care how skilled you are, I'm not sending you on a suicide mission. Or... Uh, if P possible in Mumbai city, then on top west of the government once. You just said, not the Mumbai. Rest assured, Kokolia may have changed over the years, but she never hurt Branya. I'm certain of that. All right, that's good. You sound like Branya herself. I don't get it. You guys are against Kokolia, and yet in some ways, you seem to trust her completely. Love-hate relationship. Have you thought of a way to persuade Jepard? 
I was gauging his reactions just now. Did you see? Unless we have irrefutable evidence, he won't question Kokolia's orders. If you go after him now, our plan's as good as over. Come on, let's go to the restricted zone. If we can get ahead of the curve and find the Stellaron, Kokolia will be out of options. If it's like, uh, nah, if it's like it's Mumbai, then it has to be the topest one. Ah, it's like, I don't want to leave my job, but because the, you know, people are amazing, work with. Is Bronya really safe? if somebody wants me to you leave my job, her, they huh? better give me at least, you must have become at close least friends. one and a half time more, or if not double. Close 150%, 200% increase. But Otherwise, I'm I made not her a promise. Relax. She's the strongest girl I've ever... Oh, they've jacked up security, all right. How the heck are we gonna sneak in? Serval, we need one of those brainwaves. Leave it to me. Stick close, guys, and don't get spotted. How? This is a military base. Trespassers aren't allowed in. How we won't be spotted? We literally look like that. Wait, isn't that... <laughs> Serval! Long time no see. How do they not realize it's us? Well, if it isn't Franz. Long time no see. So like, don't get spotted. And yet entrance? here we are. Well, you see, I... yeah, you haven't changed, Serval. Still nailing us to the wall. Ooh, yeah, I like that. So, what brings you over here at this hour? And who are the guys behind you? My brother said the restricted zone energy lines were malfunctioning. Told me it was urgent. He doesn't trust those contracted maintenance workers, so he got me in for free. These guys are my assistants. We need to overhaul all the installations here. Uh, I didn't hear anything about the energy lines malfunctioning. Oh, please. This is a technology division issue. Why would they tell you guys? Come on, let us in already. If the heating system goes down in the middle of the night, are you going to be responsible for all the frozen corpses? N no, that's a... Uh... Not something I could handle. Seeing as you're Captain Jappard's sister, it should be fine. Yeah! Okay, here are some temporary passes. Oh, and remember to give them back to me when you leave. Thanks, Franz. I'll put in a good word for you with my brother and get him to promote you. No, no. Captain Jappard hates all that under the table stuff. I'd have a better chance if you don't mention me at all. Fair. Fair. Damn. Look at Jappard. I'm aware that there are those among you who see the reserve units as a vacation. But let me set one thing straight. You are gravely mistaken. Damn. This is the restricted zone. The fragmentum before you conceals monsters that watch your every move. Damn. Behind us, we have a band of conspirators that have infiltrated the city. Man, his voice. The situation is critical. The lazy and undisciplined among you will lose your lives to the forces surrounding us. As such, starting from today, we will be adding 200 bench presses Holy and 30 shit. Extra minutes of one arm planks. To ah! our Is that clear? That's not even the full workout. They're adding that. Starting from today, we will be adding. Oh my god. Yes, sir. I want to speak like how he speaks. Look at this dude. I'm aware that the ah. Situation has yes, sir. Bro, look at look at the dude. Damn, that's a cool helmet. What a cool ass helmet. Three hundred easy bench presses. You're a Jepard sister. Thirty minutes right? plank additional. <laughs> Holy smokes! Do you see that mechanical gear bridge? When you cross over to the other side, you arrive at hell on earth. Let's go. So what exactly is on the other side? And why exactly is the hell? Hmm. It's a place too cold to bear. Covered in snow and ice. The guys doing the Do science play of the don't have time still? to worry about the surroundings. The restricted zone front line is on the other side of the gear bridge. It's an endless fragmentum with a few exhausted silver main guards. And the stench of death in the air. If we want to progress further north, we will need to cross that hell. Are you ready? Yeah! Let's go! Exactly! <laughs> Let's go then. First, we need to think of a way to get to the other side. This is fuck! I help set the underlying mechanisms for this type of gear bridge. It's controlled via different terminals in combination. Let's go find them! Sure. Alright, sir. Is Jepard on frontline duty a lot? 
Yes, but what made you ask that all of a sudden? <clears throat> Mechanical Fever released a new song. Did you hear it? Oh, sure. Did. Even Mechanical. Don't be so pessimistic. I thought we were talking about something cool. <sighs> nope. This terminal's off. So what's the look for another? I never would have guessed that Japard and you were brother and sister. I can't say I blame you. We're nothing alike in personality or interests. In our family, we have a strong military tradition going back generations. Many a Landau has died in their prime. There's not a lot of brother and sister time. Everyone just... Darn! Can't activate it. It seems like someone severed the energy supply to the terminals. Did we do this? So someone did a bit of trying to create a trouble. I was just thinking that. With the front line on high alert, they must have rotated the bridge to make it impassable. Then they cut off the energy supply to the terminals to avoid accidental repositioning. Or to prevent deserters from escaping. Damn. That way, even if the front line were to collapse, the Fragmentum monsters wouldn't be able to make it to the other side. They cut up their only retreat. Branya was right. The Silvermane Guards really are risking their lives to protect Bellabok. Just my conjecture, but I doubt it's far from the truth. My brother mentioned that they've had to use extreme measures to repel the Fragmentum monsters. Let's press on. We can't activate either of these terminals, so let's look for the energy supply installation itself. All right. shaped like a giant iron ball and it's behind a gate what are the odds its formal name is the mechanism energy hub it's connected to all the energy lines i would have thought it covers the entire restricted zone mm. no wonder it's so heavily guarded so we can't get One in. Unit, as long as we can gain access permissions to the hub we can operate the gear bridge terminals won't this cause a commotion that's why i told them we were here for urgent maintenance the frontline equipment needs servicing just as much as the rest. So that's why you went for maintenance. Way to go, Sir Vaughn! Come on, let's see if that guard over there will let us pass. Yo, evening soldier. Yeah! Are you the emergency engineers? I saw you guys hanging around. Did you find the problem? Not yet. Everything looks normal so far. I think the problem is stemming from the energy hub. If you let us in, we can do a routine service inspection. I've worked on various iterations of this type of installation. <laughs> no, 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 no. No can do. No one gets near the energy hub without the security captain's encryption key. Uh, not even the Supreme Guardian? The Supreme Guardian? Hey, no games, you hear? No dice without the encryption key. Ah, darn, this guy's not stupid. You need the encryption key, right? Which captain should I bother then? Uh, uh, captain Dunn's resting up ahead. Go and find him. If he grants you permission, I won't stand in your way. All right. Dunn? <laughs> Why didn't you say so? No problem. We'll be back in a bit. Why? Is Dunn like a bro or something? Where's Dunn? Done, my man, my dude, my bro. Yeah, long time no see. Done. Done. Why was she so happy to hear done? Oh, that guy. Hey, done. It's been a while. I didn't know you made security captain. Surval, it's been a long time. You're still so. <coughs> You look good. <laughs> I see why she said not a problem. Allow me to introduce my assistants to you. They help me take care of business at the workshop. Everyone, this is Captain Dunn, an old friend of mine. He used to be an ace on the keys in the band. Oh, you play rock and roll too? Cool. Pleased to meet you. Great seeing you. Oh, <clears throat> hello. Oh, what's that weird smell? <clears throat> uh, Zachary! How many days has it been since you showered? Uh, 
I showered right before my shift. Hmm? What did you say? I... I haven't showered in two days, sir. Oh, so it's him. Unacceptable, especially in front of visitors. Apologies for the embarrassment all. <laughs> it's not a big deal, Dunn. You know, if you get a chance, would you want to get on stage with us again? My keyboard guy is pretty good, but I still miss our military days playing in the band. <laughs> that was a long time ago, Serval. I haven't touched a keyboard in ages. Besides, I'm stationed here all year round. I'm afraid I don't get many chances to return to the city. Damn. Though I don't stand on ceremony. Uh, how may I assist you? If everything's in order, you'd better head back to the city. It's not safe here. 300? I want to do 300 bench presses. See what happens. I've checked the lines. There don't seem to be any major problems. All that's left is the energy hub. The guard over there said that I needed an encryption key to open the gate. Can you help me out? Uh... We'll be on our way after we run checkup. Don't be hesitant in front of your dream girl. Yeah. Could you be any less discreet? Anything wrong, Dunn? Uh, sorry, Serval, but can you tell me what Captain Japard told you? Huh? Oh, uh, let me think. Hey, sis, the energy supply lines in the restricted zone have malfunctioned. Those useless engineers can't find the problem. Something like that? And may I ask, when did he contact you? Uh, this morning? Yeah, that's right. He's on urban patrol duty today, right? That's why he popped around and asked the favor. Uh huh. Captain Jepard just returned to the front line. I could reconfirm with him? Huh? Uh, hold up, he's back? That can't be. He was still in the city a little while ago. You haven't changed, Serval. You're still a lousy liar. These people you've brought, they're... They're not workshop assistants, right? God damn, he's good! Dun dun dun! Serval, uh... it's not that I don't want to help you. But you should remember that I'm a Bellabog Silvermane guard. How about this? You can leave, and I won't tell anyone about this incident. But the outsiders must remain. Time to fight! There goes the negotiation. Sorry for getting you involved in this. Looks like this is not gonna end up after all. I brought you guys here and I'm standing with you till the end. Done. this concerns the fate of Bellabog. No, the fate of our whole world. Please, don't stand in our way. Serval! We used to rehearse together every day, you must understand. My rock and roll soul is to uphold the dignity of a soldier. Damn! That's it? Need I teach someone a lesson? Oh, I can't even, okay. Just... All right, we can win this. Turn it up. I boosted my characters just for this day. Let's go, baby! Still waters of oblivion. Naughty child. Nap time. Stay close! Oh, shit. Essayus Perkippi. Knowledge, the measure of truth and falsehood. Here stands the Silvermane God! Answer me. Zero points. Pretty good crowd today. Let's rock. I love his. I love. I love his jaw going crazy. For oblivion. Zero points. Look at that I'm damage that he does, man. I love Doctor Ratio. <laughs> Doctor Ratio is so freaking good. Oh. Why? I'm sorry, Dunn. Time for a little nap. He's just unconscious. Don't worry. <laughs> Stubborn fool. Strong, though. Wildfire lacks people like him. Got it! The encryption key! Quick, before we attract attention, let- Uh-oh. I think we attracted attention! That's the enemy attack alarm. Every Silvermane guard in the reserve zone just became our enemy. If we work together, we can break through the ranks. My life was short, but this was a life filled with. 
We've made it up till now. I could lose an arm and a leg for all I care. Oh, uh, no! I have to lay eyes on the Stellaron. Quick, back to the energy supply hub. Anyone that tries to stop us is gonna find out a thing or two. Let's go, I baby! I the encryption key from the start. I could have snuck in and taken it off him myself. Shoulda, coulda, woulda, Sila. Activating the gear bridge alone would have been enough to expose us. This is why I love Akron. Man, I don't even have to fight. Just bada bim bada boom. Give me some time. Who designed this operating system? It's so unintuitive. Emergency fire evacuation system. Not that. Rock and roll dance floor atmosphere mode? Who the heck added that? And they used one of my songs! Your bridge control terminal. <laughs> That's it. I've reset the energy system. Um, Sir Vol, won't more silver main guards be waiting for us on the other side of the gear bridge? Don't worry. Yep. Then what's our plan? Well, either we reason with them or charge straight through the blockade. Let's play it by careful there's a big guy up ahead he is there's a big no guy way. we'll have to fight <laughs> if we can beat Svarog we can beat this one let's go uh... That's it. don't get extraction shit did I teach someone a lesson Songs for you. <laughs> Naughty child. <laughs> don't explode. 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 Pretty good crowd today. Let's do this. Still waters of oblivion. Time for a shot. Nap time. Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it or rock with it. <laughs> just he in time. He's strong, just man. He's stronger than what I thought. Don't worry. It's just a script. Knowledge, the measure of truth and falsehood. Another journey begins. Okay, good. Dead. That'll take. Answer me. Zero points. Bada bim. Doctor Ratio is amazing. I am so glad I have him on the team. Energy restored. Forty percent. <sighs> we did it. Perfect. Okay. We need to get to the front line. We could have a problem. Your brother may be there. He probably is. Hopefully we don't bump into him, but if we do, we'll just have to try and talk to him. Are you sure you can convince him? I've probably got a 30% chance. Or less. <sighs> Meaning it could end in a fight. Damn. Haven't they you noticed him before? yet? Most of our convincing ends in a fight. We need to be sure, Saval. If we can't reach a common understanding with your brother, will you stand with us? Of course. My word is my bond. 
I said that I'd stand with you to the end, and I won't go back on that promise. Let's go! Before our next expedition, I need Himeko to teach me some negotiation skills. That'd be Beating nice. Beating people up all the time is cramping my elegance. That'd be nice, sir, but not gonna lie. <laughs> I haven't fought with Jappard since he enlisted. He could never beat me when we were little, but now... Now we are screwed. Is that what you're saying? All right, fair. Okay. Let's do this. There he is. Serval. It really is you. Wait, Japard. Listen to me. When the sentry reported to me. I thought there must have been a misunderstanding. The enemy alarm had to be unrelated to your entry into the restricted zone. Perhaps the intruders had taken you hostage. And yet... And yet there we are! Step away from the intruders, Serval. Walk over slowly and stand behind me. You're different from them. I'm sorry. We have an understanding. I stand with them. <sighs> Give me a few minutes, just a few. I'll explain every- Enough, Serval. <gasps> Have you forgotten where we are? We Landau's ought to know this place better than anywhere. Perhaps the intruder has taken the you outer hostage. outer reaches and be taken of the front line to against the Fragmentum. <laughs> the yeah. Lamar's most strategic protective fortress. That'd be nice. Why would he- This is what I don't understand. Every show, every movie, every place I've ever watched, it's like, just give me a few minutes and I'll tell you everything. No! We must fight right now! Bro, just take two minutes. Just listen what we have to say. No! We fight right now! I don't listen! Just li just, 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 just listen! Every silver main guard here, every person here, is ready to sacrifice themselves. Ready to spill their blood for Bellabog at a moment's notice. Yet here you are. Leading fugitives into the restricted zone. Attacking my Silvermane comrades in arms. Hijacking the energy hub. Are you really worthy of the Landau name? Why do you think I've come here? We found a way to dispel the eternal freeze. To seal the fragmentum. It might be the only lifeline this world has left. If that were true, why wouldn't you report to Madame Kokolia? Why would you sneak into the restricted zone and create chaos? Bronya's ladder! We have ladder of Bronya! You don't understand. The one preventing us from getting close to the truth is Kokolia herself. Give her the ladder! Give her the stupid ladder! We have the ladder from Bronya! Why are we not using it? Why are we not using it? We have a ladder. Use it! Bronya, here's the letter. Give it to Japard. Us, Japard, listen to us. Why won't you trust us? We are just aliens from extraterrestrial species. Just give him the letters. Dummy, dum dum. No, back had dinners. Nice. What do you have for dinner? You know what I'm having for dinner? Bunch of bullshit. You have all seen the Supreme Guardian in person. Do you think you can That's act as you more please spoilers. because she didn't recognize your version of events? Listen to me, Chapard. The origin and spread of the Fragmentum is linked to the Stellaron. The meteorite in the Architect's records, it's- I know about the Stellaron. It's exactly what the fugitives behind you are seeking. But the Madame Guardian has already revealed the truth to me. These people have ulterior motives, Serval. They want to steal this treasure from the Architect's- Treasure? The Madam Guardian has warned me before that you were indulging in fantasy. That you'd been exposed to forbidden knowledge. Had that you roast. would bring destruction down upon Bellabog. Damn, if you had Rose, I somebody, believe you, them. Serval. I believe you think you're acting with loyalty to the people. That's just... Guards, formation, arrest these people. We could be inundated with Fragmentum monsters at any moment. We have no time to waste on them. The forbidden is only forbidden to conceal the truth within. Kokoli is afraid that we'll seize on this knowledge. That the truth will spread far and wide. To save the world, we must risk it all. I've said my piece. Whether you believe it or not is up to you. Regardless, you should know by now your sister's Imagine being never been my own brother. Eh. If there's something or someone you can't abide, you should stand up and resist. And if there's something you uphold, 
You should uphold it to the very end. Let's go! Well said, Serval. Think twice, Jeopard. Save your explanation for the judge. You are charged with sabotaging the Silver Main Guard restricted zone. In and my Bronn is like, go to the We have a letter! These fugitives be arrested. We have a letter from Bronnia. I just. Isn't like why are we not using the letter from Bronnia? You won't get any leniency from me. We have a letter from Bronnia. Why? Can okay? Can somebody just tell me once? Can somebody just tell me once? Why are we not showing him the letter we got from Bronnia? In the letter, Bronnia says, "I think they forgot about the letter at this point." We have the fucking letter. Am I the only one who's not seeing the plot through? Dead Honka Star was like, "Oh yeah, letter. People will forget about it. Don't worry about it." We have a letter. The barrier hasn't been fixed yet. Don't try and be a hero, Jepard. Uh, didn't I tell you? All our negotiations end in combat. All right. All right, Jepard. Our position is solid. Don't use extraction, man. Just let me defeat Need you. Need I teach someone a lesson? Just Never stop you. thinking. Pretty good crowd today. Yeah! Yeah! Oblivion, I guide the wandering souls. <laughs> Time for a shot. Savor the vigor of. Don't attack me. I'm okay. Swedish. Don't attack me. I'm Irish. Don't attack me. On my command. I am Indonesian. Wait a minute. Don't get extractions. Do you have? Answers. Let's test your knowledge. Zero points. Next. I love this. Look at the damage. <laughs> Man, bro, throws chalk like the fucking knowledge meteorite. is the measure of all things. Why does not call the return into normal speaking story battle? Falsehood. No idea. <laughs> Time for the main event. <laughs> See the offline grind is paying off. Fail. This yeah. attack. I just love this attack. Ready to lose yourself? Man, Doctor Rachel is amazing. My music conquers all. I'm so glad he's a free character. He's saving my ass since 1905. Look at his thing, Doctor Rachel, amazing. This guy knows how to put up a fight. You're dando shit silly. You'll never come up against anyone this relentless. Uh, oh really? I didn't see you. I didn't see you. I didn't see you. I didn't see you in the fight. Let me remind myself, there was a Akron, there was Dr. Ratio, there was Serval, indeed, indeed. There was... Natasha. Where were you? Imagine getting your ass beat by your own sister when you're a soldier. Cuckoo went... The don't buff, I'm a freaking nah. Yohanichi got that card. I can't pull that card in front of Yohanichi. <sighs> he just won't go down. No, wait, Noah. Noah got that card. No, Yohanichi. Noah. Wait, Yohanichi, do you have that card too? Noah. Noah is half a freaking. I know about Yohanichi. He's as stubborn as I am. It could be an argument or a fight. He'll do both to the death. That's why he bugs the I'll heck out of me. Pass. God damn. That's enough, Jepard. Take a look around you. You're the last man standing. I'm half Zimbabwean from my dad's side. Nice! Even if I am, I won't yield. Just, just kill him, man. Brainwaves? Anyone? We don't want you to yield through force of arms. That wouldn't be a victory for us. Yeah, our goal is the same as yours. Falls and Branyas. We just want to preserve this world. There's no reason to turn against each other. I'm half idiot. Oh, nice. Jepard, brother, surely now you can see the need for pragmatism. Even if you don't believe my outsider friends, you should believe me. Maybe I've wasted your trust. In which case, believe Branya. Lady Branya. Thank you! Mother! Oh! 
and we shot the old lady Branya. Where is the card? Where is the letter? Give the letter from day one. Let us fight. Trust the outsider first because they came from extraterrestrial. You don't want to fight them? Okay, trust me. I will fight you then. And then after the fight, when everything is over, there's nothing left. Wait a minute. We have Lady Bronya. Lady Bronya? Yeah, she's the one who gave us the letter. What letter did you give her? Oh, sorry, I didn't tell you about this letter. Here's the letter that Bronya gave me. Why didn't you give me the letter to begin with? I wouldn't have fought with you. I don't know, because you're fucking idiots. Ah! Now we show him Bronya's letters. <sighs> I... <sighs> Call! Call me Hoyo right now. Somebody put me Hoyo on phone. There's nothing more to say, Jepard. The decision is yours. As a captain of the Silver Mane Guards, I am duty bound to carry out the orders of the Supreme Guardian. <laughs> Imagine we passed it off as an attempt to forgery instead. Fine, still got a fight in me. <laughs> Jeffrey is allergic to paper. But Lady Bronya is the commanding <sighs> officer for the front lines. According to military protocol, if the frontline directives of the commanding officer clash with those of the architects behind the lines, a soldier must remain at their post and await further directives. Ah, uh, so all this time, all this time we have wasted. <sighs> Is this a brainwave? This feels like a brainwave. <laughs> For the Silvermane Guards, the Guardian's orders are paramount and absolute. But there is something of equal importance in the oath we take. The people of Belabog. If we lose the people, we lose the reason for our existence. Our fight with the Fragmentum Monsters is for the sake of preservation. But our fight with you? I fail to see the purpose. If you are truly able to prevent our endlessly unfolding misfortunes, then the people of Bellabog are indebted to you. They didn't even show him the letter and believed us. <laughs> you are using lies to mask your true intentions? Using my sister and Branya for your own ends? I swear by Klepoth that I will carry out your punishment without an ounce of mercy. You're right, not man. lying. I promise you. You must be Zila. You are a skilled fighter. Your combat style is nothing like that of the gods. And yet, not once have seen her fight. Not once. Not once. But Coco, there was this one time that she fought- No! No, there wasn't. No! Regardless of what you believe, these guys have been a great help to the Underworld. Many people would vouch for them. Hmm. I'm sure. Are you? If you want to advance further northward, you must traverse an area entirely corroded by the Fragmentum. It's the only way to get to the snow plains on the other side. All right. The guards can give you some time before the next wave of attacks is upon us. Fucking ladder, man. You have something to say, Servo? You see? Brothers and sisters need to have a scrap once in a while to get back on good terms. No! Sorry for getting involved. This is how Brother History Coexist. Let's try and hunt begin. Let's- Actually, I have another selfish motive. I want to prove to Kokolia that I was right. Sorry, I uh, hardly the Silly time for me to be a backseat fighter. See, <laughs> Silly is fighting. She's just in the back fighting her my mental demons. While we are fighting everyone, Silly is fighting her mental demons. I'll take that. The amount of times I have to avoid a fight thanks to these. Man, Akron is amazing. So fucking glad I got Akron. I gotta admit, I had a lot of misunderstandings about the Silvermane Guards. The difference But is even more than Akron, I am 
glad that I got Dr. Ratio, because that guy... Do you understand Bronya's struggles? Of course I do. I've understood them for a while now. But as far as I can tell, she doesn't need other people. Aww. It's the same with Jepard. I could tell it took a lot for him to lay down his arms. Why? That's why we have to try to put ourselves in their shoes. Put ourselves in their shoes? I gonna have struggles Easier this said than put right, ourselves right, in their right, shoes. Right, right, I think I can I hope Serval's right. That supreme lunatic better not have harmed Bronya. Alright, Silly, thanks for fight. Let's go, baby! This is our time. This is my fight song. This is my take back my life song. Let's go, Geopard. Jeopard. Leopard. As soon as the restricted zone gate is open, the monsters on the other side will turn out in full force. The guards will do their best to stall them and buy you some time. All Once right. you've broken through the front line, there's nothing more we can do for you. All right. That's fine. You'll have to find out for yourselves what lies within the Northern Fragmentum. All right. So, have you made up your minds? At this point, you're just like... Uh, she wants for me to stay safe. Not for... Uh, imagine if you're like, actually, you know what? No, we'll go back. Bye. Good fight. Understood. Keep your weapons close. This will be a fierce fight. Guards! Open the gate! Cutscene? Cutscene! They're like, wait a minute! Are you dealing with attacks like this every day? It's a common occurrence. Guards, formation! <laughs> well, I'm gonna make sure I don't owe the guards any favors when this is done. For Branya! Yeah, for Blaybog? Nah, for Universal Peace? Nah, fuck that. For Branya! For Branya! Let's go! Here they come! Steal yourselves! And yet, all of them will disappear in 3, 2, 1. Oh, it is just me! Okay. I'm asking the questions. Okay, it is just me. We are the rest of them. I was sure that we had a lot of people to fight Never with. Never stop no? thinking. Okay. Zero points. Next. This this attack, man. Look at him. Just send them and highlight them. You. I love the chalk, the chalk move. What are other characters that can do similar things? Not just follow attacks, but that strong follow attack. <laughs> just in time. Just, just in time, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Think nothing. Not bad. Five points. Five points to grip the doors. <laughs> Time for a shot. Savor the vigor of Do you have answers? Let's test your knowledge. Follow up attack. <laughs> Hit the chalk, dude. There's the chalk. Come on. Did you come here of your own volition? Or was it fate? I'm okay. Good, good, good. This guy. He's the target. Imaginary beaver. So what you're telling me is Never stop thinking. He's just imaginary. Pretty good crowd today. Keep up. My tempo! Half the work Ready is to already lose yourself? Done. Fight it or rock with it. My music conquers all! Naughty children, you're in bad shape. Alright, it's gone. Sink. How many of them are there? The more the merrier. These guys are nothing. <laughs> Hold the line. Celia, you're not even here. The more the merrier. You're not even here. Reveals truth. I'm the one fighting. Oh, shit. No, 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 Fail. Get out. 
existence is fleeting as the dawn's dew, destined for oblivion. <laughs> Ready to that is yourself? more than medicine. Fight it or rock with it. You yeah, have answer. I don't need help with the question for you. Let me pick this speak once. Nap time. Battle over, just like that. I told you, Jepard, the barrier hasn't been fixed yet. Don't try and be a hero. I can be a hero, baby. Do you have answers? I really need help with the question number 14. Well, let me just pick once. The question, answer to question number 14 is 69420. Only the first wave. They'll have reassembled soon. I have to. Bro, weak. Why hey, so weak? Mr. Silvermane. Listen to your sister. When did you get Akron? Yesterday, you, you 23rd pull, baby. 23rd pull. No pity. I was just like, wish, skip, wish, skip animation, wish, skip animation, wish, skip animation. And suddenly, I'm like, wish, skip animation. And I see six star pops up out of nowhere. And it's like, wait a minute. Who are you? Outsiders. Zila, the second wave hasn't started yet. Make the most of this opportunity and make a break for it. Huh? Let's go. Uh, Sir Ball, aren't you going to look for the Stellaron with us? My brother can't hold them back by himself. He wasted a lot of energy on us. He's my responsibility now. Besides... Only if you would have showed him the Bronya's letter, he wouldn't have wasted that much energy on us. If I'm not here to help, I don't know what might happen in the next wave. I want to go with you. I do. I always wanted to catch a glimpse of the Stellaron with my own eyes, and... Oh, it's so close. Go, just close the doors. But I can't abandon my brother and the other guards. I'm a Landau. It's up to you now. I believe in you. You've given me new hope. Bro, just, just close the gate. Get hold of the Stellaron before just close the door. Has anybody happening. thought of it? Insta kill for Akron skill is OP so much. Charge! Hey, March. Don't forget to take a picture of the Stellaron for me. Say no more! We're good at this, don't worry! That's the only thing she does. Let's go. Now kiss? Kiss, kiss, fall in love. Aww. Hey, Mark. Hey, Fragmentum oh. activity is intensifying. Something's happening on Eurelo 6. Let's go. Let's Shouldn't go. We go down there. Let's Michael? go. Himiko. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be playing Pokemon Violet. All right. Let's go, Himiko. <laughs> Have faith in Aww. them. Besides, this is her first trailblazing expedition. How will she be able to look back fondly without a few twists and turns? Damn. <laughs> Over here, we tried it. We became. We became. We became. We became. Um, most wanted criminals, overthrowing anarchy. We almost dying, and Himiko is like, Pfft. how would they look back fondly without a few twists and turns? Let them play a little. Uh, Himiko, they are the most wanted criminal in that entire planet. Let them play around. Is this kids play? Himiko, they're kind of about to die. Pfft. Few twists and turn in a way. Himiko, um, the fate of million people lies in their hand. Ah. Just an adventure. Expedition. Let's go. Are you bored, Welt? I understand. But we have lots of opportunities ahead of us. Let's leave the memories of this- Look at her! <laughs> Over here, we have fate of millions of people in our head. And she's just like, let's just leave the memories of expeditions for them. Hmm. So you think they'll be safe, right? Man, talk about- Is this gaslighting or is it- What is it? Yes. We haven't seen any Eon or Emily level I feel like I'm cheating, I'm literally using legendary Pokemon for my Pokemon Relax. Sword account. This is a young person's adventure. We What's your legendary interfere. Pokemon? At most, we could offer a little... off-site assistance. How? Is this... the Fragmentum Jepard was talking about? Compared to this, the corrosion we saw in Backwater Pass pales into insignificance. How can you pinpoint the Stellaron? Serval said that the Stellaron was very likely hidden in the snow plains north of Bellabar. If we get there, I'm afraid we'll have to find. If we want to get there. Exit to this. I'm afraid we'll have to find the first. exit to this fragmentum maze first. Guys, does this place feel weird to you? It feels like 
Like there are loads of eyes They're about to smash. Us. Depends if you are using the sword legendary for DLC content, then you're already beat the game. This place makes my flesh crawl. Like there are insects under my skin. We have no guide and no way of detecting the Stellaron. Look, don't be disheartened. The stronger the fragmentum can tap. All right. We found it in the orphanage. Could she be here too? Yeah. Whoa. That's Branya. Huh? Is that Kakolia too? No. It isn't them. It's the fragment. It must be. Echo. Yeah, yeah. A kind of echo. Some type of residual energy replicated by the fragmentum. Which means they were definitely here, right? And it looks like. <laughs> Just in time. We had no idea which direction to take. We're deep inside the fragmentum. Let's look for other clues for... Still haven't told me what this place is, Mother. Seven hundred years ago, this was Bellabog's northern border, and the site of an ancient battle. Man, I'm getting into Here this so much. Here is where Elisa Rand led the first Silver Main guards in resistance against the Legion. Now, it is nothing more than an abandoned. Don't let its fragmented appearance fool you, Bronya. On the day the promise is fulfilled, these ruins will become the breeding ground of a new world. Mother, do you truly believe the Stellaron's promise? It summoned the blizzard beyond our walls and opened the door- And yet, the crime of our ancestors was there. What? From the moment those intruders descended from beyond the, the sky, world this handed, world was handed a death sentence. There is a price to pay for new life, wiping away every decaying vestige of the old world, renouncing the meaningless and lingering struggle. This is the price the Stellaron demands. I say only use outside Pokemon for you doing the story DLC, but it's all up to ref references. Breeding ground, let's go. <laughs> Breeding ground. No longer will we have to squander our Man, lives. No, how are you able to pinpoint that? You and I will I'm here getting in the story, it snows like from uh, the ruins. They said breeding ground. <laughs> Man, all I want is Snow's brain. This is a complex mechanism. Ah, I knew this wouldn't be simple. Break it. Oh, wait! Wasn't there some big energy hub looking thing back in that empty area? <sighs> I can't say I like the idea of interacting with our surroundings, especially this deep into the big fragmentum. energy thing. You? However. However. Oh, you. There's no other way. Desperate times call for desperate measures. I used to recall. <laughs> then you Even Don Hung the Sensible has his adventurous days. It what worked, Pokemon are you talking right? about? But is it, the gate is it a, didn't move is it a an game inch. you recommend? Are there other and what's the game around? that is close to like this Pokemon game gameplay you're talking about? Because hmm. there are multiple Pokemon games, I know it's that. It's clear that whoever designed these mechanisms didn't want outsiders to get through to. I'm late. How's it going, anime? Yes, you're late for Nike event. Man, I love Akron. No fights. No more fights. Just send them to a different 
gold. No more fight. It's a kite. Oh, hi! I remember you. Nikki over? Yes, it is! We did Nya Nya Paradise. And I got Rem! I got Rem! First pull! First pull, I got Rem. And it was a PD of zero because yesterday I got. Uh, bro? Uh, personally, I feel the story train is better because boys battles just become normal train of fight. Blah blah blah. DLC is this is probably good for Blueberry Academy. DLC is basically Nikki's death. It's time to move on. Are those monsters guarding the energy hub? It seems like it. Huh. Strange. Fragmentum monsters would usually destroy man-made objects. Did you hear that? This mechanism must be on now. Come on, let's find the next one. Where is the next mechanism? Oh, behind that gate. There's no switch. I've never seen such a desolate place. At least in Rivet Town, you could tell that people used to live there. Rivet Town is only at the outstretched fingertips of the corrosion. Oh, nice. Turn clockwise. Do you think I should keep at least one legendary in my team? All of them legendary. What is it, Mr. Yang? It appears to be rift in the space, torn open by fragment of the real reality. It's a scientific name for this cavern of corrosion. No one knows for sure what kind of the space cavern connected to. However, research indicates available reality data of its scattered within these caverns. As with the Calexis, the derivates from fragment of all scattered out. Use exercise. Okay. Oh, this for relics. Nice. Screen four. Dream of old flames. Success. I want to ask you a question. Yeah. Do you still remember those dreams you mentioned to us? I know you're wide awake right now, but I need you to try. See if you can recall the voice you heard. Voices in my head, are you sure? You don't, you try to recall the dreams, and you train a thought deepens the voice. Yeah. Yeah. Why did I have an option to do half as attempt? That's what I want to know. Well, there was a voice calling out Cocolia. The voice it knows we are getting too close. This is merely speculation, but perhaps the voice you heard is the stuff in the yeah. one in your body is resonating with the Stellaron on this world. Huh? You mean that Stellarons can communicate? I've never heard that before. That would make sense. It's like walkie-talkie. Well. There's never been a human that could accommodate a Stellaron in yeah, the body. Yeah, I'm the walking walkie-talkie, bro. Uh, the Stellaron knows we are here. Stellaron has already warned Kokolia. Then, are Luke we reveals walking that he has voices in his head. Trap? Everyone has voices in the head. It's called thoughts. Yes. And Branya may well be the bait. Don Hung's speculations are usually right on the money. How much money? But even if we've guessed right, we can't go home now. Everybody have voices in There's head. There's no way back anyway. 
At least Kokolia won't catch us off guard now. So what if it's an ambush? We're not about to lose now. I have to save Branya, beat Kokolia, and crush this Stellaron thing to dust. Alright. Sounds easy to me. Alright, fam. <clears throat> Let's do it. Let's do it! I thought you were a no thought had any type of person to be honest, Cuckoo. Having no thought is also a thought. Just like you belief is a doubt. Uh is this right? <sighs> if you want to get to the other side, we'll need to rotate the gear bridge again and go around. I already did it! How dumb do you think I am, game? Why are you giving me the commands, commands on like the basic shit? Screen four. Need I teach? Let's test your knowledge. Fail. Get out. Fail. Get out of here. In the still waters of oblivion, I guide the wandering souls. Savor the vigor of it. Even the game thinks you're a dumb cuckoo. Hey! Never stop thinking. Do the chalk attack. <laughs> Come on. Do the follow up. Insistence is fleeting as the dawn's do. How do I trigger more follow ups? Do a follow up. Come on. <laughs> Knowledge is the measure of all things. It reveals truth and falsehood. How do I trigger more? Just a little something. Nah. <laughs> Think nothing of it. Now time. The test. <laughs> Zero points. On still waters of oblivion. There it is. Let's rock. Aww. Destined for oblivion. Now time. <laughs> Test. <laughs> you can fight it or rock with it. I'm trying to figure out how can I do it. Still water for oblivion. Hmm. Just a little something and nothing else. Measure of truth and falsehood. If we are struggling with this, how much are we going to struggle with the final battle? Is worrying me. Oh, my precious. This is what exploring the cosmos is all about. My precious. My precious. Wait, who got the new four star? Increase the break effect by 16%. Thief of the shooting meteor. Who has it? Alright. Who should have it? What do you have right now? Eh. Beer speed. No, no, no. Forget speed. Alright. You can have...
Coco going, Coco, who going insane real? Hey! I am braining, okay? That everything was part of the calculation. I am actually get I was getting nervous because I'm like if I suffered on that the fight's about to go a little tougher as we go forward. And it's not like Celie's gonna help us because she just says, Oh maybe help you. Which one is left? Wait, there's another one left? want to get to the other side, we'll need to rotate the gear bridge again and go around. I wanna go to that side. Fragmentum here seems to have made a special connection with Cocolia. Huh. It's repeatedly generating forms in her image. Alright, what do you have to say to me, Cocolia? Cocolia is also from Honka Impact 3rd. I don't if you understand. Didn't know. Even if the truth is as you say, every generation of Guardian has resisted the call of the Stellaron, and all of them have been wrong, Mother. Do you still not see, Bronya? There, there is, is no, no wrong right or wrong here. So they're like, you know, human pride. Some of them acted out of human pride. Nice. Others out of All our right. ancestors. Including Elisa Rand. Spent their whole lives trying to prolong this civilization. Then, after all fell still, their memories were scattered by the blizzard. So she's just given they up. They spent Long story lifetimes short. writing songs of praise that lauded the bravery of humanity, but couldn't spare the time to gaze up into to those entities of greater magnificence in the heavens above. A thousand years is but a passing moment. I shall not follow the Guardian's misguided steps down that blind alley of narcissism. But I see. The so pretty much aliens took over. Has She's the just preservation like, ever can... looked humanity in the eye? Nothing more than an arrogant delusion of the architects. Makes sense. All right. So she's like, well, we have been trying to fight this for so long and die. And you know, if we keep doing this, eventually that thing will kill us all. So I've developed this mutual understanding where we are like, all right, you do your thing. We do our thing and we'll suffer somehow, but at least all of us won't die. But she didn't consider a new variable has existed that can kill them. Variable being us. So you know what? I see Cocolia's point. Oh, you will hear the real voice of magnificence, Branya. Then you will. All right. You know what? I understand. No! Don't just do that randomly. You know what? I understand Cocolia's point, guys. I understand her. Whoa, check this place out. Looks like another completely new monster. 
Oh. Oh my. Oh my. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. That's what we're talking about. Considering where we are, it would be surprising if we didn't run into strange enemies here. Strange enemies, you say? All right, all right, all right. It's blocking our way. Let's get it. Let's get it indeed, you guys. Let's get the monster. Stop! Am I fully healed? Pray. Pain forth. Gleam of old grace. <laughs> Judgment is here. Need I teach someone a lesson? We should focus on her. Yeah. Pretty good crowd Holy today. Holy shit, she's strong. Hurry it up. Free will, or was it fate? Fate is wrong. Still waters of oblivion. Again. Prayers won't help me. Mediocre. Another time. Ready to begin. lose yourself? You can fight it. Or rock with it. She's kinda strong. Just yes. for oblivion. <laughs> time for a shot. Now. <laughs> the redemption. <laughs> Again. This song's for you. Don't worry, it's just a scrape. <laughs> just in time. Just a little something. Man, I am sweating. Not bad. Five points. Your answers? You don't need Serbo, then you have Akron. My Akron's not. I don't know. My Akron doesn't have a nice light cone. So. Pretty good crowd today. Serbo still doing no damage than Akron. The measure of truth not. and falsehood. I don't have a nice four star uh, light cone and Let's I don't want to use my money or Zero points. to your own weapon banner. No water to the blade. Free! I've lost my life. This enemy is completely at the different. If I didn't know it was a product of the Fragmentum, I'd think we were fighting a human! Unlike those random low-level Fragmentum creations, this one seems to have a mind of its own. When you say roster, what do you seems mean? Seems to be able to use complex tactics. Look! Branya and Kokolia's echoes! They must have come through here. The voice is getting clearer. Uh, that means we must be really close, right? I sense that we're very near to the northern snow plains. All right. How does this stellar run looks like anyways? I haven't seen it. So this is where time. the first guardian led the Silvermane guards into battle. She made huge sacrifices for the sake of... What do you mean when you say roster? Temporary respite. Oh my god. You don't know what that means. Does roster mean character? Because Yaboy Venti said roster as in character, probably. If it doesn't, then blame them too. But the otherworldly legion did not tire. She soon realized that flesh and blood could not contend with so ruthless an enemy. When all was nearly lost, she chose to set her sights on the Stellaron and made the first wish. As for what came later, you know as well as I. So. The Eternal Freeze was a disaster brought about by a human wish? Huh. <laughs> Ironic, no? All the Stellaron okay, did was answer humanity's call. And yet we kept its existence a closely guarded secret for centuries. 
Huh. Even going so far as to attempt to use it to control the Stellaron. It? Now, well, something created using otherworldly technology. An inhibitor that a corporation from the old world and the architects attempted to use to house the Stellaron. Oh, I know you have many questions, my daughter. I have questions too. Gaseous liquid, nice. Bro, we meet again, bro. How do we find treasure, bro? That bro is like Dora. 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 What is Archon's light code? Are you ready to laugh? I don't have anything else. I have this one. Uh, after using the skill viewers, next basic attack leads additional uh, damage to uh, equal to 1 of 5 attack percent target enemy. Or have these. Increase damage dealt from its viewer to slowed enemies. So it has to be a certain type of enemy that is slowed. I just got this. At the start of battle, the viewer effect hit rate increased by 20% for 3 turns. Not bad, and I can actually really art, point and laugh. Wait, I have a lot of these, so I can really like one, two, three, four, five. I can like S four, S five. That thing. Should I use that one rather? Do you think is out of these two? I know this one's crap. Move your avatar. I can't see. Should I, among these, what is better? Should I S5 this? Or should I keep this one that I have right now? That's all I have! What do you mean? This motherfucker is using 3 4 starlight cone. That's all I have! That's all I have! You see any other? I have these ones, but they don't go with that character. So what's the point? All I have is these. Hidden Shadow is good. So Hidden Shadow is what I have, okay. Go! Really? Really, bro? I'm asking questions. Answer me. Pretty good crowd today. Keep up. Free will, or was it fate? Still waters of oblivion. Not bad. Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it. You know, I am drop with right it. I am not sure if I should. Yeah, like. <laughs> I was thinking I should like, you know, do her, do her weapon, but then I'm like, I need more characters Another too, blood debt so repaid. No. I would much rather Sick. have all the characters, you fine. rather than having her signature weapon. Even though I know her signature weapon will improve her by a lot. Pray. 
Really? Is a lifesaver. Doctor Rachel's father attack is a lifesaver. This is. Is there any other character that is like Doctor Rachel when it comes to like doing strong as follow-ups? Because goddamn. It's an absolute lifesaver, the Doctor Rachel. Oh yeah. <laughs> Shock attack. This thing. This thing is not saving me. But I don't think it'll save me anymore because this character sounds seems way too strong. I might die on this one. Yep. Test. Knowledge, the measure of truth and falsehood. Why is she so strong? What the hell? Zero waters of oblivion. Zero points. Uh, yeah, I started SSR once too when I came out, but then I stopped playing. So then. You can fight it, or rock with it! Answer me! Fire Mediocre! Retribution! Stop getting extractions! Shadow of hers again. But Bronya's isn't with her this time. I can it's come only back a fragmented illusion. Later. Let's get a closer look. I'll come back for them later. Should have been Dave and see this little rule out. I don't know what to tell you, Chief. Yeah, Bronya's missing. Intruders. Uh, did did she just speak? You cannot approach Ristalara. You're fighting Kokolia? Mother. Intruders. You go no further. Uh, are you sure All right. isn't the real her? Need I teach you it may person? look like her, but the fragmentum can only create fortune. Bring her down. Zero points. Yeah! From 94 to 87, man, today. his passive skill's better than his regular. Turn up the volume. This is as fleeting as the dawn's dew, destined for oblivion. <laughs> Time for a shot saver, the vigor of life. You are doomed to fail. Yep, I, I, I believe you. You have answers. 
Man, what are those things? Never stop thinking. Fail. Count. 69%. Yeah. <laughs> Did you come here of your own volition? Or was it fate? In the still waters of oblivion, I guide the wandering souls. Naughty children, don't nap time. A world devoured by ice. Witness the avalanche. What are you about to do? I'm asking the questions. <laughs> what, are you, what are you about to do? Ready to lose yourself? Fight it or rock with it. My music. Okay, please open dice. Conquer us all. Savor the vigor. <laughs> Just in time. Just a little something. <laughs> Think nothing of it. <sighs> Ready to jam. Call that defense? Don't push Let's her more! Your knowledge. <laughs> Zero Getting her ass handed is like all that defense? Try it again, yes. Akron works better when there is at least one other character to apply debuff to the enemy to increase her stacks for her ult. Knowledge is the measure of all things. Oh. It reveals truth and falsehood. Hanya buffs your allies. Who should I replace Hanya with though? I have a healer, I have the only attacker, which I have over here is Serval, and then the only one I can think of putting Hanya with is Serval. Right but Serval does the decent volume. damage, like look at the damage Fail. Serval did. You want the allergies for Akron. It's the only way forward. Wherever they lead, it must be the end of the journey. I don't want to get to the end so soon. I want my journey to this go on bitch! forever. What do you mean? We are struggling! This means that Branya is up ahead. And so is the fate of the overworld and the underworld. <sighs> Strange. I thought I'd feel nervous or afraid. But I don't. The only feeling I have is that none of this seems real. She's Harmony. You want Nehli the Alice for Akron, okay. I don't know who we have, let me check. Resting forever in snow plains, that wouldn't be so bad. They wanted to say it to yesterday. Hey, to? way to boost morale over there. The Express has traveled world after world. We are merely passing travelers. Witnesses to part of a grander story. We invariably avoid getting drawn into turbulence that can decide the fate of a world. But there are always times when we have no choice but to act. It's kind or of... to put it another way, this is one heck of a first trailblazing expedition. You hit the jackpot. I was about to bore you all with my gloomy reflections. But on second thought, not today. Adventuring with you guys by my side has made me feel like no obstacle is too big. Yeah, because you're not even part of the battle. Right on. But you can say whatever you like. A good adventure sh helping those in need, befriending those worth counting on, and saving the world a few times along the way. All right. Good times. Let's do it. Let's do it! This is. These are the characters that I have. So I got this guy. This guy, Sushan. We have Asta Harmony. We have this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy. We have Hanya, but Hanya from Harmony and not Nihility. We have Velt. We have Velt. Would Velt be better than a uh, better uh, with Akron? Do you think? Hmm. 
but he just slows the other enemies. He doesn't debuff them. Would Velt be better uh, with, uh, rather than Serval for uh, Akron, or he does nothing to Akron? Because after that, I'm just using others. Yeah. All right, let's do it. A debuff is a debuff. So you, re so Ray, recommend Velt. Dr. Risho stays in the team, goddammit. Dr. Risho will not be replaced with anyone. Astar Hane should be support. My support is... is good. Take that back. Nah, I'm going with this for now. If we struggle, then I'll put belt on. I like several. Wouldn't be dying as much if you had him. Don't worry about it. Choice isn't as elusive as it may appear. about it. Okay, maybe a little worry about it. Ah, so I need to build this thing now because without it, at least let's get a taste of it first. You know what? Let's get a taste of it. Let's get a taste of what's about to happen. And then we do rest later. Are we gonna die? Yeah. I don't like this. I don't like when they're forcing to be like, oh yes, you must have this, you must have this character, otherwise, otherwise we will not let you play this game, you must have our main character, get out of here man, get out of here, let me choose my characters.
Yeah, I'll show you my Akron, you guys. Dust. Dusted for oblivion. <laughs> Mediocre. Again. I can I can Sorry. tell after your life cone. Still waters of oblivion. They're dying even before I start the attack. I can I, I can see. I can see her life cone doing its thing. God damn. of truth and falsehood. Destined for oblivion. <laughs> you can fight it or rock with it. <laughs> Answer me. On the still waters of oblivion. Let's rock. Now. Bro, in the risk he's doing more damage than I ever can. Measure of truth and falsehood. I have Johannes, Akron for support, but yeah, rest of the people are just, yeah. I'm not done yet. Really? Ratio, I will take that. Oh. Answer me. Test. Free. Knowledge, the measure of truth and falsehood. On the still waters of oblivion. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Zero points. Destined for oblivion. Water if, uh, if I have Clara to remove Wawa Jabba, you should slap because I'm going to use it. Not a clue, not the air. Because you cannot carry me through walking at a spot. Destined for oblivion. Mediocre. I don't like this. Why gotta have Star Blazer on my team? Please go any further. I don't like that. But that is fine. The measure of truth and falsehood. I weep for the departed. I try to get me to but that's in that two different sides. How off sides are we talking about? So basically I'm screwed. How 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 off are we talking about? Like two different sides, but like how much by half or like what are we talking about here? Okay. I'm not ascending them anymore. I'm not I'm done sending yet. them, but like I'm not leveling them. Like I'm not going to get more stuff to level them up. They ask 32, they get 32. Uh, light cone, however. I don't know what these even are. What if there's a good one? With... An entire foot, half a foot, either one of those. Jesus. Wonder how come.
Okay. It sucks. Um, have you tried those custom souls that comes? You know the custom souls for the shoes? There are custom soles that are made for your feet. Uh, my sister had the foot problem, and she had developed like she got these custom soles, and ever since she's using them, like in her in her shoes, she doesn't have that much foot problem. They're very ergonomically created. Okay, let's see what we're at. It's freezing here. The blizzard's so fierce. Now the power from the trailblaze path isn't enough to stop the cold. It means that we're getting closer to the Stellaron and the heart of the Eternal Freeze. Did the architects build this? Very different from the uniform style of the buildings we saw in the city. The mama does he had a bigger size, but I was like, other foot feel too loose. Yeah, two different sizes. Branya hostage. We have to save her. The underworld. No, the entire planet relies on her. If there's some sort of surgery, can... if there's no problem, why have to go through surgery? So that's a stellar on? All this fuzz because of that thing? Do not resist, Branya. Accept the common will. No! I don't want this. Look upon their promised future, Branya. A world without poverty, without cold, without suffering. A world where people no longer have to play like prisoners think for survival. It, A world that we can guard for all eternity. Seven hundred years ago, we Wonder tried how that and fought unceasingly, believing that the radiance of human nature could shepherd us towards rejuvenation. <laughs> and to what end? A crushing defeat. Why, when faced with Irrefutable strength is our first thought always to resist, to cover our ears in... It is the conceit and cowardice entrenched in the depths of Honestly, human nature. Honestly, the way she said it sounded like she was condescending, something like that? Got them. Cast them aside. Break free of the chains that Put it bind you. Back the on her, Stellaron be like, hey, it's your genetics. Will lead humanity to evolve, and they will. That is something your parents cannot blame it on you. Just be like, well, it's your genetics. Because of you guys, I have two different shoe sizes. Now fix it. Your genetics, your problem. Your brainwashing ends here, you witch. You bitch. Like, you know, we kind of took each other, like, uh, I get that, woman. I've never been said about. I'm not fucking stupid. Like, you know, we can't be two different shoe sizes. Like, I get that, woman. I I never said that. I'm not fucking stupid. I mean, you are. You technically are. You are two different shoe sizes. Zila. Yeah. I thought the blizzards had entombed you, Mrs. Tick Time Coca-Cola. Those blizzards were nothing. You wish. We're not going down before you do. Branya! I don't yes, know what can. happened between you and them. Even if you explained it to me, I probably wouldn't understand all the crazy details. I'm sweaty and but tired. From what? What happened? I, I do know. Out. One. These guys have come through hell to get here. To seal this Stellaron thing. Yeah. And two, do you remember what I said? If anything happened to you, I'd save you. You can count on me like one, two, three, Bronya. Do you understand? 
Even if the damage is done, even and I'll if be you've there. completely forgotten our promise, then, then I'm just gonna have to knock you out and bring you back myself. I meant can't get, not can't be. Blabogod, Blabobog, Bellobog needs you, Bronya. All of you. You are the next. Yes, you putting uh, thoughts in Bronya's head. You are the next ruler, Bronya. You are the next ruler. Finished? I think I've given you long enough to bid farewell. It's time I told you my other reason for bringing you here. Huh? I want to witness your choice. I have told you all the truths there are to tell. The deal with the Stellaron, the wish I made to it. There are no more secrets between us. Many years ago, the voice of the Stellaron sounded in my ears for the first time. I was no different from the previous generations of Guardians. I withdrew. I refused to hear. I was refused. As you are now bitterly defending Agatha. I was as you are. My conviction was once steadfast, unparalleled. Until a sudden change arrived and threw everything into chaos. Her daughter died, right? Another choice appeared before me. A subversion of the old order, and compared to the illusory, ever more distant preservation. I have agonized, long agonized, over how to convey all this to you. Tomorrow will be transpired, but if you're not able, there beside me to watch Inevitably, the promise tomorrow will transpire. But if you were not there beside Maybe I'm actually stupid. me, what do you mean? that new world, then I would descend into torment. Branya. Enduring torment. <laughs> Perhaps I should be thanking you, outsiders. The pressure you have imposed has at long last compelled me to confront my final weakness, Branya. Throughout your life, I have never forced you to submit to my will. Because you I have got always, was properly. No, 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 we all have always typos. Have a choice. Especially if you're typing on phone. I hate As typing then, on phone. Typos all the time. So now, choose my daughter. <clears throat> Madame Krakoria, I am grateful to you for raising me and for allowing me the privilege of choice. But I... I am sorry. Uh-oh. On this, our final occasion, I cannot stand with you. Uh-oh. You say that conceit and cowardice lie in the depths of human nature. Perhaps you're right. <laughs> Perhaps you're right. Desperation sheds light on the darkest recesses of the heart. What about those simply struggling for survival, fighting for something better? I've witnessed their light on the front lines, in the underworld, in places you have overlooked. Our ancestors built this city. Striving in the bitter snow to prolong our civilization. Even if this world is doomed to fall apart, we should allow humanity to pay its final We should hand out. over our fate to the seed of ruin. Actually, that is very underwhelming how that looks like, Stellaron. For all the fuzz around it, it looks so underwhelming. We are Guardian's mother, chosen from among the masses. Our duty is to preserve the world built by humanity. We are not gods, we are not, we are not arbiters. You seek to crush human nature underfoot while masquerading as an, as an arbiter and a god. I cannot let you... So, this is your choice. It is. I understand, Branya. Is it a wise choice? Pity. Such a pity. That you will never see that resplendent world. Unable to free yourself from the shackles of your mind. <sighs> you know what? You were supposed to be the mother. Mother Bronya. Damn. That hits different. The ground! It's shaking! What's happening? Mother Bronya, that sounds di that hits different. That sign. What? Nah. A Velabog is sealed. Its future will unfold in our hands. And you will become the foundation of the new world. You must break the old to build the new. 
The Supreme Guardian commands you! Rise, Engine of Creation! It's one of the Earth that has engine machines! Watch out, all of you! Himeko, help about now would be good. Himeko, a little help. Himeko, help, help. Don't break, don't break. Fight! This, this robot's a thousand times bigger than Sparog. Do you have answers? Uh, we gotta casually ignore that thing in, in behind us? Let's test your knowledge. Zero points. Next. <laughs> no, 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 no. Why did that go clicked? No, 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 Them. Don't break me! No, 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 no! We have to stop it! Nap time. I'm okay. I'm asking the question. Think! Never stop thinking. Fail. Get out. SAS I'm right about the second one. After these things, three are done, what happens it next? Truth That's what I'm afraid about. My tempo. Ready to lose yourself? Fight it or rock with it. Then going after multiple enemies, going after first, the one guy guys on the multiple smaller enemies that can and will attack you during the fight and you can attack Let's go. big guy. This bit right here. Mediocre. <laughs> Just in time. Just a little something. <laughs> Think nothing of it. Not bad. Please Five turn points. the fans fast speed back on. I can't. Oh wait, I can. Why did they disable it? Turn it up! Please! Oblivion! How can we bring a giant like this down? Himiko will help us, right? You can fight it! Or rock with it! I'm for a shot. Now come. Let's go! Rules! Are made to be broken. I'm asking questions. Decaying Shadows, nine stacks of God's Tree Collection. Test. Zero points. Lost one second. And done! The Question is what comes now? But what will come now is the bigger question. Oh, that's it? Wait, what do you mean good luck? Oh, Himeko! Himeko! Yeah!
We got space, bitches! Uh, Himeko, it's Himeko! Yeah! Hello? Can you me? Because the signal's terrible. Himeko, you finally spared a thought for us. What are you talking about? Well done, I've been up on a story. I knew the time. You've got quite the trailblazing condition on your hands. So, how did that guy work? Or, importantly, how do you stop him from working? Over to you guys, I guess. Let's do it. My jaws are open. Let's go, Brania. Where's Jackpot? Come on, we need everyone. Avengers, assemble. Oh? Grab hold of me. God damn, silly. Yeah. Oh, it's so cool! My god! <laughs> Mother! They still fighting? Behold, okay, good, the good, good. Power granted by them. Mother Flipper! We are actually Listen fighting her? The power surge! Sing! The Not gonna lie, she's kind of hot. <laughs> I can see the universe in Just her. Just as it dispelled the antimatter legion seven hundred years ago, so too will it wipe you from the face of this world. Not gonna lie, she's kind of hot. Stay alert. You sure about this, Chief? I'm alone here. Chief, you sure about this? Rules are made to be broken. You sure we are doing this, Chief? <laughs> Chief, you understand what's happening here? Take this! Are you sh- <laughs> I don't think he- I- I'm- I don't- I don't understand. <laughs> Humanity. Yeah. So weak and foolish. Yeah, I am Always weak. Always overestimating their abilities. I am not. I know I'm weak. Let me bestow upon you. Please don't. Despair. Please don't. Okay, good. <laughs> no, not like this. They sent us with all their confidence, and yet here we are, falling down with spear right through our heart. She went right through my heart, you guys. Oh? Is this... The universe? But I was fighting Kakolia. Why am I here? The last Is time I came on? here, I drew Nanook's gaze. Could it be... We've transferred the residents to the outer municipal districts for the time being. The garrison lost 26 fighters. But I... This is so cool! Come on, Jepard. Why do you hesitate, Kakolia? Isn't this what you've always been hoping for? Get out of this cage and take a look at the city. What is there to lose? The efforts of our predecessors, their unfinished research. We can finally see them come to fruition. Give me some soldiers and I'll locate the Stellaron and find out how to save our world. You need to come to your senses, Servo. Come? Madame Kakolia, the monsters are surging this way. It's too dangerous here. Saying. Don't 
Only I, only I can understand. They have eyes that do not see, ears that do not hear. Mother, I still don't understand. The fragmentum corrosion has already spread to the underworld. How will those below ground fend for themselves if we withdraw every guard? The automatons will ensure their safety. The most important defensive position is here on the surface. If our lines crumble, the underground will vanish in an instant. Our defenses here must be maintained at all costs. What is that little... Oh, who are you? Is that the little daughter of Kukolia? That's Kukolia's daughter! is drowning in tears. The power of the preservation is fading. We could not defy the will of the Stellaron after all. Kukolia abandoned preservation. This is not what preservation would have wanted. Ah, a believer, I see. The fragmentum had been expanding for the past 700 years. There is no faith nor wealth left for our successors. Only despair to see the home we vowed to preserve wither away. That in itself is torture. Not to mention the haunting whisper of temptation. The day will come when even the strongest of wills cannot help but give in to such influence. It is only a matter of time before the Amber Lord forsakes us. Then let other people carry on the will of preservation. You, you are but a stranger to us, and yet you seek to bond your destiny to ours. So be it. What is there to lose when so much has already been lost? Touch the light of the Amber, Trailblazer. See if your will... <laughs> I am getting goosebumps right now. I'm getting goosebumps. I just I got a goosebump all the way from my neck to the toe. Pretty 
good crowd today. Let's go. <laughs> Just in time. Just a little something. <sighs> Ready to jam. <laughs> The engine of creation is activated. Use it to destroy the lance of eternal freeze. Lance of the An Alice target action can charge the engine of creation to unleash preservation's creation wrath. Ready. Ready to lose your son. You can fight it. Or rock with it. <laughs> See why I call it a banger now? 100%. But Bronya? Man! <laughs> Bronya! Ah! I wasn't going to feel bad about Kakolia, but Bronya's reaction to her. God damn it! Mother, did 
you wake up from that dream? Wow. That was a tough trailblazing expedition. We made it! But, uh... What are we gonna do with the Stellaron? It's usually Mr. Yang who handles it. I've informed Himiko and Mr. Yang already. They'll steal the Stellaron. Nice! The crisis on this world is basically over, right? Hmm. Huh. The storm still rages on. Now that the Stellaron is sealed, the Eternal Freeze will slowly recede. Fragmentum won't aggressively expand anymore. But nor will it disappear. Eurelo 6 has a chance to return to life. But it will take time. <laughs> it will depend on the efforts of the people here. Thank you. All of you. Don't be too hard on yourself. Thank you. There is still much to do. The people will have felt the effects of the engine of creation. There are so many questions to answer, so many truths to reveal. I don't know whether I can get the people to accept all this. Ooh, tell everyone the truth or cover up the truth. Tell everyone the truth or cover up the truth. I think it'd be a lot easier for people to cover up the truth. By telling them the truth, their entire... Sometimes, sometimes... Ignorance is a bliss. You have to cover it up. They can't lose the respect of someone and it's too much. Yeah, you gotta cover it up. You mean... Use a lie to conceal a lie? But if I do that, then... You have to, Branya. Sila, I... I don't know how to explain it. But I don't think there's any other way. In the underworld, we tell the kids, things will be better tomorrow. <laughs> Everyone knows it's a lie. Yeah, I gotta it lie. It them to sleep with some hope. I get it now. Why government lied to us? Truth is, truth is too hard for us to handle. Thank you, big brother government. <laughs> Can you imagine the cost? I get it now. If we told the people what happened here, they'd be devastated. If we can't trust the Guardians, who or what can we trust? Mother died to preserve Balaba. What? Yep. The visitors from beyond the sky told her the secret of the Stellaron. She knew that Alyssa Rand, the first Supreme Guardian, had failed to destroy it. And yet, she decided to challenge its power. A, a power beyond human comprehension. Supreme Guardian Kakolia sacrificed herself to dispel the dark clouds enveloping this city. Yep. From here on out, that's the truth the world will hear. What do you think? It keeps the hope of preservation alive, at least. It's logical and hard to disprove. Why do we have to lie? I'm abstaining. I like telling the truth. Shut up, March seventh. But somebody put I a duct tape on this call. Let's use this version. Thank you for understanding. For many people, Mother was an outstanding guardian. Yep. The whole truth will live on in my mind. All the mistakes, madness, evil, dreams therein. I will be the one to carry that burden. Nah, you'll forget about it. Don't worry. Just forget about now, it. I must take over the duties of the Supreme Guardian and discard my naive fantasies. Bronya, the Supreme Guardian. Yeah. I see you. Please protect this secret with me till the end of our lives. Thank you for understanding, Volzak. <laughs> I gotta change my name, man. Say no more. I know what to do. <laughs> Thank you. Well then, as promised, let's start rebuilding the bridge between the overworld and the underworld.
Zila, can you tell everyone in the underworld that the Stellaron has been sealed? And tell them the blockade will soon be over, and they will breathe freely again soon. Of course. Leave it to me. Nat's probably getting anxious about the delay. While you do that, I'll head back to the... administrative district. I need to tell Jabard and... Sirv... Huh. Are you okay? What's wrong, Branya? Do you let's, feel sick? Let's take her home. I'm... I'm fine. I need to... I need to hurry. Uh, she's exhausted. Quick, we need to think of something. Uh, Balls you, back, help me out here. here. Silly, take back Branya with you. We'll go... Yeah. Right. I almost forgot. You're still wanted by the guards. I might be an underworlder, but at least I don't stand out as much oh, as Oh yeah, we're still most wanted people Let's in settle, the world. Let's settle then. I'll leave not to you. It I'm won't under. fly Keep if... Keep the secret. It won't fly. Lebron? It won't fly. No. Oh, sh... For Bellabog's sake. It won't fly if we carry unconscious Bronya back to city and Kokolia is dead and we are the wanted people. Yeah, it'll be hard to explain. Wanna tell us what happened back there? Don't think you can just reappear on the battlefield with a cool weapon in your hands and skip the story. I saw Quill Quill Clip 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 Pot, the preservation. That's the second time I've sacrificed myself for you, Marge. I'll I'll tell uh, you the truth. You drew the Amber Lord's gaze? Right at that moment? That's too much of a coincidence. We'll become more even more planets if we did that. She probably doesn't know what happened either. This wouldn't be the first time. Something similar happened when we faced the Doomsday Beast on the space station. Remember that glance from Nanook? Originally, we thought it was because the Stellaron was linked to the destruction. But now it seems to be more than Damn. that. We might need to speak with Mr. Yang to understand what's going on. So the tiny kid was literally the god of preservation. That is so cool. Let's focus on the business at hand first. We shouldn't disrupt Himiko and Mr. Yang while they're dealing with the Stellaron. Let's talk once we're back on the Express. Mm, you're right. We need to finish what we started. Let's hurry up and find Natasha. So how do we get that cool ass weapon is my question. I don't know what this means. Ah, hmm? oh, okay, 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 okay. I, I know what it means. Noise. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, 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 okay. I know what it means. Nah, destruction is good. Path of destruction is good. Are you alright? I don't know, Sila. Isn't that normal? Oh, let's get out of here. Don't worry. I'm a tough cookie. Huh. Hello. These targets will make for good practice. You think so? Look! There's a big crowd around the clinic! Or defensive Do you think they felt the effects of the battle just now? But I'm not going to use the Let's character anymore. Around. But I'm not going to use the character anymore, so what's the point? Yeah. Natasha! Oleg! Hope you didn't have to wait too long. Oh, it's them! You kids move fast. By the look on your faces, I assume you come bearing good news? The that face? Dan Hank's face? That is not the face of good news. Mm-hmm. You bet. You might not believe this, but we summoned up all The point is you're weak as shit. Then... Nah. Because I'm not even going to use that character. Uh, maybe she should do the talking. I'm no good at serious stuff. I'll probably say something I'll regret. Unholy screech. Uh, wait. She did not take the picture of Stellaron, did she? 
the Guardian sacrificed herself to see Listeleron. Oh yeah, we gotta lie to them as well. I forgot we gotta lie we to them as well. We were there at the fight. We witnessed everything. Uh, sacrificed herself, huh? Sure, yeah, that's the whole story. March 7th, if you speak like that, they will know we are lying. Kakolia, in order to save Bellabog, she... Natasha knows what that means. I see. Natasha knows. She knows. She knows. So the massive tremors we felt earlier were a result of the battle. <laughs> Someone gotta take her out of way to go. I know. She has a big mouth. Yes, it was a hard won victory. Natasha, I think, understood. Natasha is like, I see. I can't even imagine what you've been through up there. I'm just glad everything turned out all right. Natasha knows. She knows. What about Zila? Don't worry, she's all right. It took a big toll on Branya, so Zila took her over to the guards. Like we've already done lying, man. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, right. Yeah, she showed sacrifice herself. Mm-hmm. Sure, that's the story. All right, all right. Yeah, sure she did. Wink, wink. That's literally March Seven lying to anyone. Oh, good. I'm so glad you're all okay. At least she didn't do like the finger gesture, like you know, the when you like lie and you do the finger gesture, like oh yeah, she sacrificed, quote unquote, herself. Now that Kokolia is no more. I guess our Silvermane girl is about to become the next Supreme Guardian? Yeah! She sees things through, and doesn't go back on her word. The Underworld will thrive again under her watch. Damn, Bronya! Mm -hmm. Oh, we brought you a message from Bronya. <clears throat> the blockade will soon be lifted. The people of the Underworld will breathe freely. Breathe freely. <laughs> That's been our wish all along. Let's March, go, baby! Don and you, can I ask for your help again? I want to get this news out to everyone. It'll lift their spirits. And what do you want us to do? Hope. Yell? Count us in. Thank you. Choose whoever you like. Wildfire will take care of the rest. We've gotten to know a lot of underworlders. Who do you think we should start Sample. with? Sample! What? Let's start with the mining team over at the Great Mine. Let's start with Hook and the Moles. Let's start with Gertie. I would have said Sempo, but that's fine. Where was Sempo all this time? The dude disappeared Roger again. That. You can leave the rest to us. If everything goes smoothly, <laughs> this should be Wildfire's final mission. I wonder if. Do you think the Great Mine was affected by our fighting on the surface? I'm interesting to know. I wonder if everybody get different like cutscenes and based on my choice. Oh look, it's Antonia. The miners and vagrants are all in the same spot. Here, take it. I'm afraid we're short on goods and material. Oh, well, we actually haven't- Hey, are you guys causing trouble again? It's you! Oh, no, no, you misunderstand. There was a huge quake at the mine just now. Part of it collapsed. The vagrants here hadn't stopped to help. Imagine if it's everybody died at mine because of us. Piece. I was just discussing. Wanna hear something really great? Oh, to do with us? Yeah, I'm listening. Whoa. We just saved your life, you, you guys. To say that we're about to be reunited with the overworld? Like, wanna hear something cool? Yeah, we saved the planet. Are you serious? This has gotta be a dream. Good things don't happen to us. <laughs> Today they do. And you're not dreaming. If you don't believe us, pinch yourself. That one, the, the question is not them thinking it's a dream. The question is if we are lying or not. If things go back to the way they were 10 years ago, then the mining team can finally escape this poverty. And you won't have to rely on the charity of others. My god, I'm eating way too much. We'll finally be living with the dignity we deserve. I... <laughs> Come on, wipe your tears. Let it out. Thank you, outsiders, from the bottom of my heart. The mining team will remember you as heroes, as will the rest of the underworld. Please tell Natasha that we're ready to get back to work. If the cable car station full of rice, can start and the bowl of mashed again, potatoes. Got we'll them. dispatch a mining representative to negotiate with the architects. A new message. From whom? 
Balls like March 10. The ceiling of solar is complete and the special distortion is disappearing. Good job. Don't rush, go at your own pace. Express will be here before you're ready to leave. I crave some juice from Silo Music Glass. How is Jorilo 6th? Not great. Even though Influenza Storyline has basically subsided, the existing fragments are too deeply rooted. The eternal freezes lasted a very long time, enough to severely impact the ecology of the planet. In short, the planet probably won't again be regain the vitality that it once had thousands of years ago in such a short time. As the Trailblazer mission has already concluded successfully, the fate of this world should be handed back to instant habitant. Humankind has always struggled against conditions and has always managed to thrive in spite of it. Now the eternal freeze is gone, Fragment has lost its momentum to expand. Drill of 6 will be revitalized, blah blah blah. I direct a high frequency of metal energy in north of Jir STOP TYPING SO FAST BRO! You might be interested to check it out. Don't worry, the energy is not related to Stellaron. It's only an echo left behind after special distance fades away. Inside the echo, our perception of space and time that we used to will become radically altered to the point where it might even reconstruct certain scenes from its own experience. If you're in the mood and wish to relive those memorable events, you can try to uh, look and place that uh, where echoes can be found. Oh, Mr. Yang put it nicely, but the reality is this. There I was getting excited to Uh, does this count as we did all we could? Now it's time, matter of time. That's the cruelty of Estelaron. Still, compared with- So, should we tell everyone the deal? We should tell Branya when the time's right. Let's not dampen the spirit just yet. Revi review the past memory of battling for middle foes and obtain the trace material and the rare light cones. Ah! I see what they mean. So it's like fighting a boss. Got it. I see. It's like fighting a boss. For old person, both sides very every fun. Glance, It's probably using text breeze. to speech. It's using text to speech. I wish you all a journey that is free of illness. Is everyone all right? <sighs> Thanks for your help. <laughs> Sometimes face-to-face -face communication is more meaningful, don't you think? Now we just have to wait for the official news. Huh. Do you think Sparog and Clara felt the effects of our battle with the Guardian? Sparog's still alive? I think they'll be fine. Plus, Sparog's devotion to Clara is even greater than his hostility to Wildfire. <laughs> if you... All right, let's go check them out. Because you gotta shove the calculations back in his face. Also, I gotta let my cat in. I let him out earlier, uh, so I'll be right back. Meanwhile, look at the beautiful, beautiful several.
Alright, I'm back. Esports, ETV, ESports, challenge everything. Outsiders for friends of Clara. That's exactly who we are. Hi, Perkins. Did Clara fix you? The, the. Seems like Perkins picked up a stammer. That's fine. Its language module must have malfunctioned. Outsiders are. <laughs> I can see them. Do I actually have to follow you? I can literally see them right there. Bro, really? My god. Okay. You have visitors, Clara. Swarog! Wanna fight again? Oh, I'll kick your ass! It's the variables. Uh, another nickname for collection. Hell yeah. Nice haircut, Swarog. <laughs> Are you trying to start another fight? Hell yeah. There was a huge shaking just now coming up to the ground. Nice haircut, Swarog. it must have been... Recalculating. Conclusion. Engine of creation. 97.66% probability. Old friend of yours, any other secret weapons you'd like to tell us about? The engine of creation was an immense construction machine created by the architects. It was not built to fight. Okay. Well, whatever. We won. Thanks to that giant robot, we were finally able to take care of the Stellaron. And Branya made a promise. The underworld and the overworld will soon be reunited. Which means that you, Svarog... Um, you won't have to worry about preserving the underworld for the time being. What we're trying to say is, your reason of existence is gone now. So bada bim bada boom, disassemble yourself. March, everyone, thank you so much. I wasn't sure you guys would be able to do it, but... Hey! But now, Mr. Svarog, what do you say? What do you say about your calculation, my dude? You guys said you were travelers from other worlds, right? I want to be just like you. Whoa. One day, I'm gonna go traveling to faraway places and make Nice friends. haircut is crazy. I know, right? <laughs> I will- Oh my- Oh, I have some bald co-workers. I'll use them on them. One of our- One of our CEOs is bald. We have three CEOs. One of our CEOs is bald. Next time I see him, I'll be like, Hey, nice haircut. Do you think I'll get fired? Do you think I'll get fired if I use that kind of humor on CEO? As a new hire who hasn't even work, been working in company for one year. Should I should I try that? Either we'll be best friends or I'll get fired. Calculation result. Update. Mission number 0001. Preserve the underworld. Complete. What's your mission number 02? Dude left him four digits, zero, 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 0001. So he wants to do 9,999 missions. Marsh, Denning, are you seeing this? The Android can actually send messages. <laughs> Your taste in stickers is amazing. I'll be an ass to everyone. What's wrong with the picture? I quite like it. Ah, oh, look at Bronya. Thank goodness I've already given the order Silver Man Guard and immediately. Bronya, shh, let me read. Bronya, let me read! Uh, Silver Man to immediately lift the blockade over the un overworld underworld, and some people in the world should have already received the notice. After closing for more than a decade, cable car station should finally be reopening soon. If you don't mind, I would like you to come overworld for my succession ceremony. Let's go! Let's go! What mission 9999? <laughs> My god! Man, that last sticker is like old lady sticker. Like grandma sent that sticker. 
Branya. Branya. Quick as a flash. Hello? Oh my god. Did it? Hello? Okay. <laughs> she certainly moves a lot faster than some people I know. I know. That was quick. If you haven't got anything nice to say right now, zip it. Fight me. Oh wait. Oh, cute. Okay, let's go. <laughs> if you haven't got nice and zip it <laughs> that is indeed big bird coming from her you made it <laughs> i thought you were about to miss out on a moment of history no Cutsy? way after all our hard work how could we miss out on the final celebration right <laughs> ass ain't talking uh the smell of freedom is in the air <laughs> For Oleg and I, not to mention the other adults, reopening the passageway means rediscovering old ways of living. A return to normality. Damn. But for the children who were born into this era, who grew up in this isolation, this will be a new life altogether. Man, I didn't think of it that way. Suddenly these kids for the first time will see Overworld and be like, this is what they've been missing all this time? Once you've tasted freedom, it's difficult to accept a life of separation and isolation. Those of us whose childhoods were marred by tragedy, we must strive to do better for the next generation. I feel like I'm only one here who appreciates the March 7. Now we appreciate her, she just has a big mouth. She's the paimon of this I'm game. I'm sorry. Here I am talking your ear off again. This is a day to remember. We should welcome it with smiles. If you have time, talk to the folks here. Every one of them. No, let's just go home. I don't want to talk to them. Man, I don't care to talk to them. Like, when have I ever spoken to Cable Car Operator before? Finally. Finally, I can get back to Su- Ah, it's you! The Liberators of the Underworld! You're the first passengers we've had since being sealed off. <laughs> It'll be my honor to get you to the surface in one piece. What do you mean by in one piece? Does this thing have a good safety record? Relax, relax. In all my 20 years on the job, there were only ever... Uh... uh anyway... Hey! Hey! What does that mean? <clears throat> so, ready to climb board? <laughs> Actually, wait. No problem! There's... Who else can we talk to? <clears throat> Anybody here of interest? Right on in and take a seat. What is it? Can you? We're not even. Okay, never mind. Okay, let's go. I don't see anybody cool enough to talk to. Let's go, baby. Let's go. So, ready to climb? Let's go. Brothers, sisters, ladies, gentlemen, boys, and girls of all ages, gather round. The cable car passenger service is about to restart! Yay! Whoa! <laughs> Look at the big blue ceiling! <laughs> <laughs> They're like little kids going to- We're going to big city! We're going to big city, Mutt! Look at that! Air Tratter! In the air, there's an air tratter! Is that an air tratter? Oh, Clara's with us! <laughs> That's not a ceiling hook. That's the sky. <laughs> oh! Oh, my heart! Oh! Oh! That one statement just broke my heart. Wait! That one statement just broke my heart. Look at that big ceiling. That's not a ceiling, that's a sky. So these kids have never seen the sky before. Wait! Wait! Imagining not seeing the sky and then seeing the sky for the first 
man! That one statement kills my heart! So this is... the overworld? The air here smells... different. <laughs> Less rust and geomero particles floating around. Take a deep breath, children. Man! This is what freedom tastes like. That one like. statement broke my heart. I never thought I'd live to see the administrative district again. <sighs> You're right, Oleg. Hey, chicken, how's it? Oh my god! We have a chicken! Yohanechi, chicken was your top priority. Chicken is in the chat now. Chicken, I don't know who you are, but apparently you're top priority of Yohanechi. It's funny. The moment I boarded the cable car, my mind was filled Yohane with Yohanechi, your top priority to is here. I didn't say shit. Hey! She clearly said that chicken is the last priority. First time in Panacone, already wanting to be an adventurer's ass. Adventurine's ass. Damn, really? I was like, I don't know. I don't know, Yohane. You said chicken's a top priority. We have chicken now. But now, I just want to sit she's down, going back on her zone board. out, and watch the people coming and going. And let the day... What a timing! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Wait, what a timing though! But chicken is my top priority. Right away, chicken. Hi! <laughs> Fuck! Chicken, did you rename yourself for a happy coincidence? Because what the hell? What are the chances here? Enjoy the peace and quiet, Natasha. We earned it. Yohanich, you could have asked for anything. Today is Yohanichi's day. As soon as Yohanichi said chicken, she got chicken. Damn. Huh, it's Japard! Is he here to meet us? Hey, you wanna He's fight still more? Welcome back to the administrative district, Trailblazers. Trailblazers? First time anyone's called us that. How does this, this type of coincidence even happen? I know! What is this? What kind of coincidence was that? <laughs> the architects think it's only right that we should address you properly. Outsiders is hey, sir. hardly fitting anymore. Welcome back, sir. And please allow me to apologize again for what happened in yep, the restricted you better. zone. You better. Wanna we were fight again? only trying to help. I should have trusted Serval's judgment. You were doing your job. Your sister know what's up. Yeah, your sister know what's up. I'll keep that in mind. Can't see anyone. <laughs> I don't know. Chicken's gone. Lady Branya's inaugural address will begin soon. You shouldn't have said that, she by the way. She asked me to pass on her invitation to you. Now I'm craving KFC. Uh huh. That's sooner than I expected. Is she well enough to? Yeah, yeah. She's Not workaholic. Really. But Lady Branya insisted on delivering the speech as soon as possible. She wants the people to understand what happened. Fair. The address will be held at Everwinter Monument. I hope the three of you can find time to attend. We're attending it right now, let's go. Branya couldn't have, couldn't choose any better candidate than Branya for this. Only if we could climb walls. No way! I'll sue you. <laughs> Go to Venice or your driver is fine by Salmon Pai. Hey, it's Look, not Salmon Pai. It was his driver who was driving. Looks like it. 
Grania hasn't arrived yet, though. We waiting? All right. That was Clara, right? Hug! Did you see that, Clara? A super, super big steel monster just ran through <laughs> I don't think that's a monster. Mr. Sparrow did It's called the train. The name! The important thing is I saw what it can do. It has a huge appetite and swallows people whole. <laughs> and it just so happens to be the mole's next target. <laughs> we'll defeat the iron monster and save the people in its tummy. I swear some of the craziest things I happen on I your street. I think that's how it works. I don't know what you're talking about. It's the most normal stream of all time. Okay, I don't care about anybody else. Guards! Formation! Huh? Citizens of Bellabog, I kindly ask for your attention. Lady Branya Rand's I mean, inaugural so chicken. address ah. will begin shortly. Please remain orderly. The chicken was my alt. I saw you on a chucky, but... Serp, why did you destroy the moment? Serp, why did you destroy it? You know, you could have let us live in this world where we believe in coincidences. Where we believe that the magic is in the air. Where we believe that there is the bigger universe that is looking after us and somehow creating these tiny, tiny miracles around us, reminding us constantly that there is someone out there looking above us, looking for us. And here you are, destroying that with one statement. People of Bellabong, hear me. Today we gather here to celebrate our victory, but it was a sacrifice made by a mighty guardian that delivered us this opportunity. She dispelled an evil that cost us 700 years of suffering. And in the process, she paid the ultimate price. The sacrifice of Kokolia Rand ushers in a new chapter. The blizzard beyond the walls will die away, and the offensives of our Silvermane guards will begin to contain the Fragmentum's advance. In the far north, I witnessed with my own eyes the struggle between the late Supreme Guardian and the evil power that sought to destroy us. In her last moments, the Supreme Guardian told me her greatest regret. Which is? The order to seal off the underworld from the overworld. With the passage of time, she gradually came to realize the consequences of that decision. Sure, sure she did. Although tortured with guilt, what kind of chicken, your honey? What kind of chicken? How is it cooked? Like, are we talking like Jamaican style chicken? Are we talking like very British style chicken? Are we talking about fried chicken? What are we talking? In her final Rotisserie. moments, oh. she wanted us to mark the Stellaron's end by reuniting Bellabog. Overworlders and underworlders must Not chicken. embrace it doesn't the matter dawn now. of a new age. Sarp, it Together. doesn't matter now. You have destroyed it. People of the underworld, I dare not ask for your forgiveness. Not, not, sir. I now you've know the reality it. of your decade of suffering. Are we not even gonna stand in front of her while she gives the speech? What kind of assholes we are? If my friend's giving speech and she's like, hey, come on. I would actually be in front of her listening to her speech, not outside, lost in my books, or drinking a drink while not even paying attention to her. But I want us to work together. We know that without your perseverance and hard work, Bellabog will not recover its former glory. And the seed of civilization will not be preserved. And on that note, I'd like to extend my heartfelt gratitude to a few guests of the city. Most of you... We're not aware of their arrival. But it is thanks to them that our world now flourishes with hope. Aww. They made me realize that while we remain focused on preserving the ground beneath our feet, we should not forget to look up into the sky. 
I firmly believe that with the determination of everyone, our world, the world the Trailblazers call Yarilo Six, will no longer be alone among the stars. Aww, that is such a cool thing to say. But before we accomplish that goal, I humbly ask you to follow me into the future. Wait a minute, who is that? Oh, that's silly. I, Bronya Rand, the 19th guardian of Bellabog. Hereby take my oath. God damn it, Bronya! So fucking cool. Lady Bronya. Lady Bronya. Long live Bellabog! Good job, Bron. Man, look at her. Absolute badass. Bronya, we're back. March. Don Hung. And you. It's wonderful you made it to the address. Sorry, I know the invitation was very last minute. But I needed to get the news out as soon as possible. The longer people waited, the more rumors started to swirl. The situation risked spinning out of control. Fair. Was Silly not there for the address? I saw her. She was right there. Are you fully recovered? Yes, I'm fine now, don't worry. My mother, she tried to force the voice of the Stellaron into my head. It was a terrible feeling. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't shown up. That was some speech, Branya. If I had to talk like that in front of a huge crowd, I'd be shaking head to toe. I don't know if I trust that. She's anything but a big mouth. It was all just a bunch of palatable lies. I hope you never have a similar experience, March. The part about preserving the seed of civilization was real. It's what you know as a leader that matters. Sometimes people need to hear white lies. I prefer to be honest with the people. But I also want to preserve their hope. Don Hung, wanna talk about Mr. Yang's findings? <laughs> Allow me to explain. Telling Bronya about Bell's observation. Which means... The Fragmentum has already taken root by this point. Even though the Stellaron is sealed, we won't be able to reverse the damage immediately. The chicken is busted. What was the... What, what kind of uh, uh, flavoring was on it? Like herbs or um, barbecue? Sorry, we promise you. No, no need for apologies. You've gone out of your way to save this world. You nearly lost your life. I have no right to ask for more. Aww. Besides, I agree with Mr. Yang. Ultimately, the fate My of Bellabog is, is in the hands of flavoring. its own people. <laughs> <laughs> but come on, your dad must know some flavors. Um, we will find a way to root out the Fragmentum. Astral Express will do everything within our power to help. In that case, as a leader, I must give you a promise ah, of the same weight. Okay. We will hold out with everything we have until the day you Trailblazers return. Even if it takes another 700 years, will you be alive? the children of Yarilo Six will look up to the sky with hope in their hearts. Ah. So long, my friends. May the preservation bless your journey. Congrats! That was one heck of a f It so was! On scale 1 to 5, how would you rate this Five. journey? Half? What? That run of the mill, huh? My scoring criteria are different from yours. Abdul Kabai, hi, me hi, me new sub. Serp, is that your alt account too? Abdul Kabai. Me came to gift watch and a small bag. Okay. Uh, anyway, Welcome, we should I'm... be asking you. We already you had share? one person create two uh, fake account. Why do I feel like or two alt account? Why do I feel like you're also alt of Serp? Considering Serp just entered with his second alt few second few minutes ago, suddenly we have new one. I don't know. 
I don't know. I have my suspicion. I have suspicion on Abdul Kabhai. I had suspicion on Abdul's brother. Nah, that ain't in my lot. No. I don't know. I don't know, Serp. I don't know. You have destroyed my trust in, in humanity. Time for a nap. I feel like I could fight a hundred more monsters. <laughs> That's the spirit. Let's go. Let's go. No. Provide the viewer with various special stats. Gain bonus if viewer has completed the set equipment. I'm sorry, what did I just get? Oh! Oh shit! Okay. Interesting. Yeah, this equally challenges us. I have left a cool Maya watch and small bag at your doorstep. Years for us. At my doorstep? Uh, Alright. Here we are. Everwinter Monument. Photo time. Can't believe without a mountain of evidence and five witnesses to back it oh, up. Kayla and Hook are here too. What's Let's Nafi? Let's make sure we get them in the background. Yeah, whatever you are, whatever the Nafi is. That's, I don't know what that, what that reference is either. Maybe we could try for a cleaner composition of this one. Good idea. Let's show them the photos of uh, your den. All right. Where's Hook? There's Hook. Let's take Hook's photo. Let's oh, we go! Seen oh. Serval since we got back. Man, I just oh, wanna go to the next planet. Shop. Nafi's a person. You can find him on Taragolet stream. Being a shameless liar. Fair, Is there... fair. Didn't your parents tell you to not before? Hey! <laughs> it's you three! Oh, come on in! I was... How have you been, big sister? Miss Serval's workshop is amazing! There are all kinds of things! Bro, we went to Overworld and she still didn't find a shoe. Miss Serval. What is happening to your eyes? Oh, smokes! Clara I'm is sitting like a weird. Well-mannered kid. Meanwhile, the architect's children are still calling me auntie. These and are camera sensitive. Old. And over over the course of, what is the name of your account? Oh, yeah, I gotta change it. It's because uh, it's because I left it on my stream to name the account. I said whoever comments first, I will get, I'll put their name. And then one person commented balls, the other person commented whack at the same time on stream. So it became that. I'll change it now. Photo. <laughs> Photo. Oh. Over here, Clara. Wanna learn some cool poses? You set up for yourself. You set yourself up for failure, Cuckoo. I agree. That would be on me. D didn't you just say cool poses and this is what we get? That's fine. Yeah! There's gotta be a better shot than this one. What do you mean? Um, I was trying really hard not to blink. <sighs> we shouldn't have trusted an amateur. Hey! Never mind. At least it's memorable. Huh? You're leaving so soon? Gotta see the next island. Next I planet. Well, this photo will always be close cool to my poses heart. Cool poses as we walk in Roblox to animation. <laughs> what do you mean? Do you, not, do you not do cool Big poses sister, for pictures? March, Dunhung. The most drippiest pose drop down. Safe Damn, travels. I know. If you have time, she was please come back and visit attention, me Attention, not Sparrow. even stand at ease. Attention. How old were you before you realized that in that <sighs> parade they said stand at ease rather than stand at ease? Last me a while. I didn't even know for the longest time what they said. It was, I was like, I don't know, I was like 14, 15 when I realized that they actually say stand at ease. I haven't taken any photo of myself in like years. Last time I took my own picture would have been last week. Time to head back to the Goethe Hotel for a good night's sleep. Yes, I'm obsessed with how I look. <sighs> It's very we nice. We can sleep when we're back on the express. Not so fast. 
last time we were here, that evil Madam Guardian interrupted us before we'd gotten the most out of our luxury... You know what? Fair. Fair. Don't you... Come on. Himeko and Mr. Yang are grown. Besides, don't you want to chit-chat with the locals now that Bellabog is full of life again? I don't. If we chat with them, then it'll be like saying a goodbye. Then they'll forget about us. If we just leave without saying anything, then they'll remember us that damn, they said they left without even saying a goodbye. I took lost one of myself, I guess, a month ago after when I woke up, I'm just leaving and my hair is really looking great. And since I lost, what is that? Let's, okay, okay, okay. Man to man, let's talk about this. I wake up, I go to the mirror. My hairs are on fleek. They're like so good. They're like so nice. Like everything is just so amazing. And then I take a shower and then doesn't matter. I can spend hours and hours and not recreate that hairstyle for a whole day. It's never that same ever again. And until I sleep again. And then again, they look great. What hairs, Cuckoo? I'll have you know, I've been growing long hairs, long beard and mustache. All in. All in. Let's sleep and hopefully nobody wakes us up. At the end of your journey, all that perplexes you and troubles you will resolve. Huh. That voice was very anticlimactic. Oh, it was a Sample! close thing, all right. Good thing it dawned on me. Hey, Sampo doesn't have to be a protagonist, Damn. right? <laughs> the likes of us are better suited to... I'm gonna need to, a source uh, to back it up. Shadowy comic relief. All right, eh? all right. Go on Discord later. Turns out the Astral Express crew is more fun than I expected. <laughs> you, you liked it? Really? <laughs> Who is he talking you so. to? No, no. I'm in no hurry to leave. <laughs> ah, it's Kafka. Uh, what? Oh, Epsilon? <laughs> What fun depression hit me some time ago when I now my hair's clumped fair mess. like that. That depression hit me True too, but happiness you know, always you know, entails the cool manifestation of the dignity of mankind. You know, I just look now, depressed and cool at the same time. I live by. I'm considering just shaving and going bald and wearing a wig for a few months. Get him all colored. Get him all colored. Well, bye for now. Send my regards to the guys and girls in the tavern. Oh, and don't forget to say that Sampo Kaski will catch them for the next one. Time to make my curtain call. What is it talking about? To you, my dear audience, I dedicate my performance. I wonder, did I bring a little more joy into your lives? What is it talking about? You don't have to answer that. But if the answer is no, then you'll break my heart. We should be getting back to the Express. Time to find March and Dunhung. Morning! How did you sleep? I'm full of energy myself. Nice. I slept full of energy. Yeah, like nearly a few days later, those hairs I felt like going belt. Na 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 na. Uh, actually, yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, yeah, I had to like trim my hairs really short before I like started growing it all out. Full length. I dreamed about Sampo. You poor thing. I'll go check the lunar calendar. <laughs> Today might be unlucky. I still feel my hair might be a bit better uh, if I go completely bald. Boiled potato. Now nah, I'm growing, I'm growing full on long hairs. Inspired from the movie Animal. Full on long hairs. Did you get Himiko's message? It's time to go. The conductor will nag us again if we put the express behind schedule. <sighs> yeah, yeah. All right. Is everybody here to say bye to us? 
They better be waving at us as we leave. Cool, yeah. So yeah, that kind of long hair, beard, mustache, I'm going growing all in. Nice city. It's like monster. Uh, oh, I am supposed to go that way. Well, good night, good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Bye, sir. Thanks for joining. Look at that car. The first car that I've seen. Here we are at last. Hmm. Nothing lasts Bye, forever. Bye, sir. Leave. Yep. Priorities? What do you mean? Are you saying rebuilding the underworld isn't one of your priorities? Uh, of course not. I I'm just saying we have limited assets and we need new parameters. Assets? Parameters? You sure love your fancy words. Ugh, forget it. Leave it to me. I'll go down myself. <gasps> Come on, Sila. I won't leave you to- Look! Branya! There'll be plenty of difficulties waiting for them, right? Yes. Their future is filled with even more uncertainty than ours. But we will prevail here. They're even fighting already? God like damn. Go on forever. <laughs> they won't go on forever if I win them. <laughs> Who said the last part? Damn, a lover's quarrel already. I know! I'm like, we just solved the world crisis. Welcome home, you three. You love... Hi! Aren't I uh, glad to see Kimiko, you? Kimiko, Mr. Yang! Team Trailblaze back from duty. Mission one accomplished. Let's go. Did you see that? Throughout the weekend, Cuckoo already covered planet one. That is right. I did it. What are your thoughts on it? Speedrun? Hell yeah. Although Welt and I didn't get the chance to go with you, I can tell you worked hard to bring things back to normal. Well done, everybody. And especially you. I heard a lot of good things about you. You're welcome. Piece of cake. How would you rate my performance? I'd say it's a solid five stars. Get some rest on the express. Your Relo 6 was not an easy ride. Pom Pom is of the opinion that we should leave as soon as possible to avoid potential resurgences of the anomalies we experienced earlier. Himiko and no I agree. Noah's back! Hey, I know Noah! Which means we need to decide where our next destination is. And that's Let's right. Let's go to next planet! That's the which path is? of the nameless, I presume. Oh. Uh, I'm not complaining, by the way. One adventure after another? That's exactly what I signed up for. Six hour stream. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like March has fallen in love with the way of the nameless. That's good to hear. Why my eyes get closed every time I look at the screen? Why is this bullshit? Okay, it's good now. I think. I don't know. Okay. You can head back to your rooms. I know. Night. Long streams, or right? What happened to Cuckoo Channel? Coffee, I went from no like. stream to like four, six hours of stream on I'll weekends. I'll head back to my room then. Talk about getting getting my stream schedule together. <sighs> there I was thinking this guy would gradually open up. We Next need to planet. Give him some time, March. I think he treasures the time spent with you guys. Why? Oh, if I read subtitles, then my eyes come slow. So I need to make this my normal. Wait, looking at subtitles. He's a normal. Okay, so that should be now better. About your battle to sleep. against Just the Supreme Guardian All right, and good the night. whole Stellarun good situation. Night, no, well, thanks for dropping you must by. have a lot of unanswered questions, I suppose. While you were away, Weld and I did some research and came to some interesting conclusions. Let me know if you want to ask about anything. Uh, home what? sweet home. Mr. Yang and he make The express crew tread upon the trailblaze. We travel between worlds. Roy's getting his stream like deuce clear. I know, the universe right? is vast beyond our imagination. It's a miracle that our paths converge. The fact that we get to know and travel with each other, 
can only be seen as the design. Thank you for being my companion. The stories of I'll do my Atta best Sarah to answer any questions. Maybe better than maybe better than maybe better than Genshin. Not gonna lie. I'd like to talk about the battle with Kokolia. Can Hero 6 go back to whatever it was like the Veselrein? Don't care about it. What happened to Sterilon? I kind of care about that. It's virtually impossible no to destroy Stellaron. No one even heard I found a way to break his structure. The best you can no do is one. prevent Not even from when the flowing. Supreme Guardian was defeated. The Stellaron that had been transmitting energy to her exposed its weakness. Okay. That's about all we can do. But this brief window should allow the people on this... I'd like to talk about battle with Kokolia. Sure. Oftentimes, those who are involved in historic events don't... About the path of preservation. Uh, I was meant to thank you for support. Nah, don't care about it. About path of preservation. The path of preservation is known for their... Indifference. Become zealot, like Unless you become a zealot, like the determined to preserve the world they loved, the architects held on for hundreds of years. But as the fragmentum huh. and one, one particular guardian, what is the Kolia thing on your neck? It looks awfully the like a preservation gear. altogether. In contrast, you stood your ground and proved your faith in the Amber Lord. My lawyers has asked me to not to respond to that question. Judging by how the battle turned out, Klopoth responded to your wish. There it is whatever you think it is. It is a Stellaron. There's no doubt about that. What I've gathered so far, on the flip side, sure, ask away. You're most well. Hey, Belt. You got anything? So, your first trailblazing expedition. Be it joy Boys or pain, or success or regret, it's all part of the journey. It seems you have something on your mind. Let's hear. The fragmentum and the eternal freeze. Will it disappear? Don't care about it. I relay a view on Stellar's effect to Bronya. This mission would have been much easier if you were there. Don't care about that either. <laughs> Is that so? I remember a distant. This goes to show. Okay, Likewise. Thanks. Okay, bye, Kuku. Bye, honey. Yep. Bye, Noah. What am I turning on? Oh. Pom pom. You got goodies for me, boy. Well, pom pom, we're back. Shh. Checking Star Rail's to be good. This spatial readout. Star rail stability keeps rising. The numbers have stabilized. Oh, welcome back to the express. How's my express doing? Oops, forgot to bring a souvenir. Yeah. Uh, don't worry about it. Bye, Noah. Your real 06 probably doesn't have anything worth buying, but don't. Wow, looking down on whole planet. It's like, your real 06, that planet doesn't have anything. Thanks to you, Entire the planet space is shit. is healing up. And as for the coaches. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Thank you. The destination will be announced at the net. For now, get some rest. The destination for now, get some rest. Right away. To avoid encountering the anomalies for your safety, please don't leave your seat until the. All right, let's get out. Bronya has become visitor to Express. You might come across Bronya when you return to the Express. Celia has become the visitor to Express. You might cross Celia when you return to Express. Really. Pom pom, first give me some shit. Yeah! 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 What's wrong? What do you mean? The lights aren't just seem dull, I should consult someone on this. Uh, you just right in time, please offer your unbiased answer to my question. Do you think the lights are too dull? I like them. Thank you. I think so too. Marsha has been complaining. Okay. Try the disco colorway, melancholy colorway, try the natural colorway. I don't know, looks the same. How about melancholy colorway? So this versus looks exactly the same bro what are you talking about okay so let's do some wishes and let's head on to the next planet oh <gasps> 
time to do a lot of vicious. All right. All right, 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 all right. First, we will save. Yes. And now we wish. Come on. Something good. A nice four star cone would be nice too for Akron. Which I don't think any of them is. Sad psych of disappointment. I know, not even a character. Not even a character. Person could be like, oh, at least you can have a good character. No, not even a character, man. Did I get a new light cone for you by any chance? No. Not a single light cone for this. God damn it. Okay, let's sit. Oh, it's about time we hit the road, passengers. Pom -pom Let's go. Let's go. My stomach hurt. Is it from me eating all the food? Oh? Hmm. Oh my! Oh my God! Everything looks kind of sexy. What the hell? Benching. Yes, General. Watch this person carefully. <gasps> Do you remember me? I remember. Of five people, three must pay a price. <laughs> you are not one of them, Jin Yuan. <laughs> Five people, three must pay a price. You are one of them. I have regrets. Oh, Hold me on. too. Uh, of life, of you? eating more, what are you talking definitely about? definitely sleeping in. We trailblazers can go days without sleep. But when we do hit the hay, we have to make up for it. Anyway. The conductor wants us to attend a warp navigation meeting. Same old location, apparently. Let's head over. You drew the short straw. It's your turn to wash the coffee cups this week. I want to be a trailblazer. Sounds like a great job. All right, Hime, what Morning. are we doing? You're very punctual. Punctual is my middle name. I'm reporting Dan Hank for- Ah, uh, no need to worry. Don Hank's yeah. situation is special. The trailblazing of Eurelo 6 is drawn to a close. I forgot about uh, and I have the Astral Express than I used must to. depart for the next planet. Then I was a small child. Same, I could eat so much as a child. What's the next planet Not like? Not telling yet. Well, the Aww. meeting will start. Okay, let's start the meeting. I want to get on to the next planet. I'm so excited to check Passengers, it out. The work navigation meeting has officially begun. Firstly, Pom Pom wants to congratulate you, the nameless for successfully resolving the problems at this stop. The Express is now able to continue along the Star Rail. Uh -huh. The three of us actually pulled it off, huh? Next one. It's time for your conductor, <clears throat> that's me, to reveal the it's name of our next as a stop. If I wanted to. God damn, that much? Long time no see, Astral <gasps> Express crew. It's Kafka. Such a sexy voice. All right. It's I came Kafka. at a good time. You're all here. Every single one. No need for the mysterious introduction, Stellaron Hunter. <laughs> Himiko, 
Correct. She's so sexy, man. What the hell? Apologies for interrupting your little get together, but I'm sure once you've heard my request, you'll forgive me. You're I'd already like forgiven. You to make a destination alteration. <laughs> I've seen your face before, Stellaron Hunter. That entry Even if it was only on a corporation wanted poster. They were offering quite the bounty. Dead or alive. She is so Do you know hot. The what the hell? What is that attitude? Doesn't concern me. Then she gives again, me Harley Quinn vibes. The corporation bounty is a compliment, not an insult, don't you think? The higher the figure, the bigger the compliment. Who's her voice actor? Cause goddamn. You wanted criminals sure know how to look on the bright side of things. I will say, Herta certainly paid you all a compliment. A maniac that claims he can see destiny, leading a bunch Coffee of wild lunatics in we pursuit of the it. most dangerous objects in the universe. And Herta doesn't give out compliments very often. She looks so psychopath! Man, I love that! She's such a psychopath looking character. I fucking love this. In pursuit of the most dangerous objects in the universe, huh? Well, in that sense, you astral expressors and I are cut from the same cloth. You're in the wrong place, Kafka. We're not about to accept your request, and we're not about to get into bed with a Stellaron hunter. Hey, 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 wait a minute. Talking with you. Hey! Perhaps next time you'll be willing to pay us a visit in person, and we can continue our little discussion. Don't speak on everybody's behalf. What is that we're not about to get into bed with the Stellaron hunter? Wait a minute. Let's not talk on everybody's behalf. We have our freedom of opinion. Himeko. Have you guys heard of the Law Fu? The Sienjo Lawfu? It belongs to the Hexa fleet of the Sienjo Alliance. We've heard of it. Yeah, we're not about to get into bed this island. Who is this V? Yeah, don't speak on my behalf. Hmm, but what you haven't heard is that it's currently very close to you. A couple of warp jumps away, in fact. And? Not to mention, 45 system hours ago, a Stellaron burst occurred on the Lafu. He's speaking French now, didn't know we were in French. An unexpected <laughs> calamity. I see what Don't you did there. What exactly are you Stellaron hunters trying I'll to do? I'll use that on somebody the else. The Cienjo Alliance aren't us. They won't give you time to explain. Once you draw uh, the attention of the hunt, you become their prey. The Alliance I am will hunt you to the end of the universe. Stop speaking in riddles, Kafka. Say what you have to say. It's simple. That Stellaron has nothing to do with us, but the Sienjo is convinced that we're responsible. My companion, Blade, has been taken away by the Cloud Knights. I want to bring him back, resolve this Stellaron crisis, and clear our names. Nothing to do with you? Yeah, right. Sounds like a weird coincidence to me. You just happen I can't recognize to show an attractive up after the Stellaron one. burst? Yeah. And besides, I'm more simple for you and her ex piece. Also, we're not your friends. Why should we care if a Stellaron hunter is innocent, hmm? We should seal the Stellaron and help Swang Shu. Maybe we can sell our friendship to Stellaron hunter. <laughs> Maybe we can sell our friendship to Stellaron hunter. She looks nice. She looks nice. No! Why are we listening to her? Hey. The Alliance is strong. Is a single Stellaron burst really too much for them to handle? We're the crew of the Astral Express, not some squad of Stellaron stealing super specialists. I'm lost in the Nice. You could, of course, not get involved. Knowing that the Stellaron hasn't yet affected this region of space, you could make the jump and arrive at the next world. But sooner or later, the star rail here will be more blocked off than it was before. I can tell you what the future holds. If you don't go to the Lawfu, the Stellaron will eventually contaminate the entire ship, and over half of the inhabitants will perish. Well, clearly, uh... 
clearly uh, we know where we are going. Oh, has spoken. you brave and fearless trailblazers. You but this companion of yours, Blade, he perished too, right? No comment. Here are the coordinates. It's up to you how to proceed. Our destinations may differ, but the orbits of the stars will eventually converge. See you later. Damn. Didn't know Kafka was an opposition side. <sighs> March. I thought Get Kafka was with us because of the beginning, how the starting started. Alright, clear apparently my name is March because I'm the one getting done huh? Whoa, what are you doing here? We aren't going to march uh France anymore. We were supposed to, but now it has changed because mommy has spoken. Hmm. I gave him the lowdown. Hey, remember what I said, okay? We're gonna vote against it. I'm not gonna take orders from that woman. Have you seen her? I'm taking orders from that woman. I'm heading to sleep. Uh, I'm heading to sleep with Jeopardy. You CEO. okay, Don Hung? Bye. March brought you up to speed, I assume. Bye, Venti. Thank you for dropping by. Yeah. Man, why is nobody asking for my opinion? That guy has two zips on his collar? That is... Why is nobody doing that? That's a great idea. <clears throat> I'm fine. And yes, it's so aesthetic. I'm up to speed. Good. In that case, with regard to the matter at hand, let's vote to decide our next move. It'll be on us. Our Stellaron hunter claims that a Stellaron burst has a... However, it's also possible that our Stellaron hunter is lying and using us for her own ends. So, we're about to hold a democratic vote on whether to set a course for the Sien Zhou. All those in favor? Hold out your hand. Three, two, one. Hands up. Four against one. Well, it looks like the Astral Express crew has a majority vote to head for the Sien Zhou. Wasn't March against us? Yeah, didn't you say you're voting against us? <sighs> I calmed down and thought about it a bit. If it turns out that woman isn't lying, then a lot of innocent what people are, are gonna get hurt. Wait a minute! Now's the time for thinking about other people. <laughs> what a toothfish! <laughs> Alright. You're so capricious, whatever that means, yeah. Don't smile at me! All right, all right. I think we're all used to marches. She couldn't resist to Kafka either. Yeah, she's trying to be like all tough and whatnot, but Kafka got her. She's like, mm, on second thought, if I'm gonna see her. So, Don Hong, you want to stay here? Yes. I'm staying this time. In that case, Welt, ready for a trailblazing expedition? I know you've been itching to get out there for a while now. But make sure you take good care of the two of them. When will Himeko join us? Don't worry. Destination Sienjo, here we come! I just realized, what did you realize? The train is about to make the jump. Let's go! Four, three, two, Where did the store two, food in National Express? One. That's what Pump Up to worry about. This is the next planet? That looks badass! Wow! So that's a Sienjo ship? Oh, it's a it ship! It looks even bigger than Yurilo 6! For the Sienjo, these ships are their planets. Oh. Terrestrial environments are cradles that allow civilizations to survive and then develop. Some of those civilizations progress further, constructing spacefaring vessels, which allow them to voyage into the unknown. I've only glimpsed it a few times, but as magnificent as I remember. You okay there? <sighs> this is the Astral Express. I repeat, this is the Astral Express. We have arrived in Sienjo territory. Requesting landing permission from ground control. From the bridge, I mean. Welcome to Lawful 
Skyport. Starskiven. Wow, bro. Get better internet. Please await transfer. Please wait transfer. Please wait transfer. Sounds like one of the automatic customer service number. <sighs> Something's not right. The signal is still repeating, but no one is guiding us into dock. Maybe the Stellaron hunters were telling the truth. A vessel arrives at a deserted spaceport. Isn't that how, like, loads of horror movies start? Let's not let our imaginations get the better of us. My wife had been out, been it been out for six months. Be like, Please wait, that happened. Please wait, transfer. Please wait, transfer. Please wait, transfer. Uh, still waiting. Still the automated signal. Yes, it's still on repeat. Six months. What did oh, you do? There we go. The Jade Gate now opening. On behalf of the Sianjo La Fu, welcome guests from afar. I won't. We Please won't like this place. Clearly, they have no huh? internet. Is this still automated? Oh my god, off of the Fox signal Fox. broke off. And a dream. Seems Damn. that's all there is. We should get going. Himiko, stay vigilant back here on the exp Relax. I've got Don Hung here with me. Damn, she's not getting comfy with Don Hung. Trailblazers, assemble! Make sure you're properly prepared before you set off. I'm ready. Took my mommy six months to get off our ass to do something. Before we set off, I need to clarify the aim of this journey with you. I'm listening. Mom, if you see this, please don't kill me. Well, if, if mothers are falling, Cuckoo Community, I, I don't know what this channel has become then. The Stellaron Hunters have given us a lot to consider, and a lot to doubt. But the most important part of this expedition is Sampling the local delicacies, getting to know people, the Stellaron. But I'll be fine, she's white. Precisely. Damn! The Stellaron hunters clearly Damn. have ulterior motives. Fair. However, if have, knowing if, if what they're mother. all about, and Ooh. given the African focus of mother. Kafka's words, Ooh. I have no doubt that the Sienjo is dealing with a Stellaron. They go for physical damage, man. All the artifacts, physical damage buffs. The Alliance and the Express haven't had any previous dealings, so our arrival might not receive the warmest welcome. Substats. But as trailblazers, substats. we're not in this for fame or gain. Substats just of need to physical damage, and then their substat is the high crit, eliminate emotional the damage, Disaster. Emotional damage, substat, and the worst substat that Asian parents have. Passive aggressive attack. Always keep that in mind. And don't forget the they'll way never of tell the you directly blaze. what's wrong, but Explore, they'll be passive aggressive about everything. Establish and connect. Yeah! Let's go. She has high emotional over Nelly when she snaps at me. Why is she weird? God damn. Ah, I need to get some coffee. Whoa! That's a weird place. Oh, look. It's just containers as far as the eye can see. Yeah, what happened? Did the did my graphics not render? This area Why is it Roblox? Isn't for receiving guests. It's for unloading cargo. Who decided to send us this way? Such a huge port and not a soul in sight. It gives me the creeps. Didn't think we are playing Roblox. Huh. Ah, stop talking. If there is someone here, they're in my bad books already. Mr. Yang, what should we do? We should start with the person who opened the Jade Gate. If it turns out they're not friendly, then at least they've already made things easier for us. If it turns out they were just doing their job, then we can... Pretty decisive. Let's That's go. That's Mr. Yang. This is child's play for him. He's dealt with. Let's move. Keep your wits about you. Damn. We should get Velt as a trial character for this. Wait, I already have Velt. What am I talking about? Doesn't matter. I don't know how I feel about this. I was so excited to be like, oh, what does the next planet look like? Mr. Yang, someone's hurt. <gasps> 
You're hurt, son. March, use your six-phased ice to stop the bleeding. I'm on it. This area, let's I didn't use it, but the bro forgot he is dog. Hey! I'm in for others. <laughs> what about kind of enemies? Okay, they have buildings. Not everything is squares. Uh, there are wounded everywhere. The silver lining is that I'm guessing the Sienjo must have evacuated the port immediately, leaving the. Wonder what happened here. Careful. We've never seen this kind of life form before. Awaiting orders, Mr. Yang. Stream four. Unbelievable. I forgot it's I had servo. I was about to Fall press back. E with servo. I was about to press They're E with servo. I was like, oops. We've already lost them. Pleasure. What do you mean? But are you thanking us or kidding yourself? She's not dead! Still water the fuck? What? They can heal themselves? Answer me. You want spoilers? No. No. <laughs> No spoilers. Just for oblivion. No. Man, they can heal themselves. That's just bullshit. Just. Just a little something. Let's This is the first battle, and it's already tough. <laughs> Miss Ting Yun, the Mara struck have been repelled by. They can heal themselves there could be other dangers later nearby. On. Uh... The situation is serious. Yeah! Allow us to escort you back to the Skyfaring Commission. Calm down, I heard you. Ting It'd Yun. be rude of me to depart without thanking our benefactors. Oh, she's such a cute foxtail, too. My name is Ting Yun. I'm the Amicassador for the Law Fu Skyfaring Commission Merchant Guild. May I venture to know the illustrious names of my heroes? <laughs> illustrious names? Uh, sure. I'm March 7th. This is Mr. Yang. Oh, Mr. Welt Yang. And this is... I'm a galactic baseballer. <laughs> what a heroic sounding name! Yeah! Oh, don't mind her. She likes to get a little creative with hey. her introduction. Uh, just trying to avoid ending up on another wanted list. Uh, next time, why not remind me before I give up my name? <laughs> I see. Well, thank you for coming to our aid. Although, there is one thing I don't understand. Starskiff Haven is under lockdown, since none of you are Sienjo residents. May I ask how you came to be here? If you can't offer an explanation, I'm afraid these Cloud Knights will have to escort you out. Uh, we called for port transfer and got no response, but then someone opened the Jade Gate for us. When we arrived, there was no one to be found, so we started to make our own way through. How can that be? My ship was the last one into port before the Jade Gate was shut. The Skyfaring Commission has already locked down Starskiff Haven entirely. We're telling the truth. You could verify it yourself by checking the access history of the Jade Gate. We, we found a strange ourselves when the gate opened, but no one came to greet us. Hmm. You're with the Astral Express. Yeah! You've heard of us? Indeed I have. Oh, you've arrived at a bad time. The Sienjo has suffered an incident. 
Whether you're here for leisure, treatment, or trade, I'm afraid you won't be able to go through with it. For your safety, you should hurry to Central Starskiff Haven and take refuge. I'll take you to Madame Yukong of the Skyfaring Commission and let her decide how to proceed. Eh. We caught wind of the incident you mentioned. That's why we're here. Is she a Ms. bad Tingling. person? What do you mean? They know. The I don't want to know, but I'm also curious now. What did you mean by those who know, those who didn't know? <laughs> your actions have already revealed your kind hearts to me. Uh, sadly, I can't make you any promises. Your Man, my old account, which got deleted, had so many four-star characters. So many four-star characters. It had her as well. It had... I don't think this four... Is it four-star? I... Either I had her, or I had somebody else who had fox, uh, fox ears and fox tails. I do remember having a character who has fox ears and fox tails, but I don't know if it was her or somebody else. I'm pretty sure she looks like it was her. Oh, don't worry. Madame Yukong is kind-hearted too. Come on. Those monsters. Why have we stopped? Don't worry, miss. I have a favor to ask. Already? A favor? Count me out. I shouldn't have doubted you. Please accept my apologies. Our yeah. The soldiers stationed here must have moved these into a roadblock. She was the only one who had fox ears and initial result game. Yep, that I had her. Yeah, yeah, I'd I had like her. To see us try. <laughs> They're extremely... Not that I'm doubting your skill. If I'm not mistaken, the containers in the Trove of Verdure can be moved around using a control pick. You've right. already put on quite the show. Do you think you'll be able to find and operate the control... Sure. <laughs> I knew it. We just need to pass through here. She... More I'm talking to her. You know, it could you be just sound what sweet enough, said. but you were talking about getting us escorted away by your cloud knights. If it weren't for Mr. Yang... You misunderstand. If you were in my shoes right now, wouldn't you want to keep your guard up? Ah, uh, true. But we came here to trailblaze, not jailblaze. Ah! She was the only one who had fox here. You marry her and have her kids. All right, sounds like a deal to me. You laugh, but sounds like a good deal to me. You mentioned the Stellaron. You work for the Skyfaring Commission, so I assume you're aware of its destructive power. Yes, I am. As an Amicassador, I've been to many planets and seen my fair share of Stellaron corrosion. I don't know how I like this place. The other one was better. Also, if the normal boss is at level 36, what... What is coming up next? Get ready, and watch your backs. Leave it to me! Bring forth gleam of old... Bing bot, commit using your hands. The force will twist all night. I'm okay. Neck to face, and I'm back I'm sorry, what? No. The measure of Bing Bong, commit using your hand to forcefully twist one neck to face Turn it up. I see. You can fight it or rock with it. Zero points. The still waters of oblivion. <laughs> Again. A miracle. I see. Keep up. Man, stop healing yourself. <laughs> I feel like I need to build my characters a lot 
for this one. Not gonna lie. Turn it up. I think I need to do a lot of a lot of farming for this. Just a little something. Knowledge, the measure of truth and falsehood. Playing for a play. not Doki Doki Literature Free. Free. This is the other game that I have to play at some point. Oh, finally! Look how many tail hairs I lost on the way! Oh, my beautiful tail! We had a difficult start, but things got easier. Look, that's the barge I was talking about. Why is she talking like that? Anyone got a license for this thing? Don't fret. All Amicassiters and I was perfectly calm until she volunteered to help. <laughs> Please take your seats, everyone. All right. Oh! 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 Okay, okay. Some curves to the city, I like it. Not everything is blocky. I like it, I like it. On behalf of the Skyfaring Commission, allow me to welcome you to Starskiff Haven. You know what? It's getting better. On the Sienjo Lafu, anything relating to aviation, navigation, and trade falls within the scope of the Skyfaring Commission, which is one of the six commissions of the Lafu. As the biggest port on the ship, Starskiff Haven is governed by the Skyfaring Commission, too. You definitely sound like a... Some cups to see, but uh, what exactly what she what oh, she learned. Amy Cassiter. See, By there's like I one curve. Nice Look speech. at that. There's one curve over there. Not everything is blocky and Robloxy. That's too kind of there's you. There's more curves. My job involves ferrying business delegates to and from Starskiff Haven. There's so more curves. I do cur this no. kind of introduction all the time. Anyway, we're safe now. Normally, I'd be a good host and take you around, but these are difficult times. Let's head to the Palace of Astrum first. Madam Yukon, all right. Of Astrum? Right there, the tallest building in the city. It's also the headquarters of the Skyfaring Commission. Let's hurry. We all haven't right. got much time. Can we talk about it first? I want to just hurry. What do you mean? I don't mean to rush you, but if Madame Yukong holds me accountable for not getting you over soon enough, I wouldn't want to be around for the consequences. It sounds scary. We need to make a few preparations before paying a visit to any of the six commissions. Rest oh. assured, Miss Tingyun, we won't go anywhere. If you can inform Madame Yukong of our arrival first, we'll meet you at the palace entrance later. Very well. Okay. I don't understand why, but okay. <laughs> Little Miss Fox moves at quite the pace. Fox, I can't keep that's up with what her. she is. I've spent too long on the bench. Let's catch our breath for a while, huh? Yeah? We can expect a packed schedule ahead. She does. I was rushed. Yeah. Nice. Uh, let's look at the ground. That thing you need a sly one. That might be a little. She did the right thing. By not trusting us initially, we all we were all unknown quantity to her. As for rush, my guess is she's an eager just to get us out of the hair and further up the chain. No, all right. I you know what? She Makes is. Sense. 
Let me guess, they're gonna put us in the hotel first. Are you saying Madame Yukong is the new Madame Kokolia? No, the Sienjo Alliance is better than that. But Madame Yukong will definitely have... Why did we choose to come to the Sienjo now? How did we know that the incident is related to a Stellaron? Who careless answers mean distrust and potential hostility, which... Huh, All right. Crud. Uh, one of us is gonna blur something out or something wrong. I just know it. March 7th! We're talking about March 7th, right? Mr. Yang should do the talking. Shouldn't we plan it out what we want to say? Yeah, yeah, Mr. Yang should do the talking. Good idea. Let's March 7th, shut do up. That. Don't worry. We'll find a way through. Let me do the talking. Didn't I say that? I literally told you that. Benefactor, like to ask something. I'm very curious. Okay. Is Express really here to solve problem? Solve Sladron's problem? Yes. After our people who help others. Wait, who said that one? Is it really hard to understand? Can someone act the kindness of their heart? After all, people who thanking of attention risk doing When the higher up things were first started coming, they thought you were uh, either seek immortality or Stellaron. Immortality? Wait, we can have immortality on this planet? Okay. So what are we supposed to do now? Nice city! Kinda cool, kinda cool. I like it, I like it. Wait, how am I supposed to go then? I can't go this way, I can't go that way. Which way am I supposed to go? I see. Oh, there you are. Oh, you're here already. Sorry to keep you waiting. Madame Yukong is expecting you. Are you not? I've brought the Madame Helmmaster up to speed. It's okay. All right. Let's see who is this Yukong that she's talking Yes, madam. Report the losses to General Jing Yuan and find someone from the Divination Commission. Damn! Interesting deal with this mess. Damn! All right, all right, all right. Greetings, guests. From the Astral Express. Yeah. Okay. Ting Yun has informed me of the purpose of your visit. Receiving guests isn't normally one of my responsibilities. But since you know about the Stellaron and have stated that you want to help the Law Fu, I thought I should at least meet you in person and politely decline your proposal. Oh. Um. All right then. We'll be out of here. Nice chatting with you. Have a good one. Bye. The Sienjo Alliance knows what a Stellaron is, and is more than capable of handling it ourselves. We have been around for over 8,000 years, Damn. and weathered countless dangers and crises. While the situation is serious, we have more than enough resources to spare. Outsider help is not needed on this occasion. You are guests from afar. There is no reason for this matter to concern you. Am I making myself clear? From what we've gathered, the influence of the Stellaron can still be contained. If we can locate it in time and contain it, it's possible that we can restore any space and any individuals affected by the corrosion. We have experience in preventing Stellaron disasters, and we've only come here to lend you that experience. I've said this and I'll say it again. 
This is an internal affair of the Xianzhou huh. Alliance. And there I mean, is I no kind of get their point. The it's like aliens come over, like, I will help you out. Uh, we decided no, to thanks. arrange a meeting with you as a gesture of respect, but my decision is final. Uh, but... Never mind, Mr. Yang. If the Xianzhou Alliance say they can handle it, then there we're we wasting go, our March breath. There we go, March 7. Let's go. There we go I'm with March 7. That's impossible. I'm sorry, what? Huh? And what's that supposed to mean? It's only been a few days since the presence of a Stellaron was detected on the Law Fu. Starskiff Haven has been under full lockdown. No one has been permitted to leave. How did you come to know of the incident? And what led you to conclude that it was linked to a Stellaron? I acquired the access history of Starskiff Haven. Not long ago, someone hacked into the system and opened the Jade Gate. Before guiding you, the Astral Express, Kafka. into all- The hacker was skillful and even taunted us with her seal. Her name is Silverwolf, a member of the Stellaron Hunters. Isn't Silverwolf like Bronya? Yeah? What say you in your defense? The Stellar Hunter told us to come here. Stellar wants to use... Stellar Hunter wants to use you to take us out. You are forbidden from leaving the Skyfaring Commission until the aforementioned questions have been investigated. I see! We are, we are here for help. You can't help. Okay, guess we'll leave. You can't leave either. Oh. Oh. Don't be too harsh, you gong. If this gets out, the whole galaxy will think the Alliance has forgotten how to treat our guests. Damn! No homo, but damn! My dude definitely has the gravity of presence towards him. He definitely has the gravity. God damn! General Jing Yuan. It's very unlikely that the Express has joined forces with the Stellaron Hunters. They are mortal enemies, after all. Apologies for interrupting your meeting. My name is Jing Yuan. I'm the general of the Cloud Knights here on the Law Fu. General, this is an internal affair for the Law Fu. The way I have Jing, Jing Yuan's light code, but not Jing Yuan himself. God damn! God damn! Man! That's... that's a... That's, that's a get that that's a good character design. I fully agree with you, Helm Master Yu Kong. This is indeed an internal affair. I am sorry, guess of the Astral Express. It is true that there is a Stellaron on the Lo Fu, but I'm afraid I cannot accept your kind offer to help well, resolve I have the issue. Now. God damn, okay. This is a Xian Zhou matter, and it is our responsibility. Why to did you it. wish on his light cone when you didn't even have him? Of course. It would be inappropriate of me to let you return without something to show for it. While I cannot accept your help with regard to the Stellaron, I do have a favor to ask. Please, after you. Ah, the Astral Express. I must confess that the train's reputation precedes it, such that it is often close to my thoughts. How delightful to come face to face with its passengers. And I wanted five star, but I didn't have one at a time. Ah. Frightfully delightful. It's an honor to meet you, General. Uh, may I ask what the favor you spoke of is? Ah. A matter that requires capable people such as yourselves. We captured a member of the Stellaron Hunters a few days ago. All right, goes by the name gonna grow of hairs as long as that. That is the next goal. Hairs and as long as that. It'll take years, but goddamn, I have taken a note today. During our investigation, the Divination Commission, the department in charge of intelligence processing, intercepted a transmission sent out by his accomplice, Kafka, who has managed to hide aboard the ship. As for where that transmission was destined, the Express. Go on there. I have some knowledge of your relationship with the Stellaron Hunters. The Divination Commission is convinced that you made an alliance with them. <laughs> I say that's impossible. The crew of the Astral Express are honorable people whose valiant deeds are lauded across the universe. As such, 
I came to the conclusion that the communication must have been an attempt by the Stellaron hunters to sow dissent between us. Huh. Maybe Stellaron hunters have other motives. We can handle the Stellaron, but it will take time and will require the bulk of the Cloud Knights on the ship. And it's this Kafka that concerns me. The longer she stays on the ship, the bigger the threat she will pose. Fair. Since the Stellaron hunters lured you to our ship, we shall move with the current. Yeah, but to deem fit you are hereby authorized Lofu. to do as you deem fit on the Lofu. The, with the goal, with the goal of bringing Kafka, Kafka out of the shadows. And of the shadows. Doing okay. so would clear the misunderstanding between us. Reveal the true intentions of the Stellaron hunters. Hmm. All right. Let's move on with the current and help out. All right. All right. If you are able to capture this Stellaron hunter, the Lofu never fails to reward that which is given. Ooh. Okay. Wonderful. It's a deal then. I shall notify Yu Kong that all intel is to be shared with you. And that our best personnel are to aid you in your search. If there is anything the Skyfaring Commission or the Cloud Knights can do for you during your stay. All right, Belt. What is it? Tell us. I think we only scratched the surface of this General Jing Yuan. I don't know. I trust him. Do you think something strange about him? I don't know about strange. I don't know what you're talking about. Tells I me trust him 100%. That's it. A minor detail, but curious. He avoided talking about Blade. Since the Cloud Knights have already captured a Stellaron hunter, why not use him to get to Kafka? Why rely on us? The Sienjo is reluctant to involve outsiders in the Stellaron disaster, so why is it so keen on letting us capture a Stellaron hunter? It's using us as a bait? Yes. The only sensible conclusion I can draw is that Blade had already escaped when Jing Yuan spoke to us. Provided they even captured him in the first place. Oh. Therefore, given our connection to Kafka, we represent that's why he asked for our help. He didn't want to let now that we figured that out. Perhaps we can get closer to the core of what's happening Man, here. Man, wealth is genius. Alright. Everybody has a tail. All right, all right, all right, all right. Master Diviner, you heard our discussion. What do you make of it? What do I make of it? The way of heaven is apparent, but the heart of humanity is often deceptive. Are you asking me to divine their true intentions? That won't be necessary. The crew has nothing to do with the incident, of that I am almost certain. It isn't their intentions that trouble me. All I want is for them to lure out the one we're after. Wasn't that my idea, General? Indeed. Your counsel has always been a great help to me. You may use your discretion on the matters ahead of us. <laughs> Why don't you retire early and I use my discretion full time? Ha! <laughs> Got it him. Still too soon, unfortunately. If something goes wrong, you'll need a general to take the blame. How could I simply walk away and put you at such risk? If you'd brought me that blade earlier, none of this would have been necessary. Wait, what are you up to exactly? <gasps> Jing Yuan, did you let him escape on purpose? Me? <laughs> I had no idea he might escape. Unlike you, my gaze never travels beyond the horizon. I take full responsibility. The Cloud Knights failed in their duty. I can understand. There's huh. a lot to take care of on the Sinjo. You are bound to miss something. Thank goodness I'm here. Huh. On that note, perhaps it's about time you finally nominate me as your successor when the Six Charioteers next convene. Yes, yes, yes. I have to go now. I'll leave this in your overwhelmingly capable hands, Fushen. 
There are three things in the world that I can't seem to rid myself of. The troubles of the Sienjo, the papers on my desk, and the weeds in my garden. Fair. General, Diviner Fair. Fu wants the General's position for herself. Everyone knows that. She is very capable, but her intellect is burdened by a quick temper. I'll retire when she's achieved a better balance. This Stellaron thing is easy. Blade escaped. Now we gotta go get him. Just say the word, and I'll solve this in a flash. Easy, busy. I can understand easy, your busy. impatience, and I know you want to prove yourself. Now is not the time. If you truly wish to become sword champion, you shouldn't be running around brandishing your sword at people, especially not a major criminal. You think I'd lose to Blade? I'm saying you need to have patience, Yang Ching. Governing Xianzhe is different from a sword fight. There is something the we must take of care of before right making our next new, move. Uh, as long as it remains unresolved, the momentum of getting into new quests being so That's slow. something. While we are the coming from the ending of the previous one, it just seems off. We went from this fast-paced environmental like this. How now. did it manage to bypass the Skyfaring Commission's inspections and so, uh, the Divination Commission's predictions? Call you the stream very soon. Or is it now? I say we bring those two Stellaron hunters before Diviner Fu. She'll get an answer out of them in no time. I've asked our friends from the Express to take care of that for us. Worry not, you'll have your moment when the current stalemate is broken. You are my most trusted aide. And there are some things that I would only assign to you. He Speaking left. of which, Yang Ching. He left. He left. <sighs> that boy. I suppose it is my fault. I should have given him an opportunity already. A sharp sword can't stay sheathed forever. <laughs> My fear is that this might prove too big a setback. Alright, because I think it'd be better for me also to do some offline... Oh? Seems like you'll take a bit longer to chat, Madam Yuka. I'm gonna go have a stroll. Once you're done, come find me at the docks. Um... Yeah, I might do some offline grinding while eating some food because uh, I think that would be a better thing to be prepared for. Now what would you say in order to finish this planet, uh, what character level should I be? Um, what world level, what character level should I be, Yohanichi? Seems like we were destined to be in each other's company. The to finish this planet. Commission has reserved rooms for you at the Petrocore Inn. When you finish your business here, how about some tea together? Thank you so much. Not at all. Though... Yep. Look at the hotel! What are we gonna find this time this week? <sighs> well, here we are. I feel sleepy already. Character level 40, 50, maybe 60 if you're that bad. Oh, what? Uh, jokes aside, did you see I Madame see. Yukong frown at us? I thought her guards were about to jump out of no- <sighs> I'd rather deal with monsters than these big shots. I mean, not that Madame Yukong doesn't have her merits. Don't worry, my lips are sealed. But as her subordinate, I have to say that it's Madame Yukong's duty to keep her guard up. The Law Fu is facing a crisis. You know She's actually fair? a very reasonable old girl in private. Old girl, you say? Old girl? How old are we talking? They say that many years ago, Madame Yukong was an ace pilot in the Cloud Nine. Eventually, she became the head of the. In Damn. any case, Madame Yukong instructed me to reserve the best rooms at the inn. Of and course, she, she did. Specifically mentioned that if you wish to buy anything at the inn, be it food or otherwise, just Damn. let me know. The commission will cover the cost. When do I get deals like that? Say thanks. Why don't you go back yourself? <laughs> <laughs> Seeing as our hosts are so thoughtful, I guess we should help ourselves. Right, Mr. Yang? 
We should focus on our hey, objective what a first. Man. Seeing as Helmmaster Yukong was extremely reluctant to get us involved, am I right to speculate that the Skyfaring Commission has some leads on the whereabouts of Kafka? Exactly right. The suspect is extremely cunning. She encrypted if her she's cunning, cunning for she Fox, is. then she's the really cunning. Commission has managed. No? Here are the coordinates. It's up to you how to proceed. Our destinations may differ, but the orbits of the stars will eventually converge. See you later. Is there anything special of what she said? Coordinate converge? Don't let her words distract you. That's the sound of a device. Uh, which means what exactly? This is a starship. There are all kinds of devices making weird noises. This <laughs> March, to the untrained ear, these noises may sound the same. But for the craftsmen of the art, okay. general sent for craftsmen, and they concluded that the sound came from the shipyard facilities in Stargazer Nevada. Ah. Now, get some rest and prepare yourselves for the operation ahead. I look forward to find... seeing you in action. Will we fight Kafka? Let's take advantage of the rest. Oh, let's let more importantly, let's see how done. Maybe later. Oh, I guess let's right now. Take it... Oh, more important. Imagine I'm doing uh, missions for the. All right, they've cut our connection. Can't the risking general you're thinking out loud with that question. Thinking out loud. You've been standing here for half an hour. Thinking out loud. It's rare to see you like this. Are you worried about those two? Welt is with them. They should be fine. <sighs> Himiko, oh? did you keep a copy of the Stellavon Hunter's transmission? Can I have a look? Sure. Not to mention, 45 system hours ago, a Stellaron burst occurred on the Lafu. An unexpected calamity, don't you think? <sighs> what exactly are you Stellaron hunters trying to do? The Cienjo Alliance aren't us. They won't give you time to explain. Once you draw the attention of the hunt, you become their prey. The Alliance will hunt you to the end of the universe. Stop speaking in riddles, Kafka. Say what you have to say. <sighs> it's simple. That Stellaron has nothing to do with us, but the Sienjo is convinced. Stop! Do you know him? Nightmare. The Sienjo is in danger. This man, he. If he's on the ship, then Welt March and her. Everyone is in grave danger. But. Is he connected to that past you want to escape? I. <sighs> I can't leave them down there. It's just... I'm afraid my burden has finally caught up with me. What is happening? I about everyone to is about to be drawn I was about in. to close the stream, but damn, it's getting interesting. Is there anyone who doesn't carry around a past burden? She may not remember it, but even a girl as carefree as March has hers. We tread on a path that is hidden from us. The things we see and the trails we blaze all become our baggage. They weigh us down, but the game they also give us strength they want you to, to continue stay. the I was journey. I to end the game, and why you can't drop this on me? Try not to dwell on it, Don Hung. Man, the movement was like, all right, it's getting boring. Let's let's get out. They're like, wait a minute. The express spends seven standard this? days at each stop. Its passengers are allowed to do as they deem fit during that time. Pom Pom and I are more than capable of looking after the express. If there's something you've got to do, do it now. And you'll come back and travel with us once this is all over, right? Let me guess you won't answer that. Oh, he did answer that, okay. All right, my dude with his wireless earphones, let's go. Huh. Can't send the message out. 
The network is down. But some function... Virtually nothing has changed since I left. Apart from darkness, this place is all that I remember of the lawful. Too late to repent. Is he actually this strong? Fighting is meaningless. The network is down, we can tell. Nah. I had no idea. Wind damage. Oh. All right. Sushang. So he. Stay where you are. I can handle this. Emergencies should be dealt with by professionals. So he'll meet other team. Sushan trial as well, let's go baby! The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision! Quick! Take this! Shape of Taishu! Surprise meeting! Woohoohoo! Good! You're hurt. No interest. It's okay. This one's strong, all right. Here goes the enemy. With you two risking your lives for me, could I really stay where I am? Who's that? The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Wait, I wanna try his ultimate. Cannot be used. God damn it. Okay. I was just transferred here from the Yao Ching. I did tell you to let me handle it. I don't have eyes in the back of my head. What if I accidentally hit you? Forgive me, miss, but you were too busy being hit yourself. <laughs> it's a good thing Got I joined it. the fray. I was protecting you more like. It's a Cloud Knight's job to protect others. And this area is under martial law. I'm escorting all civilians to safety. And that was some impressive Cloud Knight spearmanship. Which unit are you from? I'm not a Cloud Knight. He's a good okay. healer based off his You're attack. You're a civilian ah. then. Miss Sushang, what exactly has transpired here? In all my trade visits, I've... I, uh... I can't comment on that. I was just ordered to rescue the civilians. Actually, Anyways, come I have no idea either. You're pretty quiet. What's your name? I've got forms to... My name is Don Hung. I'm a traveler. I'm on my way to meet up with my friends. I appreciate the help, but I can leave the port on my own. No can do, mister. It's way too late. You won't find anyone at Star's Gift Haven. They'll if already your be the friends safe zone. made it out... Aren't you going to take my name too, miss? You already said it when we were busy. Let's go. Stay close, you two. Cloud Knight Sushong will guarantee your safety. All right. Thing. I need you to write your names down later. I don't know too many characters. I might make a mistake. 
All right. Wonder when will we two will reunite? If it was a very small story, then they would have not even bothered us to be, you know, be separate. Message not sent. The fact that they are trying this two different parallel stories means it'll be a while before we reunite. Long range to me. Doesn't seem like it. In that case, it looks like someone wants to make things difficult. Since Kafka say, I wouldn't be surprised if it turns out to be Solar Hunters. Okay. All right, fair, fair, fair. I think you get away with your crime. Oh, you've arrived. Sorry to keep you waiting. No, no. Stargazer Navalia is governed by the Artisanship Commission. It took me a while, just like at Cloudford. Stargazer Navalia's meridian with monsters wreaking havoc and the night scattered. Star. <sighs> All right. So we've got a bunch of monsters. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> I wouldn't say you're entirely on your own. <laughs> uh, let's go. Why must Shall we, to you? my benefactors? Let's go! Now what's a hunt without a hound? Kafka is still at large, and the Sky Faring Commission wants this problem to go away. I made a few calls to procure you from I made a commission. few calls Perfect. and Perfect. managed to procure... Uh... Okay? What is that? Aww, he's... Uh... <clears throat> I mean, what can he do exactly? Yes, and no. This is Deeting, a bionic dog developed by the artist. He has little shoes as well! He has all the five senses of the Foxian race and oh. takes them to another level, be it tracks or scent. AI. All we need to do is look for any trace left by Kafka. It doesn't matter how- But before we get started, let's play with his settings a bit and get him ready. To begin with, let tell Dee Ting to follow the scent of my perfume and see what he can do. Uh, and and Ganium Dog Crafty Bag used the locality probe feature to find suspicious rods and traces. Ah, <sighs> we need to follow these sparkly traces to find Miss Ting Yoon, right? She's not in a hurry, that's for sure. Playing hide and seek with us while Kafka's still at large? Inside the pilot house came. The traces. Where did. Got it. He says the wind is too strong here. How do you know what she's uh, saying? That's just the psychic bond between cute girls and cute puppies. Ah, love little lordom. I'm getting a panacone, but I'm gonna need the game to focus all their screen time on Akron. Using Damn, Akron is a panacone, right? Traces. How's Akron's story Our like? Girl from the how is she in the story? Commission sure knows how to put up a challenge. Badass, Red and Chauvin. Look. Or we could ask around. Look how busy this place is. Stream four, the gleam Crap. of old blades. That's where we came from. Why wouldn't she be badass? Fair. No reason that she wouldn't be. I was supposed to investigate all of them? God damn it. I walked past them. Right? Deeding should be able to pick up her traces now. Tough here, Rob. Song Lotus Cake. Guaranteed delicious. You found me. If you pick up traces. Okay. Let's go. We know what to do. Thought that Stargazer Navalia might become so quiet. Long were the nights when the clangor of hammers rose to meet the stars. People used to write poems about the shipwrights here. The Law Fu relies on the star skiffs produced here to transport people and goods. 
Now that work in the shipyard has stopped, our internal transport and outbound flights might also grind to a halt. <sighs> of course. The silver lining is, I don't have to go on as many trips anymore. You don't seem to worry too much about the Sienjo, Miss... I wouldn't say that. A good businesswoman doesn't wear her heart on her sleeve. Besides, just to I warn think you, it might be a good idea for me to into Kafka, stop the stream here you'll have and maybe to do start the fighting it. benefactors. I'd love to Next help, time, but do there's some very offline little I can do except to cheer well you farming. on. From you want to leave all the fun to us? Let me look at the new place and then call Not it a, a day. Not a lot of people out there could have fought the Mara yeah. stuff like you did. We Foxians, besides, the Madam Helm Master simply asked me to assist you in navigating around Starskiff Haven. It's no different to any other diplomatic... M I was never much of a fighter, and I'm not one for risking my life either. Right. I'll definitely be putting in a few words next time we meet Yu Kong. Understood. We won't put you out of your comfort zone, Miss. So when we run into Kafka, we'll do much. the fighting. And the capturing, for that matter. Thank you for showing us the way. Before so pretty much she left us. Tracking, you'll have to feed him some Got leads. If Kafka is hiding in Stargazer Navalia, she'll have left behind traces. Let's spread out and look for them. Leave no stone unturned. So, where are we going? Turn the compass to line the inner and outer rings in the same direction. The bright astral mark on the compass indicates the degree of compass ring can rotate for instant bridal 60 degree per rotation. Two times rotation is counterclockwise and clockwise. Okay, what will happen then? I don't get it. I don't get it. Oh. Search for includes them related to Kafka. Right here? Oh. Shards of a Cloud Knight's weapon. It must have been Kafka. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Good price. Half free chartering. High end good quality. Good price. Half free chartering. High end bars. The best choice for galactic commerce. <laughs> Immortals delight. Immortals delight. This isn't a clue. It's just I could do with a cup one. Just <laughs> going to make sure I didn't leave anything here. Thought I see something there. Wait, 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 wait. There it is. I see it. High-end barge. The best choice for galactic commerce. Look! Ji-Ching found a strain. Let me see. Uh, there... Oh, why do... It seems like Kafka predicted our every move. Oh, it was regarding Stay Kafka. Stay alert, all of you. There's another one. I know. Let's go and have a. Is that a grenade? What's that on the side? It's a lipstick. A small something for the lost. Uh, she's clearly taunting us. Damn. A detang smells something. What's this? A jade seal used by the shipwrights and looks like someone used it. We should have enough clues here to get Deeding on the move. So she wants us no to find her. No time to lose. Let's give him the scent and let him lead the way. I think we've rounded up all our suspicious clues. But 
expected. Uh, she sure did put a lot of work into this gag. Uh, making us run around like jerks? I bet she's loving this. I can almost... What a nice thing. That would be a suitably Kafkaesque. Don't Damn. forget, she's on the IPC's most wanted list. A fugitive that nobody... Let's go, benefactors. Time. What a tease. Amazing. Honestly, Kafka is like Fatuis of this cult. And uh, I don't know about you, but if it was on me, I would definitely be on Fatui's side in this <coughs> world as well. That's all I'm saying. No way, we're catching her so soon. And no the way. Scent. Oh, when the trace of the hunted. There she is. The hunter better think twice. There she is. It might mean the tables have turned. Kafka. These cloud knights aren't Mara struck. What did you do to them? Just a little persuasion to get them to listen to me. But you know all about that already, don't you? <laughs> yes, I do! Oh, what a hassle. This place is too far for the Diviner. See you up ahead. Yeah! Man, what a tease. Absolutely love her. Are they gonna fight? Yeah, they gotta fight us. Familiar. Answer me. Turn it up. Destined for oblivion. The test. Knowledge, the measure of truth, and falsehood. At least they don't sell to you. At least they don't sell to you. Nah, nah, she's gonna Watch, escape. not so fast! If you could catch her just like that, then what to say? There she is! <laughs> so close and yet so far. You'll have to pick up the pace. <laughs> uh, there's no way through here! We need to think of a way to cut her off. There's no way we're catching like this. Why do you think we're catching like this? We can use the conveyor belts. Like if somebody's doing this to you at this point, just walk away. Base. What do you what do you want? Oh I see. Never mind. the door come on open the door uh 
Uh, right. Why can't we just get down? Man, this game's stupid. I forget the Genshin physics doesn't apply to this game. What, is floor lava or something? What is going on? Oh. Shh. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I didn't see nothing. worry about it welcome astral expressors looks like you caught me no we haven't that was all part of your plan <laughs> admit it Kafka you planned for us to come here why uh, I didn't plan anything it was the future we interfere on countless future possibilities and make the best future a reality. Oh, it makes sense. You speak Adds too up. highly of us, Welt. The Stellaron Hunters are merely Destiny's slaves. Ah, uh, that, that <laughs> makes sense. Best makes future? Sense. Best for who? As if you'd consider anyone but yourself. If I said best for the universe, would you believe me? <laughs> best for me, naturally. Uh, I have a lot to ask you. We're taking you to see the general of the Law Fool. You can profess your innocence all you like, but- Oh, thanks. But no thanks. I can't stand moving at someone else's. Oh, we don't have much time. If I were you, I'd make a move before it's too late. Are you fighting? We are fighting. All right. Oh, story light fight. Okay. Right. Feeling a little dizzy. <laughs> All right. So that happened. Still waters of oblivion. I'm fresh shot. <laughs> something for everybody. Not so fast. <laughs> just in time. Just a little something. Nothing else. Don't worry. It's just a scrape. Your answers? <laughs> Let's rock. <laughs> uh. Just in for oblivion. <laughs> Naughty child. I don't think we're getting no out of this one. Familiar. Zoning out. <laughs> I can help. Watch your feet. She is badass, yes. And also, I don't think we're getting out of this one anytime soon. Test. SAS Perkin. Knowledge, the measure of truth and falsehood. Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it. Rock with it! Zero points! Oh, maybe we can. Keep up! Free. If he keeps oh, doing his follow-up attacks, then yes, we can. 
for you later. <laughs> Ready? I'm okay. Feeling a little dizzy? <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> the show must go on. My bad. I should have attacked the ones Welcome, next to her before. Welcome, Astralix. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry about it. <laughs> I'll try it, one Kafka. last fight. If not, then we know you what needs to be done. You planned for us to come here. Building. Uh, I didn't plan it. You speak too highly. Skip it. Skip it. Skip it. Skip it. Yeah. I should be attacking them. <laughs> not bad. Not so fast again. How does that feel? I'm okay. Never stop thinking. Fail. Get out. Alright. Good move. Good move. Keep up. My tempo! You're in bad shape. <laughs> Something for everybody. <laughs> Ready? I'm asking the questions. <laughs> Stop See attacking you me! You're on our side! Pretty good crowd today. Ready to lose yourself? Fight it or rock with it. My music. Conquer us all! Okay, good, 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 good. Restore her. All better now? <sighs> Ready to jam. Zoning out? I can help. <laughs> Don't extraction! God damn it! Let's test your knowledge. SAS Perk. Knowledge is the measure of all things. It reveals truth and falsehood. Zero points. Pretty good crowd today. Just a little something. Good, 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 Everybody ready? That's it. Ah! <laughs> See you later. I'm okay. I'm asking questions. <laughs> Zero. No! Okay, 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 okay. We can do That's this. That's half the work. <laughs> time for a shot. Now time. This song's for you. Keep up. Your Ready answers? to lose your son? You can fight it or rock with it. Answer me. Free. There. Always attack the sight people. Johannes, you should have told us. Always attack the sight people. Oh. Mother. Rudimentary. Your every move. Has been foreseen <laughs> by the <laughs> My God! Ishwin, Divination Commission. I'll be taking the criminal from here. Badass! Greetings, crew of the Astral Express. This is our first encounter. Badass! Though given that I have encountered you in foreight, perhaps I should say the second. 
I don't know I who's more strength. badass, Kafka Master or her. Master Diviner at the Divination Commission and one of the six charioteers. Pulls out SMGs. Grrr, comes out. Diffuse or distracts every single bullet. Far My god. Our friends ought to be received with fine wine. But alas, the heavens, earth, and body are not aligned for such an occasion. You'll allow for a postponement of the usual formalities, I trust? What the actual heck is she saying? She's showing off some big fancy words. Even my sentence dick can kind of make sense of what she said. <clears throat> if the method of my speech is offensive to you, you need but say. We received an assignment from General Jing Yuan to arrest the Stellaron Hunter. Thank you, Diviner, for coming to our aid, but we must escort the fugitive to the General. Any essential. I hold a proclamation from the General here, if you care to see. Upon detaining the Stellaron Hunter, Questioning and all further arrangements are to be undertaken by the Divination Commission. All right. <laughs> Did the General just spare us a walk with Kafka? I knew he was a good guy. <laughs> Understood. However, the General promised that all intel would be shared with us. We have a right to know anything that Kafka divulges. Oh, that guy. Can I go one day without him throwing me under the- We won't make things any more complicated than they need to be. We just want to listen in on the questioning. Very well. Urgency demands fluidity. Uh, can't right. we do the questioning here? The Stellaron Hunters are slippery. Uh, here would be better. We wouldn't delay. We shouldn't delay. While I am here, she will not escape. All right. Only the Divination Commission has the methods to make her talk and bring the time has arrived. More as soon as I'm like, all right, end the game. Comes in the new chapter. Let's disembark here, benefactors. Uh. <sighs> I may live in relative seclusion. Why did you bring us here? Does this look like the Divination Commission to you? <sighs> no need to yell, Master Diviner. The Meridian pin is malfunctioning, and I couldn't find the entrance to the delve. I wanted to get us straight to our destination, but look, Exalting Sanctum, this is a safe place. Let's just huh. walk the rest of the way from- <laughs> Our hexagrammatic position is fluctuating between the marsh and water trigrams. I heard the Sienjo can tell your fortune. Is that how they do it? Anyone can count on their fingers. Uh, that's been out of fashion for hundreds. I just performed some quick divination, and the hexagram is consistent with our current predicament. The Starskiff cannot take us to the Divination Commission today. Alas, without me in charge to handle the Stellaron Crisis... It's true. The Divination Commission really can't go a single... Uh, that's why you have to develop your talent pool. Otherwise... <laughs> All right. Since you are clearly ignorant of the Commission's internal affairs, I shall absolve you of your ridiculous remarks. Goodbye. Goodbye. Babe, we can help. What about Kafka? The prisoner must follow me every step of the way. This is Jing Yuan's order. Um, you might not want to hear this, but your general gave us his word. We have to be present when you question Kafka. <sighs> You think my word is not one. I will stick my promise. My in word is my. To have okay. this prisoner speak, the commission must resort to unconventional means. Ooh. The nature of which is confidential and cannot be disclosed. Forgive me. I okay. have appointed someone to wait for you in front of Exalting Sanctum Plaza. Uh. Okay. Okay. I wonder what are the unconventional methods that we can't know for them to talk. Uh, I think I. She just annoyed that you wouldn't trust her. Hey! Don't take it to heart, March. Miss Fushen seems like a reasonable. Really? Some people don't know what this is. Uh, okay, Happened enough. Happened with me yeah. recently. My mom's like, oh yeah, here, talk to an aunt. She's while well, she's in hometown. And I spoke to aunt, and she sounded absolute rude. But yeah, but apparently I she can't wasn't. see anyone waiting for. What's going on with him? People are turning into monsters? Everybody stay back! 
an absolute savior. Uh, that'll teach you a lesson. Oh, that's Bailu, okay. <sighs> Thanks for helping to stabilize the patients. Your assertive sedation techniques are quite effective. <laughs> assertive sedation. Assertive sedation techniques? However, these cloud knights were already sick, and now they're injured too. I've got to bandage up their wounds, realign their bones. Is it no? As if I didn't have enough on my plate. Uh, I'm gonna need some qualifications here. Yeah. Where did you come from, little one? Is your dad around? I don't have a dad. Uh oh. Uh, I don't have a mom either. Uh oh. Uh, I get it. You think because I'm small, I must be a runaway child. You do have those horns sticking out, so <laughs> that's something. Welcome to the Xian Show, my short-lived outsider friends. Appearances can be deceiving here. The Vidyanara race is self-reincarnating. No mama dad required. Damn! I've been studying the art of healing ever since I cast off my old show. You're looking at a recognized, practicing, dedicated doctor. Damn! All the bog kids are making snowmen. While children here are writing prescriptions. How old Things is she? haven't been very peaceful in the law full recently. Make sure you don't <laughs> go running around, right? Well, your general gave us an errand. So, I'm afraid we have to. Hmm. Well, seeing as you saved me just now, if you're unlucky enough to acquire any breaks or sprains, I'll treat you for free. That doesn't sound like very free. Medicine. Ha! Do you have any idea if I hadn't left my purse at home? <laughs> enough of that. Our little miracle worker seems very different from everyone else around. Don't All you think, right. Mr. Yang? Well, in this case, I so will call it a stream the now. Vidyadara. I've it's only been, ever what, read about seven them. hours, almost eight hours. They're known as we the finished Dragon one planet. Not this was the second why. planet we have entered. It has its own story going on. Uh, and then we will finish that story. How many planets are there after this? Bye bye, Cuckoo. Bye, Yohanichi. Do you have any. Any of these? Nope, none of these. Alright. Alright. Well, well, well. In that case, have a good one, guys. I'll see you and I'll see you. And I'll do some offline farming on this later on today. But till then, bye!